Yo. Rip VOD watches, am I right? It's Kenshi. Two days in a row. I have no self-control, so I just want to play this game again. So I'm going to. And uh, that's what we're going to be doing for today. You are not seeing things. You're not locked into the Matrix that I know of. This is not deja vu. Even though you might be feeling it, this is Kenshi Day 2, back to back. Because it's just that much fun. This is actually the VOD from yesterday. That's right. So I just thought, hey, what if we just played it again? Do you think those guys really watched the whole 11-hour stream? No way. When they come back, they're going to see a different piece than they were there for before. And they're going to think it's a new stream. Easy double dip in content. All right, but for real though, uh, give me one second because I need to take my allergy medicine real quick. Okay, we back. Quick and painless. Hey everybody who's just popping in here. Let's make this a good Saturday. Hey, she's the worst, Mr. Gavist. Hey, Crumbly Cakes, are you ouching the rip of odd viewers? FB Whitey, what's up? Wazer Wifle, howdy. <laughs> hey, Clive. We're locked into this Kenshi Matrix. I can't believe Italic's gonna stream for 19 hours today to make up for not being here for a whole month. Those numbers are grossly exaggerated across the board. They have no merit. Hi, Ruve. Bassoon, Goatsy, welcome back. Engelbert, how many filler episodes will be in this season? <laughs> Okay, but, like, isn't that what streaming is? I am, like, your entertainment before you get back to the things that actually matter in your life. Am I not just the filler episode in your own life? Think about it. So anything that happens on this stream, and I mean anything, it's gonna be good. <laughs> Am I dreaming? It depends, Bird Strike. Is it a dream or a nightmare? Hi, Joe Mo, Bagel, Techno, and the Kyra Toby. I apologize for this drastic burden I have placed upon you in your volunteering uh, roles. But also, it's going to be a good day. Hi, everyone. What's up, Flower Finny? Hey, Poo Poo. Potato. Big Bussy. Evanito. Hey, everybody. Howdy, Blue Man Z. Toast Fart. You got here at the perfect time, indeed. You're here for the jazz sequence. <laughs> Let's just enjoy it distilled. Oh, they do like a, the way that gift subs come across my notification is different than it used to be. You get a blob. It says Subdog has gifted five subs with a drop down menu. That's kind of cool. See, look at this. I'll show you. Well, that's Kinchy, but I'll still, I'll show you. Look, behold. Subdog has gifted five subs, and I can be like, nope, don't even care. Bye, Subdog. Stop taking up so much room in my feed. Just zip him up on out of there. Where'd the music go? 
There we go. <laughs> Sub dog is gifted a sub to love a game freak janky streams. Amazon 455 and Ashest Cat. So hello to each one of you who are here to receive those subs. And Sub dog, thank you for the $25 gift. That's very lovely of you to do. That was a beautiful drop down menu. You just showered upon us. Hello there. It's good to see each and every one of you again. Get minimized. Oh, hey, I'm a sub again. You are. You got randomly selected, lover. Hi, the doctor. Precious. What's up? Everybody else popping on in here. We're just getting started. We got a lot to do. And it's going to be um, all of it enjoyable, hopefully. I got to break the streak of saves coming within the first two hours of a Kenshi stream. I think it's because... There is a definite roller coaster of Kenshi, where when you're playing for anywhere from 9 to, in yesterday's case, 11 hours, um, you start off, you gotta shake the rust off. You're riding the roller coaster up, so you're the most vulnerable here at the bottom, but you work your way up, and you hit a peak about the halfway point, and that peak is when you're on high alert, you're doing everything right, you're micromanaging like a pro, and then after that halfway point peak, you just coast down the other side, and as time goes on, you get gradually worse at the game. Until you stop playing. You can only be like 100% dedicated to doing something perfectly for so long. It takes all of your brain juice to not have to like make one small mistake when you're governing the lives and the destinies of like a dozen people. Those two clash a lot. We gotta change that sub sound at some point, but I don't know what to. It works for now. Anyway. Howdy, Grand Sheen. Gold Ruby. Broke the streak. Welcome. I'll give you guys fill in on what we're gonna be doing here in just a minute. Harmony, what's up? Thank you for the 15 months, by the way. Appreciate your prime. And happy to see you. Nice dab. Excuse me. I, your eye must be at you. So, let's pop in. I'm going to show you what I did, because I did something and I got to make a confession. So here's my confession. Um, I played yesterday after the stream was over, but I did not do anything that you would miss if you had been here. I'll tell you what I did. Okay, listen. Don't deface me. That's right, subs only, no defaces, just gift subs. That's a lot of defects. I'll tell you what I did. So, as we load in here, sold stuff, organized inventory, and recovered Kang's backpack. I did an inventory organization. <laughs> Here's the main thing that I did. I remembered after I stopped the stream <laughs> okay, where, where are all these gift subs? I gotta minimize all these. They're taking up my entire notification feed. I gotta hit that down arrow. Gift subs and defaces. All right, you got. You guys didn't get to hear the guitar riff as the guitar riff as we loaded in here. I literally only watch for inventory management. Well, I will disappoint you then. Here's what I did. I can't move the camera. There we go. Does the sub sound get louder? Or is it not actually that loud? Maybe my volume locally is up too high. Anyways. <laughs> There's like 10 of them. <laughs> okay, I don't know why that tickled me. I didn't realize how many there were. There's like 10 gift subs that just came in. Are you ready, OxyClean? Are you ready to hear what I did without you yesterday? Uh, here's what I did. For real though, Kang, I remembered at the end of the last stream after it was over that I had left. Remember we ran with Kang and uh, our little, our, our small little Ibrof, the Garu, 
and I had to drop his backpack and his clothes in order to outrun the people who were trying to kill our little hauler. Well, I didn't want to forget where the backpack was, so I went out to go grab the backpack, and then I brought it back in. So, Kang's got the backpack that he did not, that I dropped, and the armor that I dropped. Uh, and you may remember on the steps here of the gate of our new home city, Black Scratch, uh, there have been a number of people who died, or who are now in recovery comas. Some Reavers who are out here. So, remember we took some of their cleavers. All I did was sell their cleavers. So, I sold about six trash tier weapons from the Reavers. And uh, made sure that everybody had food in their inventory. So everybody's got dried meat uh, in one of their backpacks. I organized everybody's inventory so it looks so clean and so nice. And stashed a few more odds and ends things into the storage chest, such as hats that we don't use, uh, hachigane that we're not using anymore. A weapons cabinet is organized. A few more things in the general storage chest. Look at all these basic first aid kits. <laughs> so, nothing that you'll miss. Uh, there might have been a, an athletic stat that went up, possibly. There could have been an athletic stat that went up, but I didn't fight anybody. I did not engage in combat. I don't think I bought anything else. I mean, I wrote it all down for you. There. Sold stuff, organized inventory, recovered Kang's backpack. That's it. So I now have 76, basically, thousand caps. We missed all the cool stuff. <laughs> A stat increase? No! Scrap it and start the whole thing over. Stream ruined. Disappoint. Wow. It's gonna be like that, huh? Oh, and I also moved, um... Made sure Hooper, Ebrolf were inside of the Scratching Post crew. Alongside, of course, our newest members, Frap. <laughs> Let's take a little look-see here. We got Frap, who is looking kind of frapped right now. I think that's gonna be a verb. She is looking kind of frapped. Rabby who is standing, uh, just sit down. Can you guys just sit down? No? Uh, what? What was that noise? That noise like scared me. It sounded, it sounded like a, a cursed demon. P.S. What does Ibrilf eat? Does anyone know? <laughs> I guess I'll watch his hunger and find out. Udquambo, have a seat. Hooper, do what you want. This is our new pooch. This is our new dog. And, uh, Yarpo's taking a nap and does not need to be anymore. You cannot use the bench, though, unfortunately. <laughs> There's your boy, Yarpo. I missed a bunch of new characters. Well, to be fair, we just recruited them. Uh, and they haven't done anything. So, here's the summary of the events that transpired yesterday. Uh, we started... And I'm going to ignore chat while I do this, so if you're just coming in here, uh, Retrograde and Odlin and others, I will see you in just a minute because I'm just going to give you the rundown. So we began yesterday's stream east of Morn, and I believe specifically we were at this old Empire supply outpost along this swamp. And uh, we maneuvered from the old Empire supply outpost after looting it, so the whole thing had to be looted. That took like 45 minutes or more. We also used it as a place to heal, so we got back to full strength and rested in the beds there. These these old supply outposts have been fantastic. Just to hop, skip, and jump your way across the map and use these as hotspots to basically grab a bunch of cool stuff, new weapons, new upgrades, and more importantly, have a safe roof over your head in which to sleep. So that, that's been a wonderful way to travel. This is a great Airbnb. I'm going to leave that at least a five star for this old Empire Supply Outpost. Now, some of them have spiders in them, and I'm going to make sure that I cite that so that other people don't fall into the same trap uh, that I fell into. So, you know, you have some good experiences with b, &B you have some bad experiences with b, b but it averages out over the long run. So we went from here, and I think we just evaded the gorillas, the sniper bots, and the roving land bats, especially, to get to this old Empire Supply Outpost. This area was hell. 
Like, this entire area was just the worst. Um, I don't remember where the armies of humanoids stopped and the beak things started. We didn't run into any beak things, but we stopped just short of them. I think that they were further east, like out this way. Uh, here there were at least five different factions all warring for the same territory, and we got caught right in the middle of it. So, uh, for example, there were... I'll just have to look at this. I know for a fact there were tons of crab raiders with pet crabs. Didn't know that existed until now. So they use crabs offensively. Uh, there were grass pirates galore. Tons of them. We also had reavers taking slaves out of everybody. So the slavers are in full force. Everyone we defeated, the slavers would come in and enslave. Scavengers were just kind of looking for odds and ends things here and there, but they were mostly hostile too. And there's probably one that I passed up. I'm just kind of grabbing tech. Tech hunters, I don't think we're out there. We saw, we saw bounty hunters. Uh, there was one more, I don't remember which one, that was out here also hunting. So, like, literally four to five factions. And they all hated us. So, getting out of that hot spot was a lot of running. Uh, I do remember, Clive, yes, as you pointed out, in one of these, I mentioned the spiders. <laughs> well, the spiders were very important because in one of these outposts uh, that was hidden inside of a hole in the ground, I want to say it was like this lost armory or some somewhere in this area. Uh, there was a iron spider group. I don't think the Kenshi log has been updated yet, but that is not <laughs> anyone's fault. I got some photos, though, for you. I do have some photos for you. Um, here is the battle royale that was transpiring in that aforementioned area where the five factions... This is, this is Lord of the Rings Battle of the Five Armies happening right here. Um... I, I don't remember, I think this was, who are the face masks? These are the robot pretenders. The Robo Gang, I don't remember what their name is, but they're the ones that dress up like robots. Versus, who is this? Are these Reavers or Scavengers? Skeleton Bandits, yeah, these are Skeleton Bandits, thank you. And uh, they were very stout, very strong. So we just, this is us leaving, this is out of order, I think. This is when we first left. <laughs> The Gorillo and Landbat area. Uh, here you can see Volugop running outside of another outpost that we spent probably two hours trying to get into. And he got ambushed. There was a guy just hiding in wait here. Oh, look at that beautiful, beautiful shot. Huddled up for warmth. <laughs> oh, was, who are we fighting here? Oh, we, we allowed one enemy uh, skeleton bandit in here to train. So he was 1v6-ing us, and still winning. That was just an alternative shot. There's a, we found that fish people exist in the game. That was cool. Uh, he's got tentacles coming from his chest, and he possibly was missing an arm. I don't know. But he was screaming in agony as he ran away from his pursuers. This is the hole in the ground with the iron spiders in it. And we had to go all the way around to get into this thing. Uh, and once we did, I, th I said, hey, let's just lure one iron spider outside. I feel like we can maybe train on that one iron spider. Probably a good idea to raise our toughness and uh, start training with our weapons. And this is the pile of blood that resulted. Um, Gorka and Volugop were the last two standing. And I think one well-placed arrow, you can see that 86 damage arrow from Volugop is what finally put the spider down and gave us a chance to get our bearings again. But not before uh, two people lost their legs. So, two main characters, actually. Both uh, Bracklin and Tawina lost a leg. So, fortunately, we were carrying one uh, robotic leg that we were able to equip to Tawina, and we later purchased another leg for Bracklin in our new city that we call home. And there's that metal leg there on Tawina. So, people are starting to turn into cyborgs. Here's us running with, like, the sick-looking planet in the background. I don't remember where this was. I'll have to look at the Kenshi travel blog once it is all updated. There's some pictures here. Hey, look, there's Miu. There we are, on the road again. There's the skeleton bandits, and the rest of the pictures need a home. Eventually, they will get one. No pressure. No rush.
<laughs> we're, we were hiding out here from... Who? I don't know, I just thought this, like, metal looked cool. We, oh, yeah, there's, like, the metal ship. I thought this would be a cool area to settle in. There was, like, a nice flat land over there that I thought might be interesting to try to build our own home. Um, but, yeah, we had work cut out for us before. Eventually, uh, we settled here. Black Scratch Outpost. It's a beautiful-looking city. I bought a little shack, and you'll see the shack when we actually get into the game. And we kind of put the some furniture in, put some storage in. We're a little close to the front gate, so we do find ourselves under attack a lot. But they have some tech hunters out here, night and day. And a, a few harpoon, harpoon up here and up here that they use for support. So this was us yesterday before adding our newest crew, using this as a little spot. Well, this is after adding the newest crew, I guess. But we can use it to just rest, recuperate, heal our wounds. Um, we bought a Garu pack animal and a bone dog, so we've got some... Livestock for the first time ever. Uh, right now they're very young and very slow. The Garu we can take, but the Bone Dog's got to stay until he becomes older than a pup, because his stats are are very much going to get us killed at this moment. Um, these are the two newest crew members, <laughs> whose names I escape me. <laughs> One is Yarpo. What's the other guy's name? Yarpo and who? I forgot. I re I renamed him. It wasn't Ravi. Yarpo and it wasn't Ravi. Didn't I rename it? So, Rabi. It was Rabi. With two B's. Okay. Uh, and then we're about to head out on another adventure, I think, because I have everything basically squared away for you guys so that you wouldn't have to wait overly long. Uh, to get this ball rolling. By the way, of course, I'd be remiss if I didn't say Subdog, thank you for another $25 in subs. That's a lot of money. That's 50 bucks total. Darren J, Grugan, XD, McGee, Thoris, and Shallow Jam are all subs courtesy of Subdog. So thank you so much. Fenris Wolfhow also caboosing that train with another five gift subs. Will Sarcasm, Waking Up Thirsty, Rayleigh, Rat Boys, and Chinkasu Kawai are also subscribers. Congratulations, enjoy your next 30 days on the house. As much or as little as you like. Yarpo and Rabby. So, uh, we're actually in the game now. And you guys can see, this is what we built up so far. So, here's our little home. This is the scratching post. This is started empty. So, I built all the stuff, all the furniture that's in here. And uh, the reason for the title of this stream is because we're going to be building up Stick HQ today. So the plan is move into the Y House. That's our kind of long-term plan for this stream, is acquire Y House and make it ours. So that's going to be a nice upgrade. It's right next door. We're going to own both these properties. And uh, we're going to turn this into all sorts of cool stuff. Like, for example, we're going to turn into a dojo. So we're going to be building uh, some training dummies some locksmith boxes so that we can start practicing our skills. Uh, so we're going to have a bunch of these out here. We're going to have um, a whole bunch of storage for stuff. We're going to start getting some raw materials from places. I'm going to do some decor. We got cooking on the table so I can make like a little kitchen somewhere. Um, there's, there's so many cool stuff that we still have not researched. And I really just enjoy the aspect of trying to make something look like a level designer made it instead of me. You know what I mean? We're finally playing The Sims. That's right. That's the idea. More Kenshi. Indeed, Robot Kitty. Anyways, if you just got in here in the chat while I was doing the little recap, um, if you're watching the VOD, you'll be able to see that recap. But welcome, everybody who's just popping in. We just went over kind of what we did last time, and now we're about to get into what we're doing this time. So step one is going to be for us kind of choose what we want to research. I've got tech level two just chosen. Tech level two is was just picked. Um, I, I don't. We're not going to be able to build the bigger, better research desk yet, but it's nice to just have the option to do so. Uh, so we're just going to let that keep going. But I want to choose something to go next. So until we get tech level two, there's only so many things we can do, and we're going to catch up with those things real fast. Uh, I'm going to say, let's just get... I don't know what we need generators for yet. I don't really want to know. I'll figure it out. I'm not asking for advice. 
Wheat straw is not edible until you bake it into bread. We can't grow our own crops. We don't have anywhere to make a farm as of yet. Iron plates would be nice to be able to make. It's vital that we can make our own iron plates. It costs one book. We got tons of books. And it's only going to take three hours. So go ahead and queue up iron plates. Clothing manufacture and weapon smithing. With this, we could craft clothes and stuff for wearing. Allows you to make rag loincloth, rag shirt, and martial artist bindings. The bare necessities. Um, only takes one book. So go ahead, queue that up. The starting point of crafting our own weapons. You can make uh, weapons, oh, the weaponsmith building, iron club staff, and rusted junk. Okay, we'll just do the, we'll just do those four and then go from there. Yeah. Now we need to tell Ayoma, who is currently um, our number one scientist, skills at prospecting and researching new technologies. So this is a good skill for us to train. Uh, as we get ready to possibly, eventually, make our own region of the world and claim some land. Call it our own. So, Ayoma is our top leading scientist right now. So, she's going to use the research bench. Everyone else in here is just going to chill. Udkwambo is the only one who even has any fighting skills. And when I say any, I mean like one. Pull arm level two. I, I think there's so many bad guys that filter into the door and try to break in. I'm almost tempted to leave someone else who's a better fighter here just to defend them. But I don't know. What's up, Data Data? So a scratching post is like a training and research center. Yes, it's our current headquarters base of operations. This is our safe house. Um, this whole city is fantastic. It's got everything that you need here. It's got all the amenities. This is like living downtown, baby. Uh, it's got a lot. It's got a great library for super research. It's got places to buy armor, weapons, ammo, farm stuff, travel gear, two different bars for mercenaries if you want them, an animal shop. It's got it all. Uh, I did not build this house. I just bought it. It was an available plot inside the city. So likewise, I will be buying this one. It costs 28,000 cats. We've got 76k, but we don't need to buy this just yet. We will. We'll be buying it today, though. Um, anyways, I'm tempted to just leave one person behind, because I'm afraid of the constant barrages that might get through these tech hunters eventually. But yeah, training and research center for us to kind of build up for now. Um, if I left anybody here... I would probably leave, like, Hamet. Oh, and I did reorganize some people's stuff, so let's look at some inventory real quick. Um, specifically, I only reorganized... I put Volugop's bolts inside of his inventory for when I drop his backpack, so he still has ammunition. Uh, Ruka is still wielding this longsword. I changed some people's weapons out who were using some crappy gear. Uh, just inventory management is kind of takes way too long across the board. Gorka's using this Nodachi. Looking good. She's also got this visored helmet now. I don't know if she had that before. Uh, Rain the Giants, basically the same. Ridley, I gave the Jete. So, blunt weapon. Uh, I figure let's try get someone trained in using blunt weapons. It might be fun. Also, this is just a good weapon all around. It's, it's really heavy, so it's going to get some good strength training. Uh, Donnie's still using a heavy pole arm. And Corduroy's got the Naginata, so we've got some pole arm training going into. Alright. You would think this town might invest in a gate? I think they have a gate. This is a gatehouse, right? Yeah, it can be closed, but I don't think they close it because they do trade, they make money, they sell stuff, and so on. All right, uh, but uh, yeah, these guys, if I left anybody, if anybody ever attacks, I guess a Yoma has some skills. Not really. Seven melee defense is not really anything. <laughs> we would just throw bodies at them and hope for the best. What kind of weapon did Frap come with? Default katana. Rabbi's got a default staff. And Yarpo's got a default staff. And Uquambo's got a non-default staff. <laughs> They're very pacifist here. Uh, my 
roving gang of children of the stick. We got three, six, nine, ten, eleven. Maybe we should narrow this down to just ten. But I'm scared, because the more people you have, uh, the more people you have, the obviously better chance of success you're going to have. Because if you leave a good fighter, well then you're just making yourself weaker. Who's the slowest character? 18 miles an hour, 21. Everyone's at least 18 miles an hour right now. With no gear. And I think uh, Corduroy is going to be leveling up because he's not carrying anything, so he should be having 150% athletics XP. Alright, let's just go. Let's just go. Where are we going? You might be asking. Well, the world is our oyster. I do have one mission today, but th as far as our excursions go. We're obviously leaving that little uh, group inside the scratching post. I want to do two things, and I'm not really sure what to do first, so I'm going to let you guys choose. Do you want... To adventure from Black Scratch to the northeast, following the coast, following this strange peninsula, all the way up to this mysterious ruin that we found its location via a book, or a map, I mean. Uh, so we can go all the way up here. That is the easternmost edge in the entire game, basically. There's a couple islands here, but this and this are like the easternmost areas. So the northeast ruin, or... Rescue the Swamp Sitters and bring Miu back into the fold. <laughs> We've got a house all the way down here in Grey Flayer Village. We can do a rescue op. That's going to take the whole stream to even get to her. Rescue op for Miu or uh, venture to the northeast. I would say we could do both, but I don't have faith in my ability to micromanage two groups at the same time. Because it wouldn't be um, unreasonable to send, like, five people to rescue Miu and six people to venture northeast. But I feel like I would lose track of them. Let's go look in our Swamp Sitter right now and see how things are going here. Okay, there's Miu. Miu still has tons of food. Actually has 8, 16, 24, 32,000 bucks in research artifacts. Um, this specialist KLR arm is worth 24,000 bot brand new. And 20,000 in ancient science books. So it's not like we're going here just for one default character, right? <laughs> and she's carrying way too valuable cargo to go by herself. Um, this is total. Just in cell value alone. Uh, 44,000, 60, 64,000 in inventory, which is almost as much as I have. That's almost double my money. So Mi Miu's holding on to some very uh, safekeeping stuff for us, just in case. But yeah, like other than that, we, we could get by. We only miss out on 30 labor. We have 260 farmers already, so who cares? Like, if she, if she was empty, I would just say, who cares? I'm not going to go back. But because, Mio, you're part of the Children of the Stick, and we left you here under very specific pretenses that we would one day reunite with you and reunite you with every single other Children of the Stick we need you to meet. Last we left, there were only, like, seven people, and now there's, like, 14 or 16. You've got so many new potential friends. But yeah, she can only run 9 miles an hour. <laughs> Start her athletics training inside the house. Can you set her up on a route to just run in circles? Is that possible? If I, like, shift right-click? I don't think I can. I don't know. You can make a job to haul things. Yeah, but that... Would that actually train... Ath I don't have anything to haul because I don't have any containers. I could just do two fireplaces, I guess. I don't think you can put a fish in there, though. So I can't... Like, there's no container, so I can't drop all my stuff and send her out. I, I Have her guard... Follow a guard? What if the guard gets attacked by blood spiders and then Miu gets downed? Well, I'm not looking. 
And she's got all that stuff on her. My guards here are currently swampers. Who are pretty strong, mind you. But also, it's it's a little dangerous out there. We're just gonna leave her alone. You know what? That's why we're bringing. That's why we're bringing the squads. You know. We're bringing the squad to help her out. She's gonna have. She's gonna be way faster once we. We're gonna deposit this stuff because this is heavy. This is twelve kilograms. Uh, she's carrying twice as much as her carry capacity. We're just gonna offload that to other people, and she'll be able to run unburdened. Ideally, we should bring her some armor too. So let's look at let's look at that uh, possibility. But what, what do you guys want to do first, though? Do you want to go northeast, or do you want to go rescue Miyu? I'll do either one. Miyu or Ruins. Those are your two options. Hey, it's Alex Bot Kinship because of the stream. It's a great game. It really is, isn't it? One of the greatest, for sure. Glad you're enjoying it, though. Smurnock Ice, what up? You got here just in time. We're deciding what major mission to do first. Uh, rescue, ruins, rescue, rescue, rescue. Mew, 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 rescue. Okay, well if you wanted something else, you should have spoken up. Let's go. We're sending the whole gang to get her. That's, I mean, that, that, that warrants a whole gang operation, in my opinion, because it's, her inventory is so valuable. <laughs> Alright, we're going west, ladies and gentlemen, all the way back to Grey Flayer Village, so let's chart a path. Uh, I say, try and hit some areas we have not been to before. Like, here's the thing, I don't want to go to Brink yet, because I don't want to recruit anyone new. Because if I recruit anyone new, I want to bring them back to Black Scratch. Uh, we got, from the Farming Village, that's where we picked up Yarpo, Rabby, and Frap. So the Farming Village had three of those characters. And they're particularly good, Rabby and Yarpo, at farming. So, pretty excited about that. I vote... Did we ever go through this area? Did I? I think I avoided this. We kind of came in from the southeast, didn't we? We come in from here. So, maybe we'll go around Black Dog HQ. I've seen Black Dogs before. I don't think we are uh, enemies of them inherently, but then again, I'm not sure what to expect. So we're going to venture here, go down. we got to watch out. There's so many patrols down here that heading due west might be better. So just due west. Okay, let's do it. We out. Look how fast we are. Look at the gang go. This is at one time speed. Oh man, lightening up, um, lightening up that inventory was huge. Can I go up this? Yeah. Okay, the adventure is on. Look at that star. Look at that star over there, it looks so cool. Oh man, I love being this fast. No one's ever gonna catch us now. Okay, let's keep, ooh, this is a big cut. Ooh, that's a big cut. Navigation is hard. <laughs> yeah, well, I have to go like this way. There's no other option. That place looks foreboding and scary. That's pretty much the name of Kinshi. The whole game looks foreboding and scary, to be honest. So our slowest member is currently corduroyed, 18 miles an hour, rocking that 40 athletics. So we'll keep an eye on you. By the way, uh, Kyra Toby, I just learned yesterday, has got a log of the stat changes of each character in the group. It might still be being updated, but it's still a really cool idea. I wish I'd have thought of it myself. I kind of did, but also... So did Kyra Toby. It's done updating. All right, Kyra Toby. Who was the biggest? Um, who was the biggest change in base stats from like strength, toughness, dex, and perception? Who had the biggest change yesterday? 
Who was number one most improved? Do we have uh, the Kinshi stats on like a... Oop. Oh, I, <laughs> I thought I left part of my group behind. Like they were under attack or something. Um, if the scratching post became under attack, would they notify... Would the game notify me in any way? Hopefully. We'll see how it goes. Should I even... I, I, I kind of want to go inspect Black Dog HQ. We'll save that for another day. So we still need to be careful, because even though we're fast, 18 miles an hour is not faster than the Reavers. The Reavers go up to like 21 miles an hour at their peak, it seems like. We can definitely outrun most of the wildlife. Everyone except for beak things, we can pretty much outrun. Those damage numbers are from... Okay, um, hello. Those are beak things. <laughs> Indeed, they are. Uh, who are the beak things fighting? Oh, Reavers. Interesting. Okay. Then I will go, um, up and around. Where are we? Why are there beak things here? We didn't see, we didn't run into any beak things, either by luck or complete skill. I don't, I would say luck. But no, 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 it was, it was, there was some decision making involved there. It, in as much as we saw the beak thing territory and turned around and promptly went the other direction. That's true. There was a decision there. Alright, chat has voted for Running Simulator Kenshi. The upside of Running Simulator Kenshi is that we will take a different path than we took before. There are two possible beak thing hives there. We will discover new things that we didn't know were there before. And also, this is how you become gods at this game. By running. If no one can catch you, you will live. You will survive. Alright, what is this? Corduroy had the biggest change with plus 12 strength. Wow. To 15, from 3 to 15 in one stream. I wonder what that came about as. What was the other one? Corduroy also had the most overall primary stat increases with plus 22. Huh. Strength and toughness. That, that's that's pretty huge, Corduroy. Good job, bud. You're slow, but you're getting there. I hope this is not a dead end. Because I'm kind of just... Oh, boy. <laughs> that's a gang of beak things. That's what that is. We, we in the wrong territory right now. Oh, and we're heading right for a beak thing nest, huh? That's what's going on here. Hmm. Not good. <laughs> Volugop has the highest athletic stat and stealth. Well, there you go. I mean, Volugop is our old faithful. That's who we've been relying on this entire time. Oh, there's another thing that I did that was really important off stream. Inventory related, only inventory related. I went through and looked to see who was wearing boots that completely deleted their stealth. So if anyone was wearing like samurai boots that conferred like a point, like this is only point nine. That's fine. That's not that crazy, Gorka. Gorka's got 62 stealth, so she's got 90% of that while she's wearing the boots. Um, some people were wearing boots that had like a point zero three percent stealth modifier, which basically deletes their stealth. So I took those off. I went through and just looked at everyone's stats to kind of optimize. So that's probably why we were getting uh, caught so many times while in... S oh, God. I mean, that is that is their home. Um, what to do? I really don't want to accidentally alert beak things like right off the bat if I can help it. I'm going to steer very clear of this. We'll, go, we'll, we'll creep around at 3x for now. I hope in Kinshi 2, like, not being in direct sunlight gives you a stealth bonus. Ooh-wee. Who that? Oh, these are, these are the, the black dogs. 
Okay, so if I go out of stealth for like two seconds, are they, they're not red until they try to attack me, right? Why are they so brave they're just wandering directly through Beak Thing territory? I lost them. I don't know where they went. They're like over there somewhere. They're probably getting devoured. Or maybe they turned and went a different direction. I have no idea. But here we go. We're vi we gotta venture down eventually, you know? I gotta cross to this whatever it is. Sooner or later. And I'm gonna do so, I think, going right? And then cut through this? That's the plan. But yeah, Samurai Boots has like .09. It basically deletes your uh, hard-earned stealth skill for no reason. So we are way stealthier now than we have ever been before. Uh, my lowest stealth character is 47 on Corduroy. We have a lot of mid-60s. Uh, Bracklin and Tawina are mid-70s. We can almost evade all attention even in broad daylight to some extent. Okay, there they are. There they are. No one's being seen yet. They're just over the hill. Hopefully they're not looking for us. Keep your eyes peeled, everybody. This actually could be... Um... The hardest part of the whole stream. <laughs> and we're just getting started, so that's like a good sign, right? Stay low. It's only 8 a.m. It's gonna be a long time before night. Okay, we are to our destination. Let's start picking another route. We're gonna go s just south of Brink. We're not gonna go there yet. We're gonna go through here, down this trail, and hopefully it's not being patrolled. I would much, much rather find humanoids than beak things at this point. Samurai boots are heavy, so it makes sense. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not criticizing it. I just didn't realize that I had them on my character still. So it was kind of getting me caught out in different situations. It was probably responsible for a number of times that we got seen and I just didn't know. Voxable Box says, have a good day. What's up, Voxable Box? How's your Saturday going? Thanks for sharing your sub. Back for 15 months. Very generous of you. Thanks for sticking around. This place looks cool. Is that is that Brink? Ooh, it is. I'm very tempted to stop in there, but again, I can't afford any people. I don't want to know what I'm missing out on. We don't need any food. We don't need any wep. I don't I don't need anything that they might have. I'm not trying to recruit anybody. The only thing we would need is safety. If we like run into some beak things right here. So we may as well just run. Because the city is so close, I think we could just make it to there safely if it came down to that. Research complete on iron plates. Well, the research HQ is doing its thing. And the characters that I left behind there, I think, have the capacity... Why am I going up? Let's stick around the bottom side. Uh, the characters I left there do have the capacity to build up the HQ. So we're going to be kind of bouncing back and forth on that, depending on... Like, maybe we'll just hide with these guys somewhere, or leave them in a town for a sec. And uh, I want to go check on the research as we load in some new territory here. I gotta be careful zooming out too far, because how many times have I just been zoomed out running? And then totally forget... What is that? Is that a sunbeam? That's... <laughs> I think that's like a sunbeam. Okay. Cool. It's a UFO. We gotta get some better, like, better picks than just running. Let's go up here. Oh, I just picked Gorka only. Let's go up here and take our baby's first photo of the day, yeah? The Children of Stick. Just south... Of what city is this? Brink? Just south of Brink. 
There we go. Get us started. More Kinchy. That's right, Swartz. Don't you dare try to uninstall this game. Okay, I need it. Pump it directly into my veins. I need IVs hooked up now. I need Kinchy every day. This game is becoming Pokemon Snap. Well, Pokemon Snap, they need to remake again. That's the best compliment you could give. Oh, wow, I looked on the wiki and they're actually called Beak Things. They are indeed Orn Max. And what's up, Bachelor Trek? When Kinji is good, it is super good. So, all the time, Flankles. Basically, all the time. Backpacks can mess up stealth too? In some cases, yeah. Uh, I think it is primarily wooden backpacks, which is why I give my best stealthers the wood backpacks. So, it's a 0.5 effect on Bracklin and Tawina. But also, Tawina and Bracklin do have the highest stealth of the group. So, they're rocking an effective, what, 37? 37 stealth right now? Somebody's gotta carry them. I, I would be so dead without these wooden backpacks all the time, you know? I guess what I should start doing is if I'm in real danger, remember to take off the wooden backpacks to, like, hide in a little cubbyhole somewhere. That would probably be a good idea. Uh, on Volugop, who usually infiltrates, I've got Thieves' Backpacks, which have no stealth debuffs. And I've been trying to primarily put stealth packs on most of my other characters. Uh, this Kang's got a medium, which I probably should replace. So does Donnie. So, yeah, that's a good call. Maybe I should head up in here just to try to get some stealth backpacks real quick. That's not a terrible idea. Let's go. We're, we're right here. Let's make a little pit stop. Let's see if we can find some stealth packs. We got a team of ninjas, we gotta act like it. We have the money for it. They're kind of expensive, stealth packs are. Uh, but there's- who is fighting in here, I wonder? Huh. Is it training? I don't think this is training. It looks like peasants are currently being attacked by grass pirates. <laughs> Let's go help. This place is run down, man. This is not a top tier city, but they got some shops still. Empire peasants, by the way. There's some samurai police. Okay, I was like, where are the cops? Let's go help the peasants. That would be a good time to get a little fight in. I don't know if we can get over here in time. Where were they fighting? They were fighting, like, here. These other farmers are like, whatever, man. Yo, I gotta, I gotta take in the harvest this year. My family's gotta eat. Whoa, 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 whoa. Are we being attacked? Nope. Not us. Not me. Samurai police are just going to town right now. You don't want to mess with these guys. 73 attack will absolutely demolish those pirates. I don't think that's a path, but I respect your your drive and dedication to shortcuts in life, you know? Sometimes you just got to find the shortcut. We're going to go save the peasants. Hi. <laughs> we have a bone to pick with you, grass pirates. Uh, and so... Who do we want to train? Let's send Corduroy and Donnie in. Because we can just repair them. And let's see how they do. Alright, they don't... I think they're on block? Let's send Corduroy and Donnie to get some training. Alright, Donnie, that's a good dodge. Corduroy getting some hits in the back. That's dishonorable, but effective. Um, it looks like Corduroy's struggling right now, even though he didn't really take that... What are you doing? I think he's repairing himself, actually. Yeah, he's like, I'm just gonna take this opportunity to fix myself. That baseball swing gets me every time. <laughs> They've both got pole arms. 
And they're using them like swords. Is that guy getting up? I don't think so. Hold on, who's this? Good guy? That's a good guy. <laughs> this good guy is about to one-shot. <laughs> Whoa, okay, I thought he was attacking Corduroy for a second there. He just wanted to strike this one to make sure he stayed down. That's fair enough. Uh, if you loot the Grass Pirate, that's a 100% stealing chance. Give me that. Do not, um, ever try that again, please. So we're gonna get- we got a little combat in here right off the bat. And we're gonna fix up Donnie. I made sure to bring, uh, some repair kits, and Corduroy is training in robotics. So every time we get to fix robots, we get a little better at this skill, and the better you get at the skill, the more sparingly you actually use the kits when you're doing the healing. So they, the repair kits last a lot longer. And the peasant goes back to farming like nothing even happened. That's right. Weather for Vegas, 106 with 14% humidity. Woo! Woo! <laughs> uh, yeah, that, that's some heat right there. All right, nice little duel. Training up Corduroy and Donnie. Um, in pole arms, specifically. Robots doing work. So, okay. Uh, these, like, run-down houses that are not for sale, that are inside other people's claimed areas, can you ever do anything with these? Without killing... W w like, without running out the United Cities from this area? Or are they just perpetually in a state of disrepair? Because it'd be kind of cool if you could, like, uh, buy the land and then put forth, like, a bunch of building materials to rebuild it. That'd be cool. Obviously, this is the peasant outskirts, because they have another little gate right here. And the peasants live outside the walls. <laughs> and thus, outside the protection uh, of the samurai. There's a few patrolling samurai, as far as I can tell, but... You can just kind of run around the gate, so I don't know if it was, like, the best... Ridley? Yeah, I don't think that's supposed to be possible. <laughs> okay, what do we got? Farm shop! Uh, farm shop is cool. Clothing shop, weapon shop, residential... I kind of like this setup. I like how all these houses are positioned. Like... Facing a central... There could be a fountain. Imagine if there was a fountain right there. Can you build a fountain in Kinshi? Two bars. A police station. Who's most likely to have the, um... The backpacks? Maybe nobody. I would say maybe the farm? Let's just bring Tawina in. And see what we got. Welcome, friend. Show me what you've got. Oh, ooh, ooh. Is this a clothing shop? I thought I went in the farm shop, whoops. Do we have any cool boots here? That don't lower stealth by a thousand? Just sandals would be great. Like, sandals are really hard to find, actually. At least here, where I'm at now. You can rebuild broken houses, but only ones that are purchasable. Fair enough. Get you some steel-toed boots, but then they won't be able to have stealth. Then they won't... Yeah, I don't want the point nine stealth modifier on everybody. I'm just making them all worse for no reason. Let me see what kind of uh, blueprints we got here. Uh, these are all 28,000. Wow. Monk robes. Samurai cloth pants. Any kind of boots. A lot of pants and vests. You can, for some reason, build your own broken houses for aesthetic, I guess. Fair enough. I guess it's nice to just have the option, even if it's useless. <laughs> Be cool if you can make those decoys. Like, hey, that's a broken down house, but there's like a secret trap door compartment in this house that you can lock. That'd be cool. And it, like, avoids the gaze of bandits and raiders, because it's, like, broken down, but you put your most valuable stuff out there. 
Anonymous, thank you for the sub once again for nine months. How's it going? I don't well I don't remember what I named a duck. I'm not sure what I named it. I have forgotten this little nugget of information. High grade ninja rags are six thousand. Yeah, no thanks. Okay. Thank you for showing me what you got. Let's go um let's go to the farm shop real quick. Tawina, step on in. Let's see what we can find. Oh, Blorbulon. <laughs> right. Blorbulon, the duck. How could I forget? <laughs> I don't think farm guy is going to have ninja. I guess the samurai wouldn't have ninja stuff, would they? Um, Anything else here that might have the backpack that we came here for? We could check people in the bar, even though I definitely said that I wasn't going to do that. What does a noble house do? Let's look. Might just be a residential. But it says noble house. It's got to be something noteworthy. I'll go investigate. Leave my dwelling at once, peasant! <laughs> oh, this is the noble. What is... He's got like a sachet. Leave my house at once, peasant! Out of bounds, leave. Empire Noble Guard. Hooded. Peasant. There's a, there's a peasant farmer in the house. At least they didn't insta-kill me. General storage. These are all default residentials down there. Okay, so Tawina. I guess just check the bar. I don't. We're not going to find any ninja packs here. This house is for sale. That's a whole house. It's pretty cool. I don't want to live here, but it's well positioned. I mean, if you're here at the bar, you gotta check. You gotta at least look. You know what I heard from the caravan guard last night? Ten fists back and terrorizing slave caravans to boot. What's that noise? Drawing one victim up naked and left him to the gutters. Oh dear. <laughs> this just fell from the ceiling. Uh, I'm g Hello? Ah! Could you hear me scream? Help me, somebody! Okay, actually, someone's gonna like come check on me if I'm not careful. Someone's gonna be like, what happened? What's wrong? That like did that muffle it? Could you even hear anything? Hear what? That's why. Okay, just checking. That's some good sound absorption right there. Um. Anyway, I don't remember. It didn't fall on me. It fell like over there, and then I picked it up off the floor. So you didn't. You didn't miss like a funny live streamer fail moment, where it like, oh, oh, ow. Because it would it would have to be like this. Because it would have been like, you'd have to cut it at the right time. You'd have to, like, cut it at exactly the right time, but if it, like, fell on me and my camera was on, it would have been, been, like... I'm not gonna have enough time for this. Alright, who are we recruiting in? Oh, oh my god! There you go. Need a stunt double for this. Maybe so. Who's here? Clifford. <laughs> Hello, Clifford. You'll find no better farmer than a high farmer. I charge 4,000 cats if you're hiring, Outlander. Uh, Clifford, not interested right now. I've got two farmers, and I don't know what to do with them. Thumper. Need a real swordsman who can actually handle themselves in a fight? 7,500 cats. A real swordsman. Maybe. 7,500 is quite steep, but for a real swordsman, bona fide swordsman, maybe. Mercenary captain. What is that noise that I keep hearing? Is there something happening upstairs? Yes. Thank you. 
me snoozing my alarm clock 20 times before I wake up. But I put it just out of reach to make it more annoying. Because the night before, it's like, well, if I just make it further away, I'll actually have to get up to turn it off. But it doesn't matter. That doesn't stop me. I'll get up, turn it off, and then get back in bed. Just like this. Doesn't matter how many times. <laughs> I, I knew that noise was, like, out of place. Ah, a new buyer. Welcome. Let's see what you got. You really gonna make me go all the way back into that corner? Wanted. Jaeger the Mad. 30,000 cats, P.S. Woo! That's a bounty. 50,000 for Tin Fist. The Metal Brute's terror is soon to end. Will you be the hero of the innocent? Voodoo Brothers, 20,000 per head. Those are some interesting named contracts there. Okay, no, no, no. I think we're gonna hire the real swordsman, AKA Clifford. No, uh oh, that was the farmer. <laughs> when was this save? This save was from one minute ago. Wrong guy. Cancel. Is there a cancel button? Is there a cancel? That was okay. This is not the correct save scum. This is like not the same thing. This there was no danger in this. No one would have died. Okay, where's everyone going? Thumper. Who is this? Who's Thumper? Is this the guy that was charging 7500 before? Did I just reload and make this price 2000 cheaper? Is this the correct guy? There were only two people. Does anyone know? Chat, I'm depending on you for a correct answer here. All right, I'm phoning, I'm, I'm using poll the audience on who wants to be a millionaire. I need an answer. Yes, but we can scum if wrong. Well, the problem is... <sighs> there were only two people. This is the real swordsman, right? This is Scorchlander. All right, for context, because apparently uh, nobody knows what's going on, I talked to two people in this bar. One of them was a farmer, and I said, no, I don't want the farmer. The other one said he claimed to be a real swordsman. All caps, real. And I said, okay, fine, I'll hire the quote-unquote real swordsman, but his price was 7,500 cats. So I reloaded the save after accidentally hiring the farmer instead of him, and now he's 5,500 instead of 7,500, and I'm not sure it's even the same person, though he does have a sword, so I'm tempted to believe that it is. We all caught up. HG says, whoa, a whole year. Holy moly. A whole year, indeed. Sometimes you guys ever see, like, whoa, a whole year, and then have a brief but very um, forward in your mind thought of existential crisis that, wow, 365 days of streaming is a long time. How old am I? 30? Oh, no. <laughs> How many years of do I have left? But then you just go back to playing Kenshi. At least two. I mean, that's the hope. At least two. Okay. Wow, I did not expect that head of hair underneath. That is some big hair. Okay, Scorchlanders tend to value personal freedom above all else. They don't tend to get along well with rules, regulations, and religions, and as a result have a reputation as social misfits and are often found in more adventurous professions. Despite this, they are highly creative, making them natural-born traders and skilled weaponsmiths. 
honest to a fault, laughing in the face of manners, moderation, anything sensible. They make loyal friends, passionate enemies, and are great fun to drink with. Hello, Scorchlander. Let's see. what. How many haircuts we got? Probably, I would guess, the same ones as we had before. Let's go hair first. You guys want to keep the, like, silver fox look? Do we, don't we already have, like, two white-haired people? Like, Geralt's? Don't we already have two Geralt's? <laughs> Go for the, the bald with the little tuft on top. Ow! Sorry, I just bumped the microphone. I was going to do this while we uh, pick. Just turn on a tune, because we're going to be developing this character for a minute. Big Mohawk! I do kind of like the the three, like, scar slashes over to the side. So it's the same, it's the same hair for both. I gotcha. Interchangeable. Cool. There's 40, though, so I can't complain. There's the unkempt Geralt. We're at 10 and counting down. This is like, um, who is this? Who's that guy? <sighs> Who's that actor? his name <sighs> he's got black hair in real life is it the guy with like the two guns that he shoots up in the air he's like a comedian <laughs> no, I wasn't thinking Joe Dirt, but now, now that you've said it, uh, that's a good alternative. Anyway, whatever. Joe Dirt was, uh, that'll work. No, not Jeff Foxworthy. Does Jeff Foxworthy have black hair? No. He's always wearing sunglasses. The guy, this is gonna really bother me. Black, curly hair, sunglasses, actor. <laughs> that was the, fir the first result, by the way, is Howard Stern. <laughs> That's not what I was going for. Come on, Google. Help me out. Google can't help me out. I can't. Google did not help. Sorry. We're just gonna have to end on the cliffhanger there. Alright. Anyway, I've wasted too much time. Out of all these cuts... The one that I like the best... ...is probably that one. Something simple. Not everybody has to have crazy mohawk. Or Sonic the Hedgehog. Or, like, Final Fantasy character. <laughs> that actually is Ger one of Geralt's haircuts. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna go with this. I like the, I like the three slashes in the side. Alright, Beard. We haven't gotten to choose Beard before, this is actually new. I know you guys started with goatee, but also, well, maybe we chose beard like once before, twice before. Oh, the the Kratos. That is the Kratos right there. I kind of dig the Kratos. 
I don't like the the devil whose horn grew on the wrong part of his head. Yeah, I kind of want to go for the Kratos. None of these other ones are really standing out to me. Okay. Lock it in. Lock in the Kratos. <laughs> okay, he's just... This, this is just a troll. This is like a troll doll. At this point. That's how bright this is. You guys want- you guys want to stick with white? Or do you want, like... Hyper-saturated... You guys want red. Like, f just full red. Like, what about, like, there? Like, right there. How's that? Perfect? Not, like, so bright it's gonna be, um, bl blast more saturation. <laughs> you want more. Alright, how- that's a nice- that's a nice in-between. We got s pretty saturated, but not, like, blast in your eyeballs. Okay. Uh, head and stuff. Well, there's a- there's a- there's an in-game song now. Why does it have to be so extreme? Video games. Hi, Elizabeth. What's up? Should we do body and then head, or head and then body? I say head first. Um, I can't see his chin because of the beard. <laughs> so, like, maybe put the beard on afterwards? Can you, like, hide the... We'll go back to this. I need to be able to actually see his facial features so I can manipulate them. Is it weird that Clean Shaven is number eight on the beard tracker and not number one? I don't know. All right, chin depth. I don't really know what we're going for yet. We kind of just have to feel it out. So let's start from the top. We never start from the top. Head size has got to be last, though. <laughs> or does it? Give you a little neck. Okay. Width. Sure. Length. Right there is good. Jaw? Oh, yes! There it is. It's gonna be jaw. Not cheekbones, though. Right there. About to kiss somebody? Getting ready to kiss somebody? I have- I, if I was making my own nose in this game, this is what my nose looks like, I think. It's wider than this. My nose is, like, there. And actually, this is fairly accurate from the side. I'm not sure how- my nose is not that long. <laughs> okay, Pinocchio. Slow down. My nose is, like, there, probably. Nose arch. Now, I feel bad for- like this- if you've got a nose that looks like this, you've got a- a bona fide, like... Clown nose. Like, you could honk that. <laughs> okay, what, like, dumb comedian? That's Mr. Bean. That's like Ian McKellen. We'll go, we'll go kind of long nose. 
Nose tilt. A little bit of tilt. Brow position. All right, we got to figure out what expression we want. Or brow position and then brow tilt. <laughs> you can really go either way. Um, this is just a Sims character. <laughs> uh. I don't want to look too angry. It's just like, you're a swordsman, you know what's going on. We, we, we should, is, is there another brow one? You're just sad that you have to kill so many people over and over again. Eye depth. <laughs> well, okay. One of these times we're gonna do that. I'm gonna bring it forward. Bring it forward. Eyes narrow. <laughs> he's, he's seen some things. You know what I mean? That's trauma. <laughs> it's a five pet if I've ever seen one. Oh man. I don't know, I kinda like them all the way up to the top. Right right there is good. Eye size, not too huge. It has to look just on the cusp of believability. Which means I need to take the jawline down just a little. Just on the cusp of believability. Give you some chin. All right, body time. <laughs> Looks like Elijah Wood. How does that... Like, does Elijah Wood just have, like, a sad face? Kinda, I guess. He definitely does have, like, a lot of crying faces. I'm, I'm willing to try. Maybe? <laughs> okay. All right, well, that's just a photo of Elijah Wood on my screen now. Close enough. <clears throat> anyway, body. All right, we're almost done. This is the easy part. Well, okay, this is default. I didn't even do this. This is what, this is what they gave me to work with. They really want that leg bulk down, okay? Leg bulk down. That's how you started. So, like, don't complain. Just leave the feet where they are. I really don't even need to manipulate this very much. We're gonna give you, like, small hips. Slightly above average waist. I wanna make you a little bit... You're supposed... We're gonna give you insane upper body strength. <laughs> this is the swordsman. I was told that I was getting a real swordsman. I don't even need to change these. Neck position. That's just if you're, like, looking forward or not. Okay. Um, that Just leave it. Shoulder set. Somewhere in here is good. Posture. Frame. Your frame's already pretty high. I really don't need to change much. We're going to leave height where it is. We're going to leave all this except for idle stance. <laughs> Rock it if you got it, I guess. <laughs> I 
It's almost, it's almost a T pose. That's just a that's a rooster. We've already done the rooster joke, but it is every time. Okay. Let's go like that. Let's go like that. All right. I have chosen. Now we need a name. He <laughs> skipped leg day. Um, new name. We're gonna go with the Ouija board, as we usually do. So first letter is going to be... I want to choose a letter we haven't really chosen before. Have we used the letter L? I don't think so. The letter L. Letter L into letter I. M. Uh, limb. Limb car. All right, that limb car. Not Limmy. We're not going to name everyone just a name with a Y at the end. <sighs> Alright, this is Limcar. Welcome to the squad. Master Swordsman. It's Limkari. Wow, that's so much cuter. Why don't you just name everyone Limkari? Whatever name you wanted to choose, just add an extra letter and then the Y. It's so cute. Two R's. Better than one. Welcome, Limcar. <laughs> there, there he is. He's pretty full. Pretty buff. Oh, wow. Like, it could be Volugapi. <laughs> That's so cute. Rookie. Gorka-E. Rain the Giant-E. Like, Ridley. You've already did Ridley. Donnie, come on, those are two people. Roy ends with a Y, that's the same thing. All right, Limcar, I was told you were a real swordsman. Well, okay, that's corduroy stats. Uh, don't really know if I'd qualify this as real. You also have no stealth whatsoever and 18 athletics. Your, your max speed's still 21. Because you're not carrying anything. You've just got a ringed saber. So. There was a temptation to send Limcar back to Black Scratch. Because that zero stealth modifier is about to be uh, quite detrimental. But I just couldn't help myself. I just wanted a new character who claimed to be a real swordsman. There he is. We don't have any better gear for you. You're just wearing, like, a sleeveless tee, some cargo short pants, some sandals, and a nice hat. Can kind of see your eyes here, but not really. This'll do. Uh, oh, I forgot to do the beard! Oh, no. Clean shaven. I guess he's... Limcar is extra, like... Uh, he just wants to be clean cut, I guess. Plastic surgeon time. Well, I don't think... Is there a plastic... There could be a plastic surgeon in the other bar. It's possible. Hey, everybody, what's going on? Who we got? Merc Captain? And... Dude named Eric. Hi, 
lifeless without a master. I'll work for 2,000 cats plus food. No. Not right now. We can't really afford to take you in. One more person up here, possibly of note. It's the plastic surgeon. Gotta pay 300 cats to grow a beard. That's 200 here. Sure, I'll have a facelift. What's the worst that could go wrong? <laughs> Look at that jawline. And I'm gonna ruin it. And I'm gonna ruin it. Rip that jawline. Alright, Limcar. There you go. This is how you were originally conceived. And so it shall be. Okay, so we came here for a ninja backpack, and we left here with a liability. So I guess it's uh, gonna be hard times in Kinch. We're going west. Dude's got zero stealth, and it's probably gonna get us killed. Um, I don't know why we're in the clothing shop right now. Because I definitely said go this way. What are they doing? Okay, chat has decided, whether- I don't know if you guys were here earlier, that we are actually going to rescue Miu, who is currently pack-muling about 64,000 cats worth of resources, uh, on her person. So, we are going back to the Swamp Sitters to rescue THE Swamp Sitter herself. All right, Limcar clearly is not running with the crew. Is someone running slow here, or is Limcar just fast? Maybe both. Got to get that beard surgically installed. You kind of do. Every every bit of facial hair is fake in Kinshi. I don't know if you guys knew that. No one's capable of growing facial hair anymore. It's a post-apocalyptic scenario. Everyone's been affected by the same airborne contaminants. What is that? Uh, you know, just a giant sunbeam. That could possibly vaporize you if it lands on you. No big deal. Just trying to cross through the desert here. No problem. Who's fighting over here? Oh, you know. Just an entire squadron of grass pirates. Who we could probably actually defeat. So let's just keep a close eye on the situation in case they decide to come mess with us. We need to go this way. Vinga. I've been to Vinga. Yeah, we've actually crossed through here. We went through the Tower of Abuse. Um, so Vinga is the place with all the solar craziness. So we should probably go like more southwest if possible. Try and just cut through north to south and then go west. Do you have to bring your entire posse along when you go exploring? Uh, you don't, but these guys all have things that will help us survive. So I purposefully left a group of people um, at our new base, our new HQ, and we finished some research here recently, so let's take a look. We're working on weaponsmithing right now. And before that, we had finished... Is there a way to see research that's already been completed? Not that I know of, anyway. No? <laughs> Fair enough, then. Fair enough. But yeah, we, we finished Tier 2 research, which will allow us to... Our tech level 2. So now, with a better um, research bench... We can research, like, beds. Also, there's a bunch of stuff in red here that's not available yet. That we'll eventually be able to craft all this ourselves. Look at all this training stuff. Lockpick training tier 2. Turret training too? A practice turret to get better at defending? This is really cool. This actually is going to be The Sims. <laughs> okay, so question. Um... 
what did I queue up to research? I know for sure that I queued up tech level 2 and crafting. We did we did uh, iron plates. So we could do iron plates. Let's just look on the building thing and see. We can make a clothing bench. A bench for making various types of clothing. A water tank can be built indoors. That's huge. Cooking stove. We had that from yesterday. Got some interior furniture we need to add to. We can now make an iron refinery. Refines raw iron into high-grade iron plating that can be used for construction. Stone mine. Hard work and the amount of resources you get is dependent on how many workers you can throw at it. Stone processor turns raw stone into building materials. Got a bunch of storage types now. I don't even know what all we got. Um, raw material storage was one of the ones we just got. Or plates and ore and bars. Uh, f different types of crops. General storage. Uh, bolts for ammunition. Animal feeder. We need to keep tabs on our animals to make sure they don't die. Because I don't know. Research bench 2 costs us 10 iron plates. And definitely cannot go inside this house. <laughs> then there's the two training things and the defensive walls. Okay, so we're currently working on weaponsmithing. And then we will just queue up stuff that we can't really use right now, but we will be able to use later. We're just going to do everything on tier 1. So let's say... Hats and headgear. What is basic weapon grades? One day we'll have the greatest swordsmiths in the world. And blades that can cut a man clean in half with a single cut. Today, though, just rusted junk. More types of clothing available to craft. These are pretty easy. They only take a couple hours. Uh, we don't have any generator stuff. I don't know when we'll need that. It's just for electric lights, I guess. It's probably a little bit more advanced. Fabric manufacturer probably comes before clothes. If we can make our own fabric, it makes clothing and armor crafting cost effective. It only takes one book and a couple hours. So we're going to be using these books up, and then we're going to run out, and we'll have to get more. And the way we're going to get more is either by buying them or by exploring. And right now, we're exploring. So that'll do. The other one is still running here. Watch out for the sky. What are you guys talking about? The other one. But anyways. Elizabeth, whenever you go to sleep, sleep well. I see your nerd redemption, but I also see weak thralls. From the thrall masters. Remember when these guys would haunt our dreams and we had our army fight the weak thralls? The robo army? Those were the good times. I don't think we could take... There's too many of them. So I'm, I'm not going to fight them. I'm going to try and avoid them, actually. I just want to take a little screenshot. Hey, Alfred, what's up? Let's go into sneak mode. <laughs> what, are they, what are they talking about? Iodani said, the other one is still running here. Watch out for the sky. Corduroy said, damn you, the other one! Talion Mangetta said, the other what? The other eye. We can't survive here for long. Have to move <laughs> quickly. Uh, do you see this energy pulse? That is chasing Bracklin. <laughs> Bracklin, run. Why are there three? There's too many. We're going like straight south. We need to cut west. Okay, we'll go a little faster. Speed this up a bit. So, limb car, you gotta start building that uh, athletic skill, buddy. Already at 19. Did you guys, I guess uh, I did look at the stats when we first got them, so. Whoa! Yo! Is that sand or like a death ray? I, I think it's sand, but I genuinely can't tell. What is this? 
Oh no. Are they really back? Really? Are the blood spiders here? Why? <laughs> no reason. Just go. We're faster than them, right? I feel like I've been here before, actually. What is that? Nothing, probably? I'm watching you. I'm making sure you guys are behaving. I also want to see what this big pylon in the sky is. It looks like it's constantly being <laughs> laser beamed. Is this even anything? I feel like if it was something, we would have already discovered what the thing was. I'm just gonna steer clear. Let me get out of this place. Stay south, everybody. Okay, so Corduroy, what's your max speed now? 15, why is it minus four? Uh, encumbrance, 20%. Oh, you picked up the horse chopper. Yeah, we don't need these. Ooh. <laughs> Careful. I guess uh, nature is the real enemy here, which I kind of prefer, to be honest. I'm scared to go at three times speed because because what if like it goes so fast? That they get... See? Like, what happens if it goes so fast, they just walk directly into one of these, and I don't have time to react? Alright, we're gonna stay by the water here and see how this goes for us. This looks like a decent path. This place is pretty... All these, like, the different environments in Kinshi is just constantly amazing to me. How they make everywhere look so interesting and unique and different. Like, this little path I've, I'll have i maybe never take again as long as the game exists. I just love the, like, handcrafted world. What? Is that is that like a super? Or is that one just further away? I assume one's just further away. But it's just so enjoyable just to, like, wander and see everything the world's got to offer you. Okay, so right now we are actually uh, making pretty good time. Got some deposits out here, some random ore deposits. I wonder what kind of creatures we're gonna find. Lots of ore, actually. One, two, three, like four pockets of ore right there. But imagine making a base here, you know? and not getting burned alive. Like, do those sun rays hurt buildings? I almost don't want to know the answer to that. Because I'd like to just see what happens for myself. But imagine trying to, like, live there. Also, am I next to some kind of geyser? Yes. Uh-oh. Is this, um, skin bandit territory? I think skin bandit territory is down here. So this is something else. <laughs> Solar power looks very abundant. Indeed it does. It's eerily quiet. Discovered secret drug farm. Okay, well, you've got my attention. Now I have to look. It's not so secret anymore. That's right. I like that the the map is fairly generous with in turn like if you had to get like 50 meters away from this before you discovered it or like actually see it in line of sight, I would never be able to explore. I would never do anything fun. So I'm glad that it's like fairly generous. What is that? 
I guess that's a volcano? I don't know. It's a secret drug farm. Whoa, there might be people here. I mean, that's three buildings. Secret drug farm friendos. <laughs> here, let's go take a look. Probably sneak time. Well, not yet, but soon. Especially once we get over the hill. It's almost nighttime, so we're definitely gonna be able to do some sneaking with Volugop if we want. Now's a good time. All right, it's also a good time for Limcar to train some stealth. All right, is anybody down here? Maybe? They might just be, like, holed up in their rooms? I'm gonna send Volugop down just to check things out. We need to get off of this hill, because people are gonna be able to see us from anywhere. So, uh, I'm just gonna choose one side. Oh, it's a gorilla! <laughs> Guarding the drug farm. Um, this dude would kill everyone in my squad. Probably single-handedly. So I guess I'll hide on this side of the hill. The gorilla's actually just wandering into the secret drug farm. There is no better place to hide here that I can see. What is that? I don't know what that is. All right, um, so, Volugop, I think, can outrun the gorilla. How fast is it? 15 miles an hour. Okay, so we can actually outrun the gorilla. He would still wipe my whole squad. If we fought him. Okay. Interesting development. He is literally going right through the middle of town, for some reason. And he just turned around, so I, <laughs> I almost went in. Not today. Gorillos are very hungry. All the time. Okay, my people are still safe over there. 90% chance to unlock this, by the way. I wonder who's here. Hello? Is anybody home? Or did I just find, like, super drug stash? Hydroponic hemp for the black shifters. Needs water. <laughs> we found the hemp processing facility. That door noise was kind of scary. Okay, um, let's check out some of these containers. Just free stuff. Three damaged books. Some bolts. Is there any, like, locked containers in here? We would have to have a pack animal for all this. I think the key is that we know where it is, and that we can come back and get it. Because I, well, I guess I could carry it. Yeah, pack animal would be the best way to get it, all this loot. Because you have to carry drugs in mass. Like, each hashish is worth 132, which ain't much. So... You really do need... mass quantities. Like, default hemp to make fabrics and clothing is only worth 16 per. We got water tanks here that are empty, generators, battery banks. Let's try a different door. Luckily, it's nighttime, so the people on top of the hill should be even safer now. 
I would like one drug, please. Um, oh, there we, hi! It's a security spider. Remember these guys? Yeah, no, I do. Luckily, they don't position their security spiders to face the front door, but rather away from the front door. I heard a noise. Everyone's still safe up there. We're looking at the eyeballs. I probably should have brought Ridley down here to pick these locks, but Ridley wouldn't be able to... Who's screaming? I heard a faint, like, Ah! Steel bars, fabrics. More drugs. Hold on. There we go. Um. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna... I mean, it is the secret drug house. So I don't think we're gonna find anything here besides drugs. But you still gotta look. You don't know until you try. I think there's two more. Chat, you are the best. Hey, what's up, Shady Sam? <laughs> okay, yeah, what about the scenario in which uh, the security spider is the sole proprietor of this drug farm? Through sentience and artificial intelligence, these security spiders have risen up against their former masters and started growing their own drugs. <laughs> Who knows? Okay, so at least two of them, three of them have security spiders in them. I wonder if that's because there's better stuff in here or, be, or if it's just random. Okay, well, well, at least we got to investigate. There wasn't a whole lot for us to find, but that's okay. There's Fall You Got sneaking down the middle of the drug farm. Yeah, all the plants need water too, so they've clearly got none. We know where the secret drug farm is and can make it our own eventually if we want to. I doubt Vayugop even needs to sneak right now, to be honest. He can run 26 miles an hour. This is on one time speed. Watch him go. 26! Okay, so uh, one thing. All of you need to be on hold and passive. And none of you need to be on block. Okay, fantastic. Also, probably none of you need to be on taunt for now. Now that we got that squared away, let us continue to the west. I say we just go here. And it is nighttime, so we're gonna have the wind on our sails. Able to go as fast as we can. Towards the volcano, and whatever that... <laughs> You'll fight for us now, humans! Why were these guys just at the top? The skeleton warriors continue great stoves cleansing! These guys were just at the top of this hill. Um, curious what our slowest character is. 22, 19, 21, 19. So it looks like 19 is as fast as everybody's running right now. Uh, they got 18... 18. Hopefully their armor is slowing them down. They got 119. So no one that's going to overtake us. Except the AI cheats. That is the only downside. So even though we're technically faster than them, somehow they always find a way to catch up. 
Like, Volugop just ran backwards? For no reason? Like, sometimes they just slow down. And the, the AI almost never slows down, but my characters do. What is that? <laughs> Who did this? Why is there... Why are there just dead land bats? At the foot of this volcano. All of them. Every single one's dying. Big iron resource. That is ominous. It's a blood sacrifice. It's a ritual. Okay. I guess we're gonna run right past that. Why are they catching up to Volugop? I mean, he's running at the same speed as everybody else, so let's, like, turn up the pace just a little bit. But he's like, actually, screw all you guys. So what? Okay. Um, people catching up can run... One of them is 18 miles per hour, and he's catching up to us. Even though we also run 18 miles an hour. Actually, we run 19. No one here is running 18. So the 18 mile an hour guy, I don't understand how he's the one catching up to us right now. Can someone explain this? Am I missing, like, a... an important tooltip? Because, like, 19 mile an hour could catch up with us if he takes the correct paths. But what they're going to try and do is get in front of us and then slash. Which means somebody who's really fast, like Bracklin, is going to have to go full taunt. And, like, attack a couple of these people just to peel them off. Ah! Oh! Get away! <laughs> <laughs> he got caught. Racklin got caught. Now he can only run 22. He's gonna get some extra toughness now. Which one of these is the bad guy? They're like blending into my group. One of these is not like the other. And Bracklin should be faster than all of them, because he runs 22. Okay, so now I need to get uh, Tawina. Who, well, no, no, no. Volugop, who also taunt. And where is the bad guy in this group? Wasn't there a bad guy in this group, or did he get left behind? That's a good taunt. That's a good taunt right there. He's got to reload still. It's always... Is there a way to reload out of combat? Because that would be fantastic. I don't even know if I shot. <gasps> Who's... Oh, boy. Drone guards of the Southern Hive. We are about to have an incident. Um, there's, I mean, there's quote-unquote only four of them. But also, they strong. So it's kind of up to us. Bracklin might be dead. Take a different path. Okay. 
So, we have peeled away from this group. And we're gonna go into stealth. And we're gonna hide the main group, like, up the hill. It's still nighttime, so we've definitely got the advantage. Um, Bracklin is not actually gonna fight this guy. It's gonna be Volugop. Bracklin now is off of taunt. And it's gonna run this way. Volugop is gonna pretend to shoot this guy. Okay, which he did. And now Bracklin's gonna go into sneak mode and just sneak up the hill away from danger. We're sneaking up the volcano, yes. Volugop has got all of the activity, as far as I know. And is going to lead them away. Volugop is the hero that we don't deserve. Bracklin is going to go group up and get healed. And this should be pretty easy to do at night. During the day? No. During the day, we'd be definitely screwed. But nighttime, Volugop is just so much faster than these guys. It's kind of a joke. All right, perfect. The art of kiting. I bet I'm faster than them while uh, in stealth mode too. Yeah, I run 25 miles an hour in stealth. <laughs> Bracklin, go up a little higher, my friend. Actually, I think he's healed now. I think he healed himself. He is a medic after all, that's the idea. He's got 20 skill in field medic. Um, spooky sandstorm coming in. They have given up the hunt. We have escaped with our lives. And now we must go. Before they catch us again. Good job. Well done, everyone. They have turned around. I don't know where the hive drones are. Uh, we're gonna, like, group up right here. Bracklin can still run okay. He's been patched up. He's been bandaged. Well done. Hey, Middlebit, what's up? Yeah, if, if you couldn't outrun them, you might try to uh, lead the skeletons into them. That might be a viable strategy. No, thank you. But you have to be careful because they really... You might end up accidentally aggroing both parties to you and then they might just chase you both together. We're going the same way a gorilla is and land bats are. So maybe it would be smarter to stay on this side where the water is. So many resources out here. Copper, iron, a lot of good stuff. All right, Limcar, how's your stats looking? 11 stealth, 25 athletics. Getting on up there. We need like we need at least mid 30 stealth on you for it to be effective. We're going from zero to eleven, you know, it's pretty huge. All right, I think I can afford to speed this up. It's almost daytime. Oh, I thought that was a different. I thought that was a different group of people chasing me. My heart actually skipped a beat. <laughs> All these bones, man. Probably not good. Who ate all these creatures? We don't know. Flats Lagoon. Discovered strange town. <sighs> what am I not gonna explore strange town? Please don't be any alligators or something stupid. <laughs> Corduroy and Iodani. We'll see you guys. They're like walking slowly through the water just for us. Well, while they're swimming across to the other side, let's check on the scratching post. What do we got? Show research. Oh, you stopped researching. Well, how about you restart? Everyone else just kind of hanging out.
Yarpo? Are you, you just want to sleep forever, Yarpo? You can just sleep forever if you want to. It is nighttime. This is our little base of operations right now. We're doing some research here on a tier one bench. Uh, definitely what's happening today is we're going to buy this Y house. Probably at like, uh, once we get a little further, when I have, when I don't have to focus on my travel group as much. Because these guys need my full undivided attention right now, basically. Basic weapon smithing complete. My research is just flying by. I can't even... Is that a caravan? Those are nomads. Who are these guys? Also nomads of the Western Hive. Who I don't think are automatically evil. I want to go to the strange town. Let's go around this way. I think this would be faster than the way that they're trying to go. When you follow them, then it's much easier to just fly. We could go talk to them. I don't know if they have anything I would want to buy. I guess it depends on how much food we got. Or don't got. As the case may be. What if they like instant? What are those little, look at those little cute bone, oh those are sheep. Those are goats. Oh, those were bone dogs at first. No, they're cute little goats. Little nomad goats and wild bulls. Pack beasts. And their leader might have uh, something to say. If you wanted to, you could just follow these guys for extra protection. Uh, they mostly just carry staves, but they do have good attack and defense and they make for lovely fodder. I have animals for sale. Oh, you can buy animals from the nomads. Wow. Bunch of pups. Bunch of pups. Got goats, wild bulls, pack bulls, bone dogs, garus. Even if you bought one of these garus right now, I don't have a backpack for it, so... Uh, we know where to come later, because I don't have anything... To, I'm going to end up getting anything that I buy here killed, guaranteed. Z newborn bone dog is going to get killed, because we are going into dangerous, dangerous lands. Oh, look at that sunrise, though. Look at that sunrise. Oh, that is a strange town, isn't it? <laughs> a very strange town. Thing is elevated. It's like on stilts. That's crazy. <laughs> Gotta go faster. All right, now the great swim across. We're training some swimming skills, though, so we got that going for us. Uh, it might. Uh... Yeah, it's probably faster just to go here. <laughs> and then skip over to this side. I wonder how everyone's swimming skills looking. Level 9? Level 10? You're gonna be at, like, level 25 by the time. This ability to swim faster and further without drowning. I, can you actually drown in this game, or is that just tongue-in-cheek? Does drowning exist? It might, I guess. Hold on, I'm closing some tabs. Closing some tabs so we get better performance. Looks like an old oil rig. It probably is. Would not surprise me in the least. Uh, good news is, despite all the bones... This... Well, those are some bones. Despite all the bones, I'm not really seeing any dangers. Unless the town is the danger, I guess. But it looks fine. There's Western Hive, Black Dog, um, coexisting. 
Research complete on fabric manufacture. We're going to be through tier one research in no time. Those stairs are insane, dude. Lumcar is taking an interesting scenic route. <laughs> Can you just go? He's like walking at the same speed as the people swimming, just so that they don't feel so bad. <laughs> Look at this place. I gotta take a screenshot of that, of course. This definitely deserves like a big wide shot. Ooh, big mountains in the background. Nice. I feel like I can't see as much as I want to of this city and the mountains. That'll do. Alright, let's see if they let us in. This place looks well secure. <laughs> they all look at me suspiciously. <laughs> what do we got? Armor shop. Ooh, tech hunters have set up here. Uh, small, you can buy shacks here. This is a cool place to live. Ranger shop. Got a bar off to the side. Travel and repairs. That's what we're looking for. Another bar? Okay. Let's go to travel and repairs first. Absolutely. I think this is where we're going to find the ninja packs we're looking for. Show me what you got. Well, we got one. Okay, so one small thieves. Not as many as I hoped. But I will buy that for the low, low price of 3,000 cats. A lot of uh, skeleton legs here and arms. So it's cool to know that you can buy these from travel and repair shops. We got some unique research artifacts. Tech Hunter Library, sure. Tech Hunter's map for ancient labs, yeah. I want to know. We know that one already. Those books are five grand a pop. I guess if we had bought an animal, we could have bought um, Garu backpack here. It's just not worth the the Garu like dies. <laughs> it just dies. Anything else of note here? I don't know how we're doing on food. I hadn't really looked in a while. Um. Ooh, ooh, lots of stuff to steal. Swimming skill might be nice to escape pursuit. Yeah, I was thinking that too. Though I did try to use that unsuccessfully, famously against some blood spiders, and we all know how that turned out. By the way, War of the Worlds subscribed a few minutes ago. What's up, War of the Worlds? How's it going? Back for 32 months as uh, the war is back. Sorry I missed the last few streams. I've been on a super secret mission in uncharted space. That does sound exciting. Super secret, uncharted space mission. Well, thanks for your 32 months, and I appreciate your prime sub. Thanks for sharing. Hopefully you're still there, because I know you're in the chat somewhere. Calling you out. <laughs> okay. Anything else we want here? I guess we could look in the bar? You always have to look. Headgear... Ranger shop, small shack. Let's let's take a little peek. Um, Volugop, why don't you look in the ranger shop? This is it. I want to. I would love to train somebody else how to shoot a bow. That'd be fantastic. Looking to buy. Show me what you got. Toothpick. Bolts. Uh, needs research bench. Tier 2? I think we've already bought those, if I'm not mistaken. Selling uh, Eagle's Cross for 22 grand. Wow. We've, we've got another Eagle's Cross, but not specialist grade. Um, holding on to 7 bolts here. I think since this is Volugop's specialty, and he's already used like 13 bolts, somehow, that it would be worth our while to spend a couple thousand, or at least a thousand on some more. Because if you run out of bolts... You run out of luck. So I think we leave some of these 
uh, inside the backpack. Just so he's not weighing him down as much, so he can still run fast. Um, but if we do have to drop him, we're still hanging on to like 20 plus bolts there. What kind of game is this? It's a sandbox RPG, Trev. And yes, I am enjoying it very much. It's really fun. Very hard game. But it is total freedom to play however you want. And it's it's got a lot of really interesting, fun things to explore and discover. Um, all the way from having a single character and, you know, getting locked up in prison or mining iron ore to building a base with a army. You can go all the way through. Is there magic in this game? I don't think there's magic. There are magical creatures, like dragons of some sort, and uh, huge super mutant monsters, but not like castable magic, as far as I know. Um, this actually scratches an itch in a different way. It's like the same itch, but a totally different scratch as something like Mountain Blade, to me. Why, why was I thinking about picking this dude's lock right in front of his face? That would not go well for me. Uh, what do we got over here? This is a bar. All right, Volugop, you want to go say hi? Let's see who's resting in the bar. There's something powerful in the Ashlands. You can feel it. Who's this? <laughs> Chad. Of course, the Chad bro is inside of this bar. Stopping off in the Ashlands, huh? Journeyed halfway there myself, but got in trouble with those freaky pit gangs after I made through the beak nests. Turned back to recoup in this sleepy old man town. No biggie, no biggie. I'll hum some tunes, squat some hundred granddads, and punch some monster bones. I'll be trained up, ready to come next week. Just watch me. I like you. Join me. You survived on your own? Sure, yeah. Few beaks tried to have a chomp at me, but I gave him a knuckle dust switch right in the nose. But sure, I ain't gonna lie, like those other posers. I hightailed it east after the first two went down, and the herd came after me. I ain't afraid of running. I ain't no tin fist. Hell no, I ain't. Yeah, I like you. Join me. You want me on the team, huh? Well, these fists don't come cheap, rookie. You want raw power? You're gonna have to pay for it. 9,000 cats. I mean, he talks a big talk, Chad. You talk a big talk, 9,000 cats. I guess I gotta. Hired, huh? Guess I'll be heading south. Gonna need some dried meat for the road. I didn't grow these muscles on thin air and veggies. Oh, this is a unique character. All right, let's get this expedition started. It's ya boy, Chad. Chad is in the group. The unique hero. Coming at you with a dust coat, shoddy grade, some drifter pants, martial arts bindings, and a bandana. Uh, drifter boots, I guess, are fine. 0. 0.9 stealth debuff, whatever. That means his stealth is 90% of whatever it is. Look at those calves. <laughs> this is this is who we got. That that there are there are I you know I believe you might be a martial artist. Let's see your stats. Okay, no, I don't. Mm, Twenty martial arts. <laughs> In 24 dodge right off the bat. That's not bad. A rare skill in this day and age. Warriors only consider it a last resort. At normal skill levels, an unarmed man is always at a huge disadvantage against an armed opponent of similar ability. There are stories, however, of high-level martial art masters who can match any master swordsman in combat with just their bare hands. Physical conditioning is an important factor for a martial artist. There you go. 18 stealth. Has assassination skills. Wow. And some field medic skills. Okay. Well, I guess we got a martial artist for reals. 
he said he took down some beak things single-handedly, huh? Okay. Uh, well, let's see if there's anybody else in here before we snap the pick. Picked up... Ooh, that's the bartender. I... maybe. Maybe it's not. Is it? En route to the Ashlands, guess you'll look to stock up. Tell me about the Ashlands. A tech hunter asking questions instead of spouting stories. Now that's a first. Well, the Ashlands lie to the southeast, the ultimate expedition for any tech hunting pro. You could say it's because nobody ever makes it that there... You could say that because nobody ever makes it there that we crazy ones just find it all the more enticing. Apart from the Ashland drifters, of course, but they're long gone. There are three ways in, south through the hives, southeast through the gorillos. Either way, a novice will get ripped to shreds. And the third way? East. Skirt the pits and swim. Thanks for the info. They don't call it the Forbidden Lands for nothing. So can I buy something now or no? <laughs> there we go. Show me your goods. Um, location already known. They got a couple of trader baskets. Camp shelter. Do I know this? Important for any traveler, these tents are easily made of spare fabrics. It doesn't say I know it, do I? I don't think so. Okay, cool. Who else is back here? Zoo. Every squad should have a doctor on board. So, need a doc? I'm your girl. How about combat? Can you fight as well? No. But I am also a hobbyist scientist if you ever need some research. Hmm. And what are you charging? Keep me safe from bandits and I'm yours for 6,000 caps. A doctor who's... I mean, this doctor's definitely going to get killed on this journey. Right? Not right now. That 16 miles per hour is going to die. As much as I want Dr. Zoo... Ever need help smoothing things over with the Empire? You know where to find me. Okay, well, she is a sci- I would love a scientist, but... How am I gonna make it back? We're firmly in the side of the swamp at this point. <laughs> well, the medic's no good to us if the medic dies. And I- I- I, sp I have spent 20,000 cats already on this day, you know what I mean? Like, you gotta draw the line somewhere, and also food. I got four dried meat here, ten here, thirteen, none, 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 one, fourteen, <laughs> fifteen, <laughs> yeah, so like, I, I, I can't. It's probably wise, maybe even to buy a couple rations, just to, because I don't know if I'm going to find anybody else. Food cubes are almost a thousand apiece, though. Get our food somewhere else. We just gotta hunt some animals. Alright, well, welcome to the party, Chad. Who was recruited by Volyagop. So let's get a nice, let's get a nice photo of our newest member, Chadwick. <laughs> they have the same pose. Paul you got in chat. 2019. There we go. Then they're here. And they're here. The new member of the family. Is Volugop the leader now? Tawin is kind of the leader, and Volugop is like the scout. He's like the leader of the scouts. Which is him and, like, Ridley, <laughs> who never goes scouting. We need to bring Ridley on some more trips. Pretty fast, 22 miles an hour. It's not insane. Um, stealth is pretty good. 67. Lock picking's 20, so. she's She is the deputy scout. She's, like, in training. Okay, let's get on out. I don't think there were any more shops that I was interested in. The ranger shop, the bar. We went to travel and repairs. Headgear. The bar again. Armor. I just, I can't. 
par I can't buy any more armor. We just gotta make do with what we got. We gotta keep scavenging. Hey, Morn's down there. Remember when Morn got totally overrun? Alright, well now we kinda have to awkwardly cross back over. Chad needs to make sure you stick with the group, buddy. Gonna be building up that swim skill. 20 martial arts, 24. Who has the best dodge in the whole squad? It might be him. How do you build dodge? The ability to evade attacks without blocking. You need to stay light and fast. If you're encumbered with heavy equipment, you won't be able to dodge or learn anything. Train by fighting unarmed or get a hit while stumbling. <laughs> You just, just get hit. There you go. That makes sense, I guess. Chad's, like, already there. He's, like, waiting on everyone else. <laughs> uh, I assume the backpacks that we've got probably do not make this easy. Alright, how do we want to cross this territory? Probably this way. Where did Chad come from? We literally just recruited him in Flats Lagoon, which was a strange city at the time. We didn't know what it was. Uh, he is a unique character that is a martial artist, hand-to-hand -hand combatant, which is uh, certainly unique here. Another silver-haired fox to add to the fox group. Okay, this is going to be a fun swim. No matter where we go. Swim skill, though, is pretty cool. If you can train it in peacetime, then, you know, why not? <laughs> Who did I click on? Chad? <laughs> Tawin is almost at 50. Rook is at 52 swim skill. I assume 100 is the max. This is at three times speed, by the way. All right, now how are we gonna get here? Uh, ancient labs were terrifying, so let's try and not go that way. I'd rather just go north. And avoid that little area altogether. Wasn't that with the blood spider lands? If I can avoid, ooh -wee, who's this? Garus? Garus is a good sign. Caravan Drone of the Western Hive. Okay, caravans are usually pretty chill. As long as you don't attack them. Don't stir any trouble up. Beak things, however, are not. <laughs> well, pick your poison, I guess. Beak things or blood spiders. Those are the two choices. Maybe if we just turn hard north. Hard north, go for this, like, ravine. Go for this little path here. We're actually almost to our destination. Remember Shim? We've been here a long time ago. This looks like a decent little sneak path. I don't know. Let me see what they think the best route to take down there is. It's almost going to be nighttime in a few hours, so that's definitely going to help us make the last leg of the journey. And then we will have Miu, and we'll be on our way back. I think we should do some more research first. Back at Stick HQ. This is our temporary office before we build uh, the big Y house. Uh, Yoma, show me what you got. Public sales, I don't know what we need that for yet. Ooh, look at all this, baking. Wheat straw isn't edible till you bake it into bread. You can now make flour storage, bread baskets, grain silos, and bread ovens. These just take books, which is what I'm scared of. We're going to run out of books. We only have... Seven... Six more books, and then seven more specialist books. And that's with all the stuff we had collected. Which is crazy. I'm going to say... Just choose what you need. 
We can always buy more. Hats and headgear, basic weapon grades, simple clothing types. Uh, this includes shirts, shorts, pants, sandals, cloth shirts. I think clothing is going to be pretty important, getting everyone unified on the same page there. So this is only toss one book anyway. Okay. We'll just do both of those for now. Beak things can be eaten. That's true, but you got to kill them first and when they're not in a full squad. Because <laughs> getting surrounded by beak things... Woo! Hello. Who's this, by the way? Who are you? Dust bandits. We could defeat them, probably. Uh, it would be a tough... It would be a tough fight, but we could do it. They're like 21 to 29. That's about even with us. I don't know if I want to fight them, but like I could try. Yeah, we do. We do have new Chad. <laughs> That's true. There is a new Chad. Ooh, another group, though. Weak thralls chasing one pixel. Wait, no, they're just. That's another weak thrall. Hmm, how many are there here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's kind of a lot. That's a lot of people with like 29 to 30 defense. I think with Volugop sniping, maybe? I wish when you started a snipe, it wouldn't instantly alert the entire enemy team to your presence. Let's like go over here to fight them. We do need to- we do just to keep toughening ourselves up. <laughs> uh, maybe we'll just let them come to us over here. So let's do this. Ball you got! Has got the sniper. Let's try and pick off the toughest guy, right? Who's the- who's the leader? Following leader, which one of you? Is the leader, like, out in front somewhere? They all claim to be following the leader. Dust boss. It's you? This dude right there. Okay, well, Volugop, attack this target. <laughs> they instantly know. They have a sixth sense about these things. Alright, I'm gonna move everyone out of the way. Hamit, where are you going, bud? Has he shot yet? Let's see if it hits. I saw it whiz by, but it did not hit. <laughs> He's gonna have to get one more try. All right, Vol, you got. Do you have um, you have a backpack on? It's lowering your combat skills, but I don't know if that is important. We're gonna drop all of our stuff. Um, because I don't. I think we're gonna need every advantage here. These combat modifiers are just not at a good time. Chad needs uh, some healing stuff. He's he's like a pretty good, pretty good possible doctor. Okay, so here's how we're gonna arrange this. Did he shoot again? I don't know. We'll look in a second. Uh, Taween, we need to get Kang and Rain the Giant out in front. Uh, they're gonna be on taunt. Everyone's going to be off of passive. Obviously. Well, okay. That's not true. We'll keep them on passive for now. Until the time is right. So. We will turn them off of hold. So that when I do turn them off of passive, they actually respond. So we're going to put... Kang here. With Team Bracklin. And then we're going to put Rain the Giant here. With Taunt with Team Tawina. Then up the center flank, this actually is just Total War, but like, squad based. Gorka's doing pretty good now, right? Gorka's got like 26 melee defense. It's not, that's respectable. Gorka, I'm trying to keep a little space so that Volugop doesn't accidentally friendly fire. 
Chad's gonna hold up um, next to Volugop for now. We need someone else on the right, probably Hammett. Okay, let's just get into position. Good shot! Dying. Dust boss. Neck shot. <laughs> no one on sneak anymore. We're not trying to hide. Volugop is, uh, well, he's, he's pretty mean. I'm not sure what a good photo op this is. It'd probably just be Volugop doing work. Why did Volugop stop? He's like, I did my job and I'm not going to shoot anymore. <laughs> they did 136 headshot damage, by the way. <laughs> okay, no screenshot yet. Then we got uh, Ruka, Limcar, Ridley, and Donnie. Then we're going to send Ruka left. Limcar is just a guy, right? Uh, you, you're a guy with like 10 skills. You're going to be back up. Your reserves. Uh, Ridley is getting there. 21 strength. Not that much toughness. We're going to line you up like this. Kind of let him go right into the middle of us, right? Right into the middle. Like, this dude could be taken by Hamet and Donnie. Nicely done. All right, there's... M but wait, there's more! Where's the next strongest dude? Oh, they've got ranged. <laughs> they've got their own ranged fighters. Uh-oh. They've got, like, a squad over here. Uh, we need to send, like, a team. Tawina, Rain, and Chad are gonna run, like, over here. Um, Bracklin is gonna take Dude in the back. Kang is gonna take Dude in the middle. And then Ruka is gonna take Dude in the front. Alongside Gorka. Then we're gonna have Limcar, Ridley, and Corduroy also flank left. Then we're going to have Volugop go over to the side, and we're going to turn everybody off of passive now. Alright, I think we just got, like, snoit. Rain the Giant got, uh, felt a little tickle in his chest. Luckily, the armor basically... Look at that minus 15, minus 17, minus 17. They hit me right in the armor, which is beautiful. So, Rain the Giant hit one Dust Bandit. Tawina at the other, and Chad is going to melee. I want to see the melee brawl. I'm going to try and get Volugop in, like, a better sniping position over here. Oh, he's got a friend. All right, this dude is going down. I think Donnie might be able to handle it from here. Maybe not. We need somebody to intercept. Um... I think Corduroy and Ridley can intercept. Ah! <laughs> oh yeah, we can handle these guys. Alright, I'm gonna let Volugop choose. I saw that guy just drop. <laughs> right in the stomach. <laughs> Critical wound, dying. Alright, where's the newbie? Chad, get in there. Ooh! Five finger death punch! And Chad bravely ran away. Nice, right? In the kidney. Little kick to the calf. Good blocks all around, everybody. <laughs> nice blocks. Ooh, uh, ooh, uh. Wow, that fight went pretty well. That fight went pretty well. And I don't know how many shots Volugop took, but I'm going to turn everybody back to, um, well, they're doing jobs already. So they're going to heal. We need someone to go around with a backpack. Uh, Ruka did not ever drop her back, or I might have dragged it from someone else to her. Now we're going to find the bodies. And strip them of their weapons. Spiked helmets. 
Uh, not really that valuable, but... Does perception uh, negatively affect martial artists in any way? Like, would a spiked helmet be better than this? I guess it'd be heavier. It's five kilograms. You want to keep Chad as light as possible, right, as a martial artist? But you have to decide how you want to... How you want to risk that. This music's pretty good. And it's gone. Okay, well, it was pretty good. Where are the other bodies? They're crumpled up all over. <laughs> are there any more? There are definitely more, right? Okay, well, maybe that's everybody that I can see. Good job. Uh, Volugop still got 20-ish bolts. Everybody needs to go get their backpacks. Good fight! I'm impressed! We kind of tore them up. So we want everyone to go back to hold and passive, please. So... I don't- okay, I remember Tawina had the wood backpacks, and Bracklin had the other wood backpacks. Bayugop had a thieves- regular thieves backpack. Ruka's already got one. Uh, Kang, I think, had medium pack. Gorka can take the other one. Then we got thieves backpacks for everybody. Okay, that it? That's all? Good fight! I am happy with that. Good result. Now let's just keep... <laughs> now let's just do it again! Who's this? Dust Bandits. Again. The sequel. We're gonna get- we're gonna get zapped by a solar ray. Watch. Mark my words. Let's do it again. Just over there. Remember when we used to be afraid of Dust Bandits? That's before I had a literal gang. The key is make sure you don't get in over your head. Uh, I think we can actually- this is a smaller group. I think we can fight these guys with packs on. Is it a smaller group, though? Five, nine total people? We don't number them. If you fight with a backpack on, you get, like, big bonuses, right? Strength. Ways to train. Carrying people or overloading inventory using a heavier weapon. Um, it is trained faster by using heavier weapons in battle or traveling around with very heavy encumbrance. Isn't there one that is built... Maybe it's toughness? It's weird that you can't... There we go. Ways to train. Get hurt, get beaten up, lose battles, not wear armor, take more damage, get up and fight instead of playing dead. Isn't there a bonus to fighting with packs on? Or am I crazy? You get a bonus to toughness if you fight while critically wounded. Don't forget friendly fire from ranged. Well, small. Uh, if you friendly fire from range, you actually build precision shooting. Ways to train precision shooting. Accidentally shoot your friends. <laughs> so theoretically, the more friendly fire you incur, uh, the less likely you are to do it again in the future. But precision shooting is actually friendly fire avoidance. <laughs> So, let's do this one more time. Vinga. Vinga. Dust bandit, dust bandit, dust bandits. Let's, I'm not even going to drop the packs. Yeah, you build strength, right? Um, alright. So, step one, kind of stand here and wait. Oh, they already see me. So, Volume Cop can just move in. Do they have a boss? One of these dudes, there's the dust boss. Aim for that guy. I saw that arrow. Does it fly true? It does not fly true. <laughs> okay, so we gotta we gotta organize real quick. Um Kang and Tawina. 
Bracklin and Rain. Then Ruka, Gorka, Ridley, Io, Hamet on the far left, Corduroy on the far right, Chad get ready to run up the middle, and then Limcar in the back. Spread out. All right, you guys ready? Round two. Let's fight. Did you loot the archers from the first crew? I don't think I did. Uh, but they had pea shooters. The archers, we'll, we'll get them after this. They might get back up and snipe at us. It's possible. But they're also dying. It might have been these guys. They just got little pea shooters. They did like two damage to us last time. I might have um, Limcar just run over and do that because he's not really going to be adding that much. Okay, so, step one. We're going to send Corduroy to the right. Everyone's got to be off of hold and passive again. Bracklin can take this jump. Or just go up the middle. Rain can take this jump. We're going to send Kang also up the middle, on taunt. Tawina on the left. Comet on the far left. Ridley can just attack whoever. And we'll send Ruka up the middle too. We're going to move Volugop into a advantageous sniping position behind them. <laughs> Hi. It's me. <laughs> I'm stealing your weapon so that you can't do anything about it. Uh, where are you? When you wake up, I don't want to get shot in the back. And then there was one, right? One, two, where's the third? Did the third? Oh, here you are. All right, now you can actually run back in and let's see how we're doing. So Volugop is shooting from behind. <laughs> that guy got taken out. Right leg gone. And they do not like it, so we're going to send Chad in to peel this dust bandit off. Hopefully. Iodani is also here to help. Let's see what's going on. Ridley is in the middle of taking some damage, as Rain the Giant helps with a little revenge. Good blocks. Hamet and Kang look to be tag-teaming up on this other Dust Bandit, along with Gorka and Tawina. And the walls are closing in! They're dropping like flies. <laughs> There's like five people surrounding this guy. Who gets the killing blow? Oh, ya boy. Volugop. Ah, <sighs> he's doing good. He's running out of bolts, though. And we did buy extra for that reason. It's ya boy. He's almost got a 50 crossbow skill, which is pretty hot. He is the MVP. He is definitely the combat MVP. Um, I think there's another dude. Good dodge. <laughs> they're, they're getting back up like one at a time. And then we are putting them right back down. Whoa, who'd Volugop just shoot at? I have no idea. He just sniped somebody because he's not on passive anymore. Um, he might have just instigated another fight that we're not yet ready for. That sniper can shoot for quite a distance. I have no idea. If I put, like, Ridley in sneak mode... Who are you shooting at, my man? Maybe there was nobody there. Maybe he was just shooting at somebody on the ground. Either way, we're going back to passive. And, uh, let my friends get healed. Anyone get seriously wounded? Nope. Oh, uh, Gorka's head. I want- I wish you could see a combat log so you could see who did that. 
Uh, head's not good. Ridley's leg is going to slow us down quite a bit. Now we're going to have the squad steal their stuff, let them bleed out here. We, we are now the police. We are desert police here. This shriek of blood from where someone crawled. <laughs> we're going here and we're saying no bad. No more weapons for you guys. And if you bleed out here, well that's on you. I don't even know if I got all of them. Nope. There's too many. Okay, we got most of them. They won't be causing us any more trouble. And I think we didn't even drop any backpacks? A severed left human arm. Uh, I don't think that belongs to any of my people. And if you're wondering what's wrong with some of my character's legs, we're missing two legs and we've got robotic parts in there instead. So this right leg on Bracklin and Tawina. Left leg is robotic. Well, two good back-to-back -back fights. Dust, I will take Dust Bandit fights any day of the week versus Beak Things and Reavers. Now, the downside is, of course, the environmental dangers. <laughs> which is like the huge sunbeams that roll through here from time to time. Interesting. Um, why is Volugop attacking on passive? I gotta give you guys credit, you don't give up. You could have given up. And yet, here you are. Chasing us. Fight me, you cowards! <laughs> I know you just defeated two groups of my friends. And you're, you're leaving us. I could live my life. You didn't even kill me. But no. I have chosen... To follow you. Please take me with you. Please teach me to be strong. I just want to be like you. <laughs> It'd be cool if you could just recruit people. Like, hey, you beat me. I want to join you. That'd be so cool. And then have them, like, turn on you eventually and try to backstab you. Maybe there's a mod for that. You should be allowed to eat the bodies of the people you kill. I'm pretty sure there's a cannibal mod. I'm pretty sure there's a few mods to choose from, actually. Well, we're gonna stay out of the Ancient Labs area as best we can, because that's where the blood spiders are, but usually if you avoid one danger, you just find another one, so... I'm curious to what, see what the danger in this little pass is. Because I don't think we've been here before. So our goal as we run around here, fairly slowly, is stay out of trouble long enough for Ridley's leg to heal, and Gorka's head to heal. Those are the two most wounded things at the moment. Wow, the sun over that dust cloud looks crazy. I mean, that always looks crazy. We kind of took a picture just like this earlier, but nonetheless. We can, you can choose which one you like better. Those are two um, equally good angles, in my opinion. Depending on what you want. That is some dust. Still no idea what's supposed to be dangerous here. Oh, by the way, I need to turn off taunt. 
Turn off taunt. Turn on hold. Turn on passive. Cool. Good job, everybody. Um, Ushikun, I don't know if that's exactly how beak things work. Maybe you're right. Maybe you could just capture some people, take them with you, and then leave them as bait. But, uh, I th I'm pretty sure that if a creature aggros to you, you can't just leave a body down there and they'll instantly de-aggro from you, right? Unless you taunt them away. You would have they would have to see the captured person first. But I don't know, maybe that's wrong. Either way, I don't have any shackles. Can you capture people without shackles? Do you just invent them? I guess I could just try. Uh this is not where I want to be. <laughs> This is called Run Into Blood Spider's Land. At least it's nighttime. We got here at a good time. Whoa, load in. Well, we're going the right way. I'm on two times fast forward right now. Spooky forest. Head a little bit more north. I'm scared to go at three times speed because blood spiders just mess me entirely up. And we'll just die. Who's this? <laughs> Someone, a group of dust bandits who do not see us. This is kind of a congested place to possibly fight them. Hmm. I don't think our wounds have healed, but only a couple people are wounded, so I could just keep them back. It's probably worth it to take this fight. We just have to be careful because there might be creatures here who smell the blood. I don't think I'm going to uh, strip them of their weapons. I'm just going to down them and go. Because, like, who cares? Uh, we'll just fight them in this little cropping. So, I'm, where's Iodani? Okay, there he is. Uh, Volugop... You can just hold on off of passive and just snipe from, like, here. I think. Can you see them? Where's the dust boss? Well, you just shoot shoot anybody. Shoot the guy you can shoot. I think he missed. <laughs> okay, um, well... Now we're going to bring Volugot back, because here comes the whole gang. Where is Dat Dust Boss? He's usually the one with the least clothes for some reason. Okay, so most wounded is Gorka. Head on back. And the leg shouldn't really keep you from fighting. Your defense is good. But we just want the same squad. Kang, doesn't matter who you're paired with. Ruka over here. Then we're going to put Tawina, Rain, and Ridley over here. Then we're going to get Hamet and Chad up the middle with Donnie and Corduroy kind of filling in the gaps. And here they come. Oh, we got shot too. <laughs> Interesting. R right in the turned up collar coat. Look at that neck protection we're getting here. Still on a walkabout? No, I actually have a base. We got a small base and we're going to have a large base. So this this is going to be built up this stream. Guaranteed. Um, but yeah, we got a little base here. We built this up. At the end of the yesterday stream, we've been using it to research. Which we're currently not researching because I accidentally forgot that you have to use this. Anyway, uh, we're going to rescue our swamp sitter, Miu. So we are nearly at the Grey Flare Village. We're going to rescue her and bring her back. Because she's currently carrying 64,000 cats worth of gear. Um, and also she's a farmer and someone who's good at... Uh, crafting stuff. Ridley, you're biting off a little more than you can chew there. 
Everyone can probably go be turned off of hold. We're gonna get Corduroy to attack the Dust Boss with Tawina. We're gonna get Volugop to get a advantageous sniping position where friendly fire is not as much of a problem. Oh boy, we need to send the squad. Chad, Hamet, and Donnie. They got a lot of just default rangers. We're gonna send Ruka over there too. And then Bracklin's gonna start picking in. Kang can taunt along with Rain the Giant. Get in the mix! Yeah, we're getting, we're just getting like cut up right off the bat. But it's little small chip damage for the most part. Ooh, Ridley is not doing well with that really heavy weapon. Maybe we should um, take off backpacks. I don't know, I'm trying to get that extra training on. That might be greedy. Chad, why is why are people still on passive? <laughs> Come on! Get these rangers! Kill the rangers! Anybody having problems over here? Like severe problems? Gorka's chest. Might just turn Gorka on block mode. I'm gonna deaggro a little bit. Tawina just got it. Hefty hit for 22. Right here in the middle is where we're doing the most work and that like flank is collapsing down on the squad over here who's defending a little more than they might should have to. Nice auto save. I don't even know who to watch. This is a big squad battle. Everybody cool? Ooh, Kang's chest. Put Kang on block. Ridley on block. Nice block, Ridley. Good timing. Just crack him open. There's only like one or two left. You guys are doing some sweet counterattacks. Iodani's getting some hits. Getting some chips. Volugop is probably not needing to snipe anymore. <laughs> so we'll say hold and passive on Volugop. Just in case we friendly fire. You don't have to hold. You can, like, start healing people if you want. Are you guys just doing, like, a fight club here? Who's this last survivor? That nobody can seem to take down. <laughs> He's on the ground. Okay, combat is over, and the healing can begin. We'll have to check the first aid situation soon to make sure everybody's got... A uh, full first aid kit who is on medic duties. Um, Volugop, what's your medic skill? 13. Uh. Eh. I'd almost rather somebody else did it. But having multiple field medics is never a terrible thing. That should hold it together. While you shot Kang for 83? Good. That's my tank. So, two things happen there. Uh, Kang's toughness is gonna go up from taking damage and getting healed. His racial bonus is also 1.2, and also, Volugop's um, precision shooting is up to 20 now. So, every time you friendly fire, you get less likely to friendly fire in the future. All right, I'm just gonna leave these guys to die because I don't—I honestly don't think they got anything. It's just kind of not worth taking all their weapons away. Maybe the ranged people, just so they're not annoying. Speaking of, I need to make sure that we drop that gear because we're just weighing us down right now for no reason. Some exciting Dust Bandit fights going on here. My people are getting buff. I don't... Were there more than three? There were like four shooters. But this should be fine. Okay. So, Volugop, we definitely do not want you to hold on to these toothpicks or these junk... They are, in fact, junk bows. And you're starting to run low on arrows, my man. They go fast. Who else is holding junk? Oh, we got maps. Hold on. Where does this go? Tech Hunter Library Map. Or the Lost Library. 
way down there in the southwest by Drifter's Last. I don't think we've ever been there before. Another ancient lab. This one northwest, right in the middle of this big swampy looking place. Uh, so Volucop, lighten up. Ruka, who did I just give that to? <laughs> Ruka, drop it over there so we don't accidentally give it to someone else. Yeah, you were fighting very encumbered. <laughs> Carrying all sorts of junk. Well, fighting encumbered is going to build your strength, so... There's all the junk bows. I knew somebody had them. Okay. We should be good to go. <laughs> Look at all that crap. Everyone's on hold. Everyone's on passive. Uh, no one's on taunt. No one's on block. Let's go. We did our job. Now we leave. The world is slightly safer now than it was a minute ago. You threw away Ruka's weapon? I don't think so. Ruka picked up, um, she uses sabers. So she had picked up one of the trash tier weapons. See, Ruka has a 21 in sabers. And her primary is this longsword Mark II. When you shift right click, it fills in the weapon slot before it goes to your main inventory. Which is kind of uh, confusing sometimes. 24 hour stream confirm, baby! This game has some good mods. Yeah, it seems like the modding community is really strong for Kenshi. Next time I play, like if I ever start over, I'm definitely going to play modded. Uh, maybe just quality of life stuff. Uh, I don't know if there's any total conversions for Kenshi. Look at the big this iron node is. Are we going to have to swim in this creepy swamp? It certainly looks that way. Anyone want to take bets on how many blood spiders there may or may not be here? They think it's going to be faster to go around? Unless you're Chad or Limcar, apparently. I wonder why. Research complete on baking! I kind of just want them to swim it, to be honest. Downside is, that's really going to be very ex food. We still have food. <laughs> but for how long? I don't know for how long. Hey, Furtive, what's up? How's it going? Watch us, like, get to the other side of this and totally run out of food. S. Duffy, welcome. There's Star Wars mods for Kinchi. <laughs> That's not surprising. There's a Star Wars mod for every game, seems like. That's the first thing. Are we getting acid rained right now? We are getting acid rained. Um, hilariously, only Chad is the one being affected by it? No, everyone's being affected by it. So we're getting acid rained in the pool. <laughs> While we swim. Hold on. I'm making a camp on the other side of this. Who who goes there? Those are beak things. Fighting. Something that has a light. Nomad animal traders versus beak things. Why are you healing me? Hold on, is there a third party? Who? Well, there's pack bulls. I, I can't pixel hunt any better. Uh, well, all my people, some of my people are dying right now. Does acid rain make their toughness go bigger? Possibly. Research complete on simple clothing types. Good for you guys. All right, I'm making a camp like right here because this is apparently the final stretch. We're almost there, and we need to be in tip-top shape. Uh, so here's what we're going to do. Camping. We have one fabric. We're going to build a little tent to save us from the acid rain. We're going to build... Uh, I don't think we have any raw meat, so campfire doesn't matter. A couple of beds. Like five should probably be fine. That's all we really need. 
Uh, now we just need people to drop off the resources. Someone's got the fabrics. So build the tent first. Any other engineer jobs? Do we have anybody else who's good at engineering? We're looking here. Engineer is how fast you build stuff. Corduroy? Corduroy's got a four. Hamid is an engineer. Okay, I'm down with making Volugop help. Or just Corduroy. Well, the, if, you, if you only do like three people, it'll train their stats more. Let's do that. Let's do... Add Corduroy as the third engineer. So you shift click, shift, right click, and then it adds it to your jobs. So I think Tawina and Bracklin are just gonna add. Is Bracklin an engineer? Nobody added um, camp beds. Who's got the camp beds? Oh, Bracklin does. So maybe I should just make you an engineer just for now. There you go. There you go. This thing's getting built up faster than ever before. Okay, so we are now fully protected from the acid rain. As long as we stand under this tent. And anybody who needs healing can take a little snooze. So I'm going to say... Gorka? Maybe Rain the Giant... Ridley. Hamet, maybe? <laughs> and then there's what, one more? Yeah, there's one more. Tawina almost ran over here to lie down. Maybe she should. We could add more. There's at least like two more beds in your back. Three more beds in your backpack, actually. You may as well, if that's why we're here. Let's try and rotate these around. People are standing in the way. Oh well. It doesn't need to be perfect. It just needs to get the job done. So if they have the materials and they have the job, they will automatically set about doing the building. Which is pretty cool. Uh, I'll let Ruka sleep, and then I guess I will let Chad sleep. And hope that no big thing surprises. <laughs> Taking a little nap. Uh, can you imagine trying to sleep on this incline, by the way? <laughs> in the rain. Incline in the rain. Upside. Some of these people are upside down. I don't know which way is better to take a photo. I'm gonna take the photo, like, here. Having a nice rest just before we rescue our swamp... ...queen. Who won? Uh, P.S. The Beak Things won. The nomads are currently unconscious. This beak thing is almost dead. Uh, if we really wanted to, we could come heal all these people. How many... We brought seven extra first aid kits, so it's not like we can't afford to. This game put the Naruto run in development before the modders could even add it. Hopefully they don't slide into the... Are you eating? Yeah, hopefully they don't slide down into the water. Uh, I feel like we could just send Bracklin and Volugop up there, and that would probably be enough with Donnie... Yeah, and gang. I, if there's only one beak thing, where are the other ones? I assume there's going to be more over here, so I'm afraid of getting myself into danger. Who's this? A tech hunter? This is going to be interesting just by itself. Tacon is a pretty good dude. Alright, I'm bringing the rest of the gang over here. If they're not busy doing anything else, we're gonna finish this chump off. And maybe save one or two of these guys. We're gonna be good Samaritans. Like this guy's definitely gonna be. 
Oh, and also everyone should be in sneak mode. Just so I know if we've been discovered. All right, where'd the other beak things go is the real question. All right, volume up, you know what to do. Did he get a shot off? I think he missed. <laughs> All right, this guy is so wounded that we should be able to handle this without much problem, he said, not confidently. He was right. <laughs> and he was right. There's five more raw meats. Too bad about the f seven, twelve fowl. I'm gonna take a couple of animal. I'm gonna take some animal skins, because I think you can use these, right? Sometime. I don't know when. They're a little heavy. All right, well, that guy's dead. And let's take off hold and let them do their jobs. Hey, what are you doing? Get off me! Um, if well, how do I make them do medic for? Oh, are these nomads like evil? Why can't I? I think I already have the squad AI. On oh no, I, I have heal allies. Are they not my allies? I'm pretty sure they're traitors. I don't know. I'm going to try to heal them and see what happens. We got four people here who could get some free practice. I mean, Bracklin and crew are pretty good. 21 field medic here. Donnie's at 16. Limcar is just now training. He's only got that basic first aid kit. <laughs> Who cares? I'm not going to make Limcar the medic. I love that one brave tech hunter that just kept walking through all this carnage. Is this like a rite of passage for them? <laughs> He's just wandering out here. You guys want to help anybody else or no? It's hard to tell who can still be healed. Get some practice with the splint, I guess. Right foreleg. Triple exclamation mark. I don't have a splint kit. Uh, Bracklin, who's got extra splint kits? I swear somebody here does. Uh, by the way. It's, uh, possibly time to run. Maybe. Just a thought. <laughs> uh, the good news is these are all pups. I'm pretty sure. I, you know, I've said this before. I think we can take them. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think we can get them, guys. Those are all pups. I learned my lesson. They are not elders. I think it's time to get revenge. Hold on. What the... Uh, we gotta make sure we... No, Bracklin, every... It's only people who are asleep right now who are gonna do this fight. You guys should have been healing all this time. If you lose to baby spiders... then we're going to have other problems. You know what I mean? We're going to get away from this blood pile. Let them handle it from here. You did your good Samaritan duties. Now it's time to give aid to those who are going to need it most. Because here they come. All right, here they come. We're getting up. Right? We're going to say passive off, hold off. Just let them go. There's, there's no other means to do this. 
Wait, they just go in there first. That's fine. I think we're still getting acid rained on, possibly. Uh, what's going on over here? I think we're just trying to sneak away, and I don't need to sneak right now. We just need to go. Is it time for Revenge of the Blood Spiders? <laughs> Look at all the screen numbers. Oh, that's a photo-worthy moment right there. Revenge on the Blood Spiders. If we kill their offspring, they will never be able to repopulate and turn into Elder Blood Spiders. Alex has that mom sense when they know the children are in danger. I swear I saw something flash. But I don't know what it was. I saw something flash that, like, alerted me. Do you see any red? I saw a red number. Armor is hopefully mint. Chad is trying to... You know what? Just go block. Just try and block. Actually, your block is... You don't... Do you... What happens when a martial artist tries to block? You get dodge. Okay. You get a super dodge. We've done it. And we've done it. The blood spiders... Here's the... You want to know the most annoying thing? They're going to get back up over and over again. In some case... Well, these guys are all dead. Some of them are unconscious, though, for an indeterminate amount of time. Uh, so, for everyone to heal who just took damage, such as... Well, Ruka's getting rained on. Kang really needs some chest heals. Gorka needs more heals. Is blood spider blood going to attract other animals? Because I kind of just rather sit here and let my guards just watch over the blood spider carnage. You know what I'm saying? Like, have these dudes on high alert. Standing under the tower so that my people can still heal. <laughs> Set up camp right next to the blood spiders, baby. Kinshi again? I'm at work. Well, that was your first mistake, so you probably should have thought about that before getting a job. Uh, Lala Doria said, Always a good day when E Tao streams. Hey, thanks for 16 months, Lala Doria. Glad to have you back. Thanks for subscribing. Shouldn't have got a job. You should have just you should just watch streams all day. What are you thinking? Burning rain. Is it though? I don't think it is. But yeah, the people standing up are still um, not on hold or passive. So I'm gonna tell the people who are asleep to be on hold and passive so they don't wake up. Ever. So, we're just, uh, speed sleeping right now, hoping nothing else finds me here. You know what? This is a great idea. Everyone stealth. That way I know if anyone can see me, and then I don't have to worry about it. My skin, it's burning! It's not, though. It's just a sensation. You hear it outside, even though there's no rain of a visual indicator, you, you still think you're on fire. I don't know. Hello, y'all. What's up, official cinematic gaming? Kyra Toby has gifted their 501st gift sub. Wowee. Tier 2 sub to sub dog. Thank you so much, Kyra Toby. Um, that is so many subs. <laughs> and you've just added a tier 2 to that, so that's like 2 for the price of 1. See, like, that should be, that should be taken into account. Like, if somebody gives a tier 3 sub, that's like gifting, like, 5 subs. So that should be added separately to the modifier, you know what I mean? Genuinely surprised I can move the camera this far. Who we got? Nomads versus Dust Bandits. Who would win? Uh, looks like the Dust Bandits are the ones with the spiky helmets on, and the Nomads are the ones who don't have the spiky helmets on. I think the Dust Bandits are winning. Unless this dude is amazing. This is as far as I can move the camera, so... We got a couple snipers that are really kind of cheating here. I think this guy's only gonna lose. I think he could single-handedly take on every one of these dust bandits, except for the snipers. Cause he's just getting he's just getting poked and prodded. Look at this god. <laughs> I 
Get him, man. Come on. Show him who's boss. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight still standing versus one nomad boy. Hello. Hi, Kiari. What's up? Pseudo rat raid. Well, whatever brings you here, thanks for stopping by. We're just watching uh, this single nomad defeat 13 people independently. While the rest of us rest nearby. He just teleported a little bit. I'm going to cut him some slack. I'm on the edge of the camera. hes I don't know how many arrows are in this person right now. I would love to see this pin cushion man. Up close and personal. Here he comes. We're going to get our wish because he's hobbling over to put in some justice. This Jedi. This is Donnie Yin in row one. Look at this pin cushion, by the way. Uh, that's at least, I would say, over 10 arrows. Maybe 12. Maybe more. Uh, bleeding a lot. Good, good. Over the shoulder block. People are getting back up, which is kind of cheating. I worry f oopsie. Ah, oh, you did so good. I tried so hard and got so far. But in the end, I'm still in Kenshi. Well, that guy's that guy's done. Meanwhile, in my camp, uh, we're just healing up. But anyways, everybody else is popping in. Diddle. Icarasia. I visual warlock. Boromir. <laughs> Boromir. I thought he was unstoppable, but... You can, you can only get stopped... You can only be unstopped so many times, I think, before you do. Well, Chad, we... You know, the character known as Chad is looking pretty good right now. Uh, everybody's doing great. I think it's time to get up and go. Alright, let's grab our things. That's a lot of subs. <laughs> There's a lot of subs there. Uh, let's tear down the mercenary tent. And Bracklin is going to be that guy on the vacation. That kicks every single person out of bed. First day of the vacation, by the way. Oh, are we still burning? Whatever, we gotta go. I can't just sit here forever. Why is there acid rain with no rain? I have to pick these up in real time. Everyone is currently uh, crisping up a little bit. Okay. <laughs> we need a wooden backpack for both Bracklin and Tawina. I think Bracklin still got it. So Volugop takes Thief backpack. No, you still got it. Okay, Ruka takes Small Thieves backpack. Kang takes Medium. Let's see what's left. What is Gorka doing? Oh, Gorka just got up. My characters are freaking out right now. They don't know what to do. I don't know what to tell them to do, to be honest. Okay, so Small Thieves backpack. One of you needs this medium one. And then Bracklin can take the last sleeping bag. Tawina grabs the fabric. And we're ready to go. Let's get out before we burn to a crisp anymore. If that blood spider's getting up, kill him. Kill that guy. You guys were still sleeping. Okay, Tawina, come on! We just healed! We literally just healed. <laughs> that was a cute ritual. Everyone bowed to honor Tawina, and she was instantly healed. Okay, let's go. Everyone together now. Uh, we're, we're almost to our first destination. And I don't know if how we're going to avoid the beak things, but we're going to try. Also, let me pause for a second. They all are like, be healed! What a wholesome sub sound. 
It's from my favorite TV show. Community. Subdog with another 10 gift subs. Uh, I think that's $100 in gift subs today for some reason. So if you're here and your name happens to be Frosty the Communist Snowman. Yep, I'm alive. Tim by Jack Rockison. Gabby Duo, Nerevar, Stinky Beavers, OC Detective, Excuse a Meatball, or Izzylicious. Uh, you are now a subscriber, courtesy of Subdog's generous gift. So congratulations, enjoy your emotes, and your 30 days of ad-free viewing. Because if I could turn off ads for everybody, I totally would. But I can't, so here we are. Those are some good names, yeah. Those are some good usernames. Thanks, Subdog. That's very huge of you to do. I don't know what prompted it, uh, but I do thank you for it. I don't know what this team's doing. Nomads don't want to leave their pack animals behind, I'm pretty sure. Who are still in recovery comas. So we're just going to blaze on through. It seems like they've intercepted the worst of the beak things so far. Now let's see what waits for us over the next corner. Over the next ledge. We're going to Grey Flayer Village to rescue our compatriot. So for those of you that just joined us, um, here's the plan right now. We have been journeying, uh, as per chat's request, from our current home of Black Scratch, which is a pretty good city, occupied by the Tech Hunters. And we have journeyed westward we now find ourselves all the way here, attempting to get into the Grey Flayer Village, where Miyu patiently waits for us in this empty hovel, uh, surrounded by swamp on all sides. She is well protected and safe for now, but she's going to get a kingly escort, or queenly escort, as it were, uh, to safely harbor a bunch of real valuable stuff. We got a robot arm, we got some research artifacts, and combined this is worth about 64,000 bucks which is more than I currently own. And as we recover her, we're basically abandoning this house for now. But it's nice to just have in the future if we ever want to move down here. There's some interesting territory somewhere around here. But we're going to take her back to the safe place of Black Scratch, and then uh, we're probably going to build up a new home. So, Stick HQ. This is the future home of Stick HQ, is this big Y-shaped building. So it's going to cost us 28000 bucks, and it's going to be a completely open, big dojo place that we're going to build. So right now, we're currently living in this little shack. The shack could be worse, though. We got some furniture, we got some stools, some benches, uh, some little sleeping mats. We got a research bench. And we're running out of research material. So I can do some more stuff while we wait, but um, none of this looks like the most important thing yet, so I think I'd rather just save it for now. But this is a squad. Ayoma is who we left behind to learn the sciences. So she's at 31 now. And she is accompanied by original squad member Udquambo, who doesn't really do anything good. But we picked up uh, last stream Rabi and Yarpo who are both pretty great farmers. So we're going to have to find a nice plot of land to farm. Uh, Hooper the dog joins us here. Whoops, that is Yarpo. Hooper the dog is now still a pup. <laughs> and then we've got a, a Garu here, a nice pack animal that we're going to be able to take with us. So we're, we're growing. We're getting there. So they're kind of just waiting in the wings while we go and secure uh, our target who themselves is a pretty important potential future character. A farmer and someone who's good at labor. Is that a campfire on plank floor? Yes, but it's very safe. Trust me. We've got six people watching it to make sure it doesn't break out. Pizza bot, what up? Thanks for your 15 months, Pete Spot. Welcome, and glad to have you as well. Calandril, who has Reese up for a 21th month. Appreciate both of you. I can see Miyu's name tag in the distance. We're almost home. Well, to our original home. Sort of. 
I'm just gonna right click Grey Flayer Village and see where they go. Did they just stop? I don't think they know where to go. Uh, so we're gonna help. This is the burning forest. And you know why it burns? Because it stings real bad when you get bitten by elder blood spiders. That fiery sensation of 110 damage per strike. On rapid fire deployment. And also it's not just one elder spider. It's like 12 at a time. So, who turtles? Who turtles? Kill them now. <laughs> this is some free food. All right, uh, this is time for newbie training. So bring out... Actually, Corduroy is perfect. The robots are perfect because they both have pole arms, which is animal damage, plus 25%. So Corduroy's got a pole arm. Iodani's got a pole arm. You know what to do. You versus the Swamp Turtles. I'll give you a little help. Um, Hamet needs to train... Animal damage down, but whatever. Ridley needs to train Gorka and Ruka. <laughs> Get in there. Don't be shy. Why is Tawina going in there? I think some of my people are still off of passive. I think we took one hit. One little baby hit. And we got 14 meats. That's what we're here for. These turtles are loaded with food. All right, same squad, by the way. Get the other one. Ike turtle? Sorry. Rip, I guess. No, not the turtle. They're so cute. They're like turtle elephants. They've got trunks. And they're just trying to run away and survive in this crazy world. I don't know where Taween is going. I have no idea. But she needs to come back. Because she got 14 more free stuff. Where, where is she going? I think she's going home. She's like... She's on her own. She's on hold. Oh, it's an engineer. She's trying to engineer. <laughs> I get it. She's got supplies that we can use in the house, and she's trying to go use them. Speaking of turtles, is this Turtle Facts? How do I unsubscribe from Turtle Facts? The Galapagos turtle. Is this a real thing? I have to make sure I'm not being memed. This is a real thing. Okay. Actual turtle facts. I did not know they almost went extinct because it was so widely used as a source of long-term food and water. Okay. How is a turtle used for water? G genuine question. Not mocking. Store water in the shells. They use the shell as a bowl to scoop up water. Okay, but weren't they sailing primarily in salt water? Is the is the Galapagos turtle what type of turtle is it? Turtles purify salt water. Well, then I, you just solved the world's problem. Okay, we're not running out of water then. All you gotta do is just mass produce and clone turtles. And then just put them in the ocean until all the sea life dies. And it's okay though, because we have infinite water. By that point, we'll have created artificial meat to a point where it is possible to produce that on a mass scale. And we won't need the ecosystem as provided by the ocean anymore. We'll have infinite fresh water and artificial meat that we produce in a vat. Easy. 
Miu, we're home. <laughs> Finally, how many streams has Miu been here? Who's that? That's not me. That's not me. All right, we're going to make a real dramatic photo here. Miu's been locked in for a long time. Got to open up that door. With that terrible sound. <laughs> nice role play, by the way. Miu, we're finally home. <laughs> by the way, if you're here and you're wondering why I'm taking like screenshots and stuff, it's because we have this really cool thing that we got going on here. Okay, exclamation! Kinchi takes you right to the Kinchi log, where a very detailed log of every event that has transpired so far in this Kinchi playthrough has been noted and jotted down for your viewing pleasure. Your skimming pleasure, should you want it. All major decisions have been uh, dictated there. Miu, we missed you. Glad to have you back. She's got uh, four 8,000 cat valuable engineering artifacts, a beautiful mechanical arm of specialist grade, which is worth, if you bought it new, 24,000 bucks. Four 5,000 cat artifact, or yeah, research artifacts and some fish. The fish are the, probably the least important part, but... I appreciate you photographing your journey. Yes, there are pictures included in the Kinshi log. And Techno writes all the log. Kyra Toby is making, and probably has made, a really cool compare chart, so that if you want to look... We don't have a command for that. Where is it, Kyra Toby? I guess we need a separate link. Uh, uh, I forgot to, I don't know, I lost it. Where'd it go? I was working on it yesterday, I swear. But I, I didn't, like, lose it because it was just too much trouble and I don't want to do it anymore now. <sighs> Somebody's got it, right? No, whatever. There, there's a chart somewhere. Kyra Toby came to class unprepared and without homework, so <laughs> that's an F. All right. Lock this door up, and let's go. There's, well, is there anything else we want here? Make sure nobody... Not that there's anything you could steal there. <laughs> that room is empty. Oh, here it is. Alright, so if you're in a dark room, and this white screen is going to blind you, this is your warning. To put on your shades, put on your sunglasses, and close your eyes. You have four. Three. Two, one. So check it out. Uh, there is Kairotobi. Where are the photos? There was a picture of every character. Link broken. Wow. Definitely get an F now. There was a screen cap of every single character and it's gone. Refresh. Still gone. Okay, anyways, so check this out. Uh, let's take main characters, for example. Tawina, Bracklin, and Volugop are our main characters. Here's their stat sheets. And uh, you can see, for example, that between stream 4 and 5, Tawina went up plus 6 strength. So you can see, like, lockpicking went up for Volugop plus 11. Or, excuse me, that's, yeah, Volugop. Tawina went up plus 4. And then from last stream to this stream, so you can, like, go back and forth and look and see how much they developed. So, like, for example, who was new at the end of Stream 5 last time? Corduroy and Ayoma. Look how, look how much better Corduroy became. Stealth plus 21. Strength plus 12 in one stream. And also Rip Boris, Rip Planartes, Rip Lil Carp, Flurby, and Stixon. Long live Stixon, of course. All right. It's pretty cool. Good job. Anything else we want to do over here before we boogie on back? Um, we never... I don't know. There's some villages around here that I think we've been to. The great city of Shark. I remember that being a pretty good city. If we're going to go home, we might recruit a couple more people on the way. I wonder if there's any new people in Morn. 
But Morn was so dangerous, I don't even want to go back there. I think the route that we just took is probably the best route to take. I say let's not waste any time. But was there a vendor here that did anything cool? It was just that drug dealer. <laughs> I think it was just the drug dealer. Yeah, Corduroy is actually turning into a character. Which is pretty awesome. Thank you for your protection services, Swampers. Um, you've done a good job holding the line against creatures and humans alike. Miu can... Oh, Miu needs to offload. So, two things. Number one, the Swamp Sitters is no more. Or at least, for our purposes, she's in our squad. And she can trade with someone who can hold more stuff than she can. Such as Ruka. And we're going to put all this heavy stuff that's slowing her down in Ruka's backpack. There we go. So now she is under uh, capacity. And is way faster. 17 miles per hour is not going to escape a beak thing anytime soon, but could be worse. Alright, let's see how their pathfinding does. Let's try and group them all up together too. Okay, on we go. Fish Fender. Goodbye, Fish Fender. Let's see what else we get in. What other troubles we get into here on the way back. I feel like this is going to be the hard part. Is now that we've got Miu, who we rescued both for that stuff and for this 60 farming, 30 laboring. We don't have any laborers right now, so having someone who just can labor right out of the gate without any practice is pretty valuable. Alright, it's almost nighttime, which means it's our time to shine. Miu's probably the only one with bad stealth. Yeah, level 8. But nighttime will hide almost anyone. So blood spiders are the primary enemies here. And then in here it's primarily beak things. Flurby risked his life for us. <laughs> Flurby lost his life for us. What do you mean risked? Flurby died to save Stixon who was allowed to leave the bonds of slavery after escaping. After being beaten to within an inch of his life. He was healed by the very guards who almost destroyed him and then left for dead out in the desert, which is a very strange punishment. I don't know why that happened. That was the first stream, though. Can you guys believe we've been playing Kenshi for like over a month now? That doesn't feel right. That doesn't sound right to me. I mean, obviously not every day. Unless you count yesterday and today. But it's still a long time. Uh, why do I feel like I should not be going in here? Because I think staying north was, like, safer. So far, it's eerily quiet. Okay, well, no, I didn't mean music lights. I meant, like, wildlife-wise. Crank it. <laughs> Get that funky tune. Alright, we're going back through this, like, water area. That seemed like a pretty good place to go last time. We swam all the way across it, and as a result, we are becoming pro-Olympic level swimmers. Don't mind me, just flying across the terrain. It's no big deal. Alright, we're gonna go right into the middle of the water. This is, this is exactly where we had the base, too. We're on three times speed. <laughs> we gotta swim as slow as the slowest swimmer, apparently. Acid rain takes shelter. Why is it always when I get vulnerable in the water that acid rain comes down? All right, we're gonna click here, and I'm gonna say, you guys go as fast as you can. Let's let, let's have a race. We're gonna have a race. Hold on. You guys gotta go to the middle. While Ridley, Hamid, and Volugop taking a big lead, Corduroy and Iodani arguably cheating, not actually swimming, but rather speed walking at the bottom of the lake. Bracklin and Miyu really lacking behind. I thought Bracklin really had more in him with that 652 swim skill. He, he is, however, carrying a... 
a lot of instruments in his backpack, apparently. Just an entire orchestra. We need to build the... Is everyone getting acid rained right now? Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, we will build a tentative mercenary tent. Under which to take shelter. Tawina should be the one that can do that. And then other people will hopefully join in. There we go. So this will give us a little reprieve from the acid while we wait on the other people to swim. Bracklin, man. Bracklin actually is fine. I think Bracklin's got full coverage from acid rain. <laughs> so it's no problem. Acid rain. Not good. Oh, by the way, they had a conversation I was interested in earlier. What was it? I sell drugs. No, not that one. Um... Iodani was talking. Used to be a great port city around here somewhere. Not anymore, though, obviously. Old Empire, as it's called now. A port in a swamp? What was it for, flying swamp boats? It was a long time ago. The water level was a few hundred meters higher back then. Hundred meters? <laughs> Burning. This is no normal rain. Rain the Giant's, like, bored by this conversation? And he's just like, you know what, guys, let's change the subject to the weather. That's interesting, right? I don't know what a meter even is, but that sounds like a lot. Rain the giant, guys, we gotta take shelter. It's acid rain. Relatively, yes. People loved their boats back then. Every time you talk, it fills my head with a hundred questions. What is a boat? There's some interesting lore back here. What? Did you guys see eight dried meat, but like over there? How long do we wait for the acid rain to go away? Oh, I got an idea. We got turtle meats. We do got turtle meats. Um, we're gonna have this calling to campfire. Like all of them? Operating automatic machine campfire. Let's see if this works. I've made too many jobs. <laughs> I don't know, she's automatically distributing the meat. Does she automatically pick up the raw meat? I don't know how to make, um... I don't know how to make someone automatically pick stuff up. Some delicious turtle burgers, that's right. Well, at least it's all cooking right now. Well, it's not all cooking. She's gotta loot it. That'll do. Yeah, three fires. We can cook basically three at a time. And, uh, we were burning through a bunch of meat, so those turtles are kind of a godsend right now. And I think we are done. So, do we just leave? Or do we wait for the rain to subside? I think it's just going to be raining kind of forever. But it's also nighttime, and I would love to just go right now. The less time we have to stay here, the better. Did we take the, uh, the fabric back? P.S. Did these not stack? They do now. Okay. Um, did someone pick up the fabric? Because that's the only way we can build the tent. I know that Rain the Giant's got a fabric. That might have been his already, though. We only have one? Oh, it's over here. Uh, interesting. Okay, well, I guess it's good that I have two. Because I don't think that's coming back. <laughs> Let's go. 
Hold on, everyone needs to go back to walking in, a, in the same speed. Shim. Beautiful Shim. What even is a boat? Asha is back for 21 months. Who says, hey, it's been 21 months. Thank you for notifying me. I would not have known had you not. But now I do, thanks. Appreciate your sub. PizzaBot also said to chat, of course. I think I caught you earlier. Yeah, I did. Anytime. Well, it's only 21 months this time, so. Oh yeah, I need to take her jobs off. Put on auto loot? <laughs> Is this World of Warcraft? Is there an auto loot? Maybe there is, maybe there's not. Okay, so we're back to the bone yards. Whatever this is, it's not the actual bone yards, but it's got a lot of bones in it. And if I recall, this is beak thing territory, so keep your eyes peeled. Because if anything kills us, it's probably going to be those. We do have a much more formidable anti beak thing force than we did before, but still, beak things have terrorized every single other squad we've ever seen. So if we can get across this faster than they can spawn, then we're doing something right. So if I fast forward, there's actually less of a chance that the big things are gonna find us because we're just moving so much faster than their AI can even process. Uh, so like their, their line of sight is a little bit lessened if you run three times speed. I don't know if you guys knew that. So I, I learned that on the wiki earlier. It's just like a little uh, min-maxing strat that you can do for, uh, for Kinshi if you're playing yourself. Complete fabrication. Uh, I see two big things up ahead. I thought that the sands were going to be safer. But I see now that I was not correct. We went through Flats Lagoon and it was pretty good before. Um, let's try going up. <laughs> okay, why? Mm -hmm. How old are they? Adult? I think we can handle it. Adult, there's only three. Um, two, three, they blend in! They look like trees! 31 miles an hour, by the way. They don't see us. I think? Or they're just not hungry? I don't know how this is working. Just fast forward and it'll be fine. Okay, well now they see us. How do they not, wait, no, 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 they don't see us. They do. These are nomads, though. They're good. They're the good guys. So just walk right past them and observe the carnage. <laughs> Look at those arrows. Uh, oh! Uh, from off screen. Uh, and also, who's fighting over here? They, there are dust bandits. <sighs> Don't toy with my emotions. Okay, so we're gonna just run. Let them do the heavy lifting. Because there are like two squads of nomads here. Did that dude just get... Was that a limb? No, that was just like I... <laughs> I wasn't sure what that was. Alright, get some practice in, guys. We gotta get some practice. So, Corduroy, Io, uh, Gorka, Ruka, Hamid. Ridley. You guys go over here. So we're going to have three of you practice on the right. And three of you practice on the left. Good luck. This is a controlled environment. They'll get, they're, a little, they're a little skittish. Donnie's getting in there. Nice block, Hamid. You blocked the beak thing? Twice in a row? Whew. Very strong. Iodani's taking a hit here or there. That's okay. Got hit in the chest. Come on, Ridley and Gorka. Are you guys on block for some reason? No? I think they're, they're, no one's on block right now. Getting some cuts in. I love it. 
Corduroy got a block? We're looking pretty formidable right now. There's more on the way, possibly. All right, now finish this one. Now someone's gonna sneak in, such as Tawina, and take the meat, which is hopefully not considered stealing. I don't think it is. Beautiful. This is working out really well. We got here at a real good time. There are so many possible helpers. Hamet wants a piece. So does Iodani. Oof. <laughs> I saw that one coming. I don't trust any of my people to taunt, so I'd rather the beak thing just kind of attack different targets each time would be fine. Corduroy is getting kind of beat up. But that'll make it tougher, I guess. Oof. Bracklin, why are you even in here? Did I send Bracklin in here? I think he was just going to do some medicking and roboting. He accidentally kind of got caught up uh, in the in the brawl. Well, we'll take five more. Uh, there are still two beak things that are yet to be defeated. We we should definitely take this opportunity. To train up. Okay, Limcar, Ridley. You you guys are up now. Get Limcar in there. Limcar is gonna get absolutely destroyed. Uh, Corduroy can actually come out for repairs. <laughs> and we're gonna send Ruka back in. And Gorka. Alright, careful. We don't want to lose a leg. Alright, Ridley is going to go into taunt mode and block. But I don't know if it matters because the AoE. You have to be on the other side. You have to, like, kite. Oh, but wait. There's always more. Alright, we might send in... Um, actually, I think these guys can handle it. If you take the meat, they're dead. That's the important part. Alright, you guys no longer need to be on hold. You can do your medic jobs. Anyone still injured? I'll let them handle this one. Until at least we're done repairing. I think we're done. <laughs> oh, it's leg. I don't want to lose any more legs right now. Good blocks. Iodani is actually doing work right now. I'm gonna make him just taunt. Well, now I have to turn everybody off of taunt. Is there any more? The gang's all here. Group up. Good job, nomads. Together we are strong. And everyone should be nice and healed. I mean, they're not fully healed. They've just been patched. Uh, some of these leg injuries are kind of annoying. We still gotta move. We didn't drop anything. We picked up some extra meat to help us survive. And now we part ways with our nomad friends feeling stronger than before. I'm watching you play Kinshi instead of playing it. I have it open right now on my PC. Okay, but like, just put my stream full screen over your Kinshi game and pretend like you're playing. Like, I pretend like I just gave you the save file. Except, strangely, your, like, mouse and keyboard aren't working. Is leather not valuable? Uh, not really. You can use it in some crafting. You might be able to use it in, like, some clothing. But I don't know how to make clothing, so I'm not gonna burden myself. Because it's really heavy. Uh, we're carrying it on Bracklin. It weighs... Well, I mean, it just takes up a lot of space. It's not... It's one kilogram per skin. Right now, the only things I can make with skin, and I don't want to know what else I'm going to need it for, because I'll just figure that out on my own. There's, there's tons of animals. We can make a scrap tent, and probably certain types of clothes use animal skins. 
Time to play Dodge the Sunbeams. And also see who's the slowest run speed. Looks like 18 miles per hour Miyu. Nope, 16 Bracklin. Uh, we're getting minus six from Encumbrance. Because he's, he's carrying this Eagle Cross, which to be honest, you shouldn't be holding. I need to train somebody else. I'm gonna put that in Kang's backpack. If I can ever catch Brackle. There we go. That should speed you up pretty dramatically. So this place had a lot of bandits before. I don't know if we're gonna find any more bandits here or not. Hopefully we don't get sun lasered. Look at them. <laughs> Look at them! I'm pretty sure somebody just, like, used the Dragon Balls over there. Where's Shinron? If I go over there quick enough, maybe I can, like, wish for superpower or something. It's a huge... I wasn't expecting orbital bombardments in Kinshi. If you could call those in, that'd be amazing. I don't know how you'd do it. Like in Rim I haven't even done that in RimWorld yet. So I don't even know what it looks like. Who goes there? I can't- I see two pixels of nomads. This looks like an area of nomads and... Um... A lot of dust bandits. It's mo like I said before, it's mostly environmental dangers. So we'll just go three times. And make good speed down the Flatch Lagoon. <laughs> We're going like faster than the materials can pop in. Is that something? It's a Garu. Why does this look too nice and open? You know what I mean? What's the danger here besides sunbeams? This looks like a beautiful place to build a base unless there's some... I mean, besides the sun danger. Alright, but it's also really close to that other city. Which is good for trading, I guess. The other city's like there. Still. Big, open, flat... Who's this? That's just the Garu. Alright, chat. We're almost back. We're like at the halfway point, basically. All we gotta do is avoid the... Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> They're out to get me. Well, we gotta avoid the sunbeams, and we gotta avoid those guys that were chasing us through the rocks earlier. Luckily, uh, the ground is pretty light, so it's easier to see, like, other NPCs on this little patch of turf. Once you get into this, like, darker area, they blend in so much nicer because they're wearing, like, leathers. So we're going to try and skirt the edge. Last time, the only reason they even saw us is because we were looking at that drug lab. Oh my god, that guy was not there a second ago. What is this? Leviathan. Wildlife. He only runs nine miles an hour. That is a big boy. I don't know if he's peaceful or what. I've only seen one Leviathan before. Try and get a nice ground shot of this guy. Save game and fight it. No, he's got 7,000 hit points. Look at this. Hi, Ganog. Do it, baby. 7,500 hit points. Do you guys just want to see him destroy me? If I just right-click? I'm just going to right-click to die. That's what you want to see? Okay, fine. This is a legal save scum because chat wants to. I'm gonna just right-click with 
all my forces, attack unprovoked, and you guys are going to just watch as my entire army gets crushed. Let's see. I'm not even going to micro. I'm not. Why would you go? Okay, I'm going to micro a little. Why would you go through the water? That's just giving him an undue advantage. To make it harder than... Can he not cross the water? Three, two, one, go. Are you happy now, chat? Are you? How are these other ones still alive? Ruka just blocked the Leviathan, by the way. With one arm. Well, you can only do that once so many times. Ridley, you blocked it as well? How? What is its attack? Its attack is 51, but it does like a thousand damage. People like instantly died. Why is the Leviathan's attack 51, but when it hits it does 200 damage. <laughs> Well, Rip Ridley. <laughs> Kang is like still alive. And he's eaten us. Okay, well. You got to see it. Right click to die. So does this make us stronger? Uh, if you live. If you somehow live. Then yeah. What is happening over here? I think those are beak things. I actually trust myself to fight like three beak things at the same time. If it's more than that, no. I genuinely think we can handle three. We've proven ourselves to be quite stout. We have some injuries. A couple left arms, a couple legs. Let's see if we can do it. This is going to be a no-save scum opportunity. We'll fight them right here next to the water. Actually, I was going to fight them here next to the water, but now they're like up over the other side. I could just snipe them across the, the water here. This is a good fight spot. They're in the water right now, which certainly makes things... Oh! Go! Move! We're safe for now. Cutting a little close. All right, can you snipe from here, you god? That's why I gave you the special or high quality eagle cross that can shoot from 174 meters away. You have to reload every combat. Nailed it. 133 damage PS. Didn't get the second one, but that's okay. You got the first one, and that's what Matt. What? I don't think they they care. I don't think they care. Uh, that was a headshot. P.S. Just in case you were curious of where the accuracy was. Uh, through the mouth. I mean, we, what we could probably do is just swim to here. And then fight them. Because there's more meat. That's a fight that we can control. Which one's the one you already hit? That dude? They're supposed to know. There they go. Finally. Alright, you got. Everyone else just go forward. Do I fight this with backpacks or no? How greedy do we feel? He got it. I don't know where that arrow, like how the travel time worked there. Uh, chest shot. For 111 damage. Three beak things is doable. More than that, I don't know. 
Because we weren't even using Tawina. I think I gotta drop, like, the super wooden backpacks. Unless we want to build strength. That'll build strength like crazy. Uh, we're gonna send the big dogs into the first fight. Kang. Rain. Tawina. And Bracklin. Are gonna handle this one. The rest of you... Please... Make some room. And here's what we're going to do. We're going to micro a little bit. Get we got to get everybody off of passive so they can help off of hold. I need to move Rain and Tawina back. So you kind of want to attack them from different angles, right? And then we're going to... I don't know how we're going to do the other ones. I might have made a huge mistake. <laughs> we'll see. Ball you got? You got ammo? Use it, buddy. Okay, Corduroy. Chad is a martial artist who, by the way, has claimed audaciously to have single-handedly, with no weapon, only the skills of this brave martial artist with a 21 and a 24 in martial arts and dodge, respectively, taken down two big things and run from the third. So we're going to test the veracity of these claims right now. Uh, Ridley's been getting some practice with blunt weapons. Ridley's got... Oh, everyone's on... Everyone who's on block? Not right now. 30 defense. So it's going to be Gorka. Chad. And we need one more. I'm going to send Ruka on the other group. Ruka, Donnie. Who's left? Miu doesn't have any skills and should be probably a fallback. We also need to fight them spaced out a little bit. Limcar is kind of cannon fodder. Bracklin, what you doing, bud? Everyone's why why are people on passive? Didn't I turn everyone off of passive? I don't know. Uh Volugop is sniping. Rain is like, mm, I don't know. Okay, didn't I just say we... Okay, who's got your attention? Donnie? Donnie's on taunt. So, Donnie, move that beak thing away, please. Good. Back him up. Get him away. Corduroy? And Chad and Donnie need to fight here. Okay, one is down. And we're just going to take one meat, drop it on the floor so he's dead. Everyone doing okay? Let's check on some health. Ruka is on the ground. Unconscious, was hit in the stomach, one to possibly by a bolt. <laughs> I, have a, I have a guess that there is a pointy thing sticking out. Volugop, don't do that again. Yeah, well, I got half a training on precision shooting, so it shouldn't be an issue. You don't kill me, only I kill me. Ooh, that bolt went through. 138 chest damage, by the way. Alright, anyone else that needs to be blocking right now? I'd say Miu needs to block. Chad should block. Limcar should block. Basically, people who are about to lose an important body part and let those who are not wounded take care of the rest. Well, the newbies gotta be baptized by fire. Okay, and we're out. Give me the meat. Give me the meat. And one more to make sure that all three will not be getting up anytime soon. That was a good crunch. It was. <laughs> We've actually defeated three beak things on our own. We're almost out of bolts. I'm so glad I bought extra. We need to buy even more. We need to learn how to make our own bolts. You can do... Oh! Please pick up Ruka and then run as fast as you can. Oh no! Oh, it's, 
it's not an insta death. It's not an insta death. Oh, they're all burning. Oh my god. After all that hard work, we have been smitten by the holy powers on high who have seen ill fit for us to be strong enough to defeat the big things. God's creation in Kinchy world. Well, that happened. Maybe it's even faster to run against it. I don't know. Try to run against it. Ooh, that's some death. That's some, that's some bleed. Okay, uh, well, we're gonna need to make camp somewhere real soon. You guys can, can you just all stop right there and then heal each other? Before it, like, comes back angrier than before? I love that limb car was on the ground for the better part of that. Alright, let's double check. Uh, now we know that that doesn't insta-die. Literal baptism by fire. Anyone who's a medic, we're looking over here for medic jobs and we're making sure they've still got medicine. I wish it would, uh, I wish there was a way to notify me when, if they weren't. I think it gave everyone a med kit. Donnie needs another one, though. So here you go, Donnie. Hamid's good. Everyone should have something, just in case. Even if it's just a default grade one. So Corduroy will trade with Limcar. There you go. Alright, patch him up, people. This is some first aid training. This is not a drill. Uh, that was almost the death of, like, the whole squad at the same time. Super <laughs> unlucky beam of light. You need to invest in sunscreen. Yeah, probably so. Alright, Bracklin's leg has been fixed. We got, uh, Ruka's unconscious, Limcar's unconscious. Hamet is seen better days. Well, that kind of went the other way than I expected. Let's take somebody who has really good speed, such as Volugop, and pick up the people who do not. Oh, Ruka's already Ruka's already been picked up. Why did Rain the Giant? Did I tell? I told him to do that. Cool. Mew's left leg is messed up. Can we splint those injuries? We might be able to splint them. Who else has got a splint kit? Bracklin does? Don't know if it's gonna do anything for us. Is auto splint an option? It is. Splint rigging. Cool. Okay. So everyone that could be splinted is... We gotta go. You know, like, I'm gonna get burned again. It's almost guaranteed. We're gonna limp on out of here. That, uh, was certainly an encounter I did not expect. Speaking of Vegas, how are the grasshoppers? Digital Smith, how did you know? They're here. The grasshoppers are here. They're kinda everywhere. You guys just got, like, a live shot of what Vegas actually looks like each day? <laughs> With that sunbeam coming down if you look at it the wrong way? <laughs> so who's the slowest person who's actually running right now? 17, 17, 20, 20. Rain the Giant only goes 15. Corduroy only goes 12, but it's because he's carrying somebody. But it'll build up strength. Probably going up as we speak. Only a little bit. Athletics is going up faster. Okay, I, uh, the end is in sight here. We just gotta cross the rest of this dangerous desert. The roller coaster of events. What's the goal at the moment? Um, 
Packle, the current goal, we went from our current small base of uh, a home inside of Black Scratch all the way west to, to the Grey Flayer Village where I have another little shack where we were keeping Miu and all of her stuff safe. And we went to go basically escort Miu and her gear back to our new base of operations, which we're, as soon as we get back, we're going to start setting that up. So my current goal is to head back northeast to Black Scratch at the moment. Avoiding, um, obviously more lo sun lasers and hopefully death. So the good news is since we're patched and we got plenty of medicine, they're going to heal on the run. Not as fast as they would if they were sleeping, but who's got time for that? But yeah, the goal is going to be build up stick HQ. And we're going to turn it into a sick, nasty base. So that may involve uh, buying some supplies from the local vendors. That may involve another excursion to go get more mats and materials. Uh, you can usually find a bunch through adventuring. There is a, ru a few ruins I wanted to see to the northeast. Like, I guess if you can survive the sunbeams, there's plenty of place to build here. And these guys actually blend in real well. Weak thralls. You can kind of see their swords. The rest of them blend in. I think we can handle weak thralls, even in our current debilitated state. Three times speed is scary right now. <laughs> For obvious reasons. Um, we're heading back up towards Brink at the moment. Are skeletons immune to heat lasers? I think they are. Yeah, I think skeletons are immune to the heat lasers. Which is why they're able to survive. Which is why they're able to survive out here. But yeah, barring that, uh, our next goal would be build up the Y House, set up a new research station, continue to research, acquire new research artifacts, continue to uh, explore, kind of unify our forces. There's two more big things over there. We could handle them. We could. By this point. Could not handle another laser, though. Two big things aren't as scary as they used to be now. We're getting strong. Who is that? This might be scary. Are these weak thralls? They are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven of them. <laughs> Out here in the desert. Okay, let's see how weak the weak thralls actually are, I guess. Uh, or how injured are we still? Whoever is holding Ruka needs to put her down. As is the case with Miu and Limkar. Also, I don't feel like taking any chances, so we might just do this as an honest fight and take off packs for ultimate. We're taking off our weighted clothes. I mean, look at that. Uh, Bracklin gets five extra attack and five extra defense. <laughs> Volugov's like, show me what you got. Some of them it doesn't seem to negatively impact. Like the small thieves backpack, I don't think that has any downside, does it? No. Only if there was stuff in it. That doesn't do anything. That doesn't do anything. Alright, remind me to pick these up if I for some reason forget. While you got, use your stuff. Did you kick Limcar on the way past? I bet you're wondering how I got here. Take a nice snap, pick. Okay. Um, Tawina. Left side. Bracklin's good to go. Also left side, everyone's off of passive, off of hold. Volucop's already sniping. 
Kang right up the middle with Taunt. I believe in your 32 defense. Gorka can take the right side. Rain the Giant also up the middle with Taunt. Ridley, hang back a little bit. Just in case. Guard Volugop. Uh, Donnie can definitely go in here. Comet also is going to guard Volugop. Corduroy can tag team. Chad's only got 52 chest. But, like, I believe in you. And Miyu's almost dead, so... In we go, I guess. Chad, go ahead and take this dude with Ridley. Weak Thralls versus Team Italics Clash. It's actually like a sick... That, that, that could be like the cinematic shot of us like running towards each other and clashing right down the middle. They always cut away right before the battle happens. Uh, which is why I'm going to take this opportunity to pee right back and get a new drink. You know, I need a Coke. It's been like four and a half hours. And I could really use some caffeine, so uh, we're going to just throw that BRB beverage and snack up. Midas is waiting to be taken outside. <laughs> hey, where would you go? Where did you go? Ugh. Hey, what are you up to? What are you doing down here? <laughs> Next week on It's Alex Plays Kenshi. Random sun attack is probably going to happen. Probably. He heard you say snack. That means we get to go out and he gets a little pepperoni treat. He's wheezing quietly right now. What is wrong with you? Thank you. Hey, you little hot dog. All right. Chat, thanks for your patience. I'll return to you in like five minutes. And then we will complete our journey and build up the headquarters. So, let's get a little music on here so it's not so quiet. Senor Tickles, thank you for the 13 months, by the way. Sorry to ditch you right as you got here, but I'll be back in just a minute. Thanks for waiting, and uh, thanks for that sub, Senor. See you guys in a sec.
Let them fight. It's time. Mmm! Peek that microphone. Thanks for waiting, guys. We back. And more importantly, we're gonna see who's stronger. Some slightly weakened or sunburned, <laughs> slightly heat exhausted children of the stick, or some skeleton boys. Let's see who strikes the first blow. Green numbers are good. Red numbers are bad. So, we're getting a little, uh, triple quadruple teamed over here. I'm also scared for Volugop. I do see Volugop landed a clean blow. 135 means there's an arrow in that arm. And it's completely destroyed it. We're gonna send Volugop over here to try to get some better angles. I'm gonna send Ridley in to help Hamet. And Mew is basically a distraction who's just going to look at one of the robots funny. I think we might be a little outmatched. Here's what's going to be the key. Right now we're getting 3v1 in some scenarios. It's going to come up to the people who are 1v1ing who are clearly stronger than their opponent to finish the job. All right, Donnie. Donnie, at least you're a robot, my man. You have a lot of health. All right, let's flip. Who, who are you guys most interested in? Like, what, what group right here are you most interested in? And we'll try and focus on them. Which of these characters? Let's see who's the most injured. You. <laughs> Turn on smart clicks. <laughs> okay, but like... The, uh, I, I can't even do that right now. Okay, like Elijah Wood. I'm sorry, I can't do it right now. Chad is the MVP. Okay. Chad is quickly becoming a, a fan favorite. Martial arts. Good kick. Good dodge. Nice. Fist to the face. Volugop is kind of getting, like, attacked over here for no reason. So let's move. Ridley. And Miu. You guys can't block forever, okay? Let's make sure there's not too many people blocking. I don't see anybody else, actually. Okay, uh, Tawina. Can you finish the job? Nice, waiting your turn. I think the walls are closing in on the weak thralls. I see lots of positive numbers. Ooh. Volugop is still under attack. It'll make him tougher. <laughs> It'll make him tougher. Just run that way. Oof. Oof, Miu. Okay, the, the cavalry is here. You guys don't have to worry any longer. Did you even... Yeah, you're the one that got that final shot in. That was 116 damage to the chest. We're gonna turn you back to hold and passive. It turns out the children of the stick, though beaten up a little bit, are far superior. All right, now backpacks. Healing and backpacks. Robots are currently being patched up. Do we have anybody else who's doing robotics? I think it's Corduroy and it's supposed to be Bracklin. Bracklin, I think, ran out of kits. And I think the other ones are in our backpacks. Yeah, we need more skeleton repair kits. Okay. So, grab your wood. Okay, that must have been the one with the correct backpack in it. And I think that's all of them. Robots are healed. Iodani's looking pretty good. Head's a bit damaged, but otherwise is okay. I think it heals back over time. 
You have 16 points of wear damage that detracts from your max health and can be fixed at a skeleton bed. Well, we're gonna have to get a skeleton bed. What do these guys even have? Just weapons? Is it even worth my time to, like, strip them of their weapons anymore, or no? Like, should I even bother with that? Miyu still only walks at seven miles an hour. <laughs> I'm just gonna pick her up. Come with me. And let's go on an adv Let's beat this guy up. And that guy. <laughs> whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Volume up is on passive and hold. Oh, I right clicked. And that is why uh, someone just got shot for 90 damage in the head. Uh huh. Yep, that was a clean headshot to Rain the Giant. Okay, well, yeah, I guess that one's on me because I forgot there was a ranged guy in my group. Well, Rain the Giant, your head's gonna not feel very good for a while. But you got healed so fast. Hey, you know what? Guess what? Wow, 21, we just gained 5% precision shooting. We're 5% better at not shooting friends than we were a second ago when we... before we shot him in the face. So, uh, careful of that head injury. I would rather not get into any more fights if I can help it right now. It would probably be... Where are you guys going? They just all turned as one. Okay, so every single person should be off a block. Hold. Passive. No one's taunting. So, out of those who are running, who's the slowest? 20 miles an hour? 18. 15. 12. Well, Iodani's carrying somebody. So is Corduroy. Rain was a good target practice. He's got a big head, apparently. Am I playing with any mods? I am playing vanilla. This is my first playthrough, Titus. And, uh... I am currently on day 54 of my very first Kinshi playthrough. And I'm kind of just slowly learning things at my own pace. Experimenting, discovering, and just enjoying the... The journey. So. Not min-maxing. Um, not looking for Kinshi Pro's help. Not talking to you, just in particular. Just in general. Um... Not looking for any insider info, just kind of playing completely blind. Encountered anything crazy yet? Yes. I have. <laughs> uh, things that are crazy to a new player, for sure. Like, uh, I think the craziest so far is discovering the Skin Bandits camp. Saying hello to them. Uh, eventually luring one skin bandit away from the herd, killing him, discovering that I could wear the skin that he was wearing, using it on my best ninja to stealth into the skin bandit city, where I accidentally stumbled into the throne room of the skin bandit city, first building I walked in, uh, went upstairs, saw the skin grinding machine where they steal the skin from humanoids, uh, then waited until the leader was asleep, picked him up, put him in his own skin changing machine, which killed him, allowing another one of the skin bandits to assume the throne and uh, him to cry out in pain, getting peeled. So, I did let his blueprint slip away, though. Unfortunately. His super cool, unique blueprint is gone forever because I didn't know that the skin bandits were instantly gonna turn on the guy that I- that I didn't know they would know that I put him in the skin machine. They ran up there and grabbed his body out of the skin peeler and immediately, in, within 30 seconds, took him to the, the incinerator and burned his whole body. They wasted no time. The skin bandit arc. Yes, that was the skin bandit arc. It took like over half a stream, for sure. I don't know what the best way out of this little ravine is. Probably this way. Uh, yeah, we kind of want to go, like, up here. Up 
That's a good story. It is a pretty good story. That was uh, probably the craziest thing. Don't forget about getting the crabs. Oh, okay, so... Uh, in that same storyline at the end, I went back with the intention, because like I said, I found the leader in the first building I went in, and I was like, I didn't really explore this place. So I went back a second time after finally getting out, and I was like unable to... I didn't realize how disguises cancel your stealth score because it's kind of an obscure mechanic that a new player probably wouldn't understand as I didn't. So my I, my best stealther kept getting uncovered by other skin bandits because it was only a 40% chance of... Ooh, who's this? Reavers. Reavers. Ah, uh, yeah. So he kept getting found out. So... I was like, I'm tired of getting chased around. I'm going to do something about this to distract them so I can go back and loot. Because there was stuff in, like, boss man's room that I wanted. So I went out and found some iron spiders that were roaming around. And, uh, subsequently brought the iron spiders back to their base. Which was a giant city of skin peelers, of skin bandits. And, uh, I ran away while the spiders did their work. When I came back, the whole city was destroyed. Now, I'm aware that probably, mechanically speaking, it's possible that just destroying the leader resulted in the death of the city, possibly. But in my headcanon, the Iron Spiders terrorized all the skin bandits and destroyed them. And blew up all their buildings. Then another faction moved into town. And the f oh, what was the other faction's name that moved into town, chat? Some kind of, uh, it had an F? In the name? I think? It, I don't think it, it was not Holy Nation. Is there like a federation? Yeah, somebody else was on patrol. They were robots. It was a gang of robots. Maybe it didn't have an F in it. I don't know. That might have been a bad clue. <laughs> they, they were uh, really strong robot armies. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, you're the official logger, so you should know. No, they weren't thralls. I don't know. Anyways, robots took over. That's all that matters. Because they were the real robots. Not the, not the skin bandit robots. Legion. Yeah, I think that it was the Legion. <sighs> um, of what? <laughs> what are they the Legion of? Legion has an F in it. What's the rest of their name? Which of these groups is the Legion? Fire Legion. <laughs> Frank's Legion. No, none of those. This is all of the, the different factions. It's got to be one of these. Maybe not. Chat is very helpful. Chat is very funny tonight. They think they're so funny with their little smiley faces. Don't they? Well, Legion was the correct name. I just don't know what the rest of their name is. It could just be The Legion. All right, watch this. Kenshi Legion. They're just called the Skeleton Legion. No. Yeah, they're just called the Skeleton Legion. There you go. I just, I did one Google search. That's what chat's supposed to do. I'm pretty sure that you signed an end user license agreement that specifically says if a streamer is in need of help and cannot Google something whilst in the process of live streaming, you are responsible for assisting in these times of need. S. Skeleton Band- Why don't I have Skeleton Legion as a faction that I know of, though? <laughs> don't use the blind command against me. I've already seen this faction. Techno said it five times. Okay, but I think consciously I made an effort to ignore what Technotos was saying during that trial. 
because previously Technotoast had said, I have no idea what you're talking about. And uh, so I was just like, well, the other like three things they said probably aren't helpful then because they just admitted to not knowing what was going on. So I'll just look and read other people's comments. Contrary to popular belief, I don't read every single comment that happens. I can only read the funny one. <laughs> I don't know what path we're taking here, but it looks like a good one. For now. Isn't there a ton of terrible patrols here that are way stronger than us? Like Reavers, in particular? I think so. We got a couple hours of, of uh, shadow left. But we're getting close. We're almost there. Streamer can't see this. Just... It's invisible. I couldn't see it, but I, like, knew it. Wow, that's further away than I thought it was. Um, you know what? Just go. Just going has never gotten us into trouble, not once. Am I right? I told you, if you're at three times speed, nobody can catch you. That's just how this game works. You run faster than everybody else because you think the AI can do three times speed whenever they want? No. Somehow we actually made it all... Remember how much... Uh, guys, you remember the first time I wanted to go to this city? How long we had to creep and crawl through those crevices and ravines? Getting, like, chased back and forth, running in circles away from the Reavers? I just fast-forwarded into there, and then no problem. Did you hear that, Vroom? We've made it home. We are here. Open up. Let me in! Let me in! We're back. We brought a bunch of stuff with us. Look who we brought. Miu. You guys haven't met Miu or Chad. Miu, Chad, and Limcar, the three newest compatriots of our squad. Everyone, stop what you're doing and look. Uh, this guy's dead. It's Grass Pirate. Who's this guy? Tech Hunter. There's all this blood out here. This is the defense that we've got. You know what I'm saying? We've got some real professionals up here. Where's the battle happening? Rip that guy. I love when the Reavers try to come in and just they get steamrolled by this little group at the front door. Is Hooper okay? <laughs> what, after all those people came stomping in? Uh, Hooper's currently starving, so I'm gonna let Hooper just roam and eat some of these bodies. If that's cool. Hooper? Why does he six miles per hour? Minus three. Starving. Can you eat this guy, Hooper? Why is Hooper on the ground? <laughs> the second that I tried to feed him, he collapsed. Is there a way to force feed Hooper? Ebrulf is also... What, what do these guys eat? What do Ebrulfs eat? No one told me that. There wasn't a guidebook. The... the... Do... Let me form complete sentences. Garus. I couldn't think of their name. Do Garus eat the same food as everybody else? I was kind of just scared to leave them outside. One of these is a animal food storage.
However, it's not as easy as you'd think. Because this is someone else's city. Okay, well, let's try, um... I think we got some raw meat. So you can just trade with Hooper. And, like, put... No. Do I have to put... What do I have to put in there? Edible for animals. Whoops. Hold on. There you go. There you go, Ebrulf. Okay, so they ate raw meat. Did Hooper just eat raw meat? Or did Tawina eat it? You can just throw it on the ground. Is that true? <laughs> He's unconscious for 22 more seconds. Why are these guys just, they're making me anxious, just running back and forth. All right, you guys want to like, I don't know, what do you guys want to do? You're just going to stand, oh, sleep. Some of you probably want to sleep, like Ruka, who's being held by Donnie, put in bed. Miu also needs to sleep. Yarpo, get up, please. Limcar is also down for the count. <laughs> that was a good synchronized, like, perfectly timed execution. <laughs> Wonderful job. You guys are great caretakers. Did you know that? Oh, I heard him. I heard my little bone dog. Where is he? Come on, eat it. Why? Starving. I know! How do you do it? Cooper's not on hold. How do you feed dogs? He's gonna die. He already ate. Oh, it's on the way up. You are slowly recovering from starvation. Okay. Okay. There you go, then. So, Tawina can pick both these up. These guys are freaking out. Um, we could just put some, like... I can't build an animal feeder here. They can't eat... Oh, food storage is, is gone. <laughs> okay, well, I think you know where this is going. It can't be that bad, everybody. It can't be that bad. Apparently it's that bad. It's cooking simulator time. Can animals eat out of there? They all just scarf it down, they do. Any interest in checking out the new Fire Emblem? Probably not on stream, but I'm kind of interested in it, uh... Because I've never played a Fire Emblem game before. So, I am interested just because apparently it's really good. I don't know, I like... It's a turn-based RPG, right? I'm pretty ignorant when it comes to Fire Emblem as a series. But, uh... I do like turn-based RPG. Time for a bigger house? That is the next plan, Xenophanes. We're gonna be moving into this Y house. This is the stick... This is gonna be the new stick HQ, and that's why we brought everybody back here. So we could unite, go grab some resources with another excursion. Uh, and start building this big base up. That is the plan for today. I think there's a race happening outside. Any of you guys Vegas cops? Come on down! That was at least two cars. Yeah, it's right up your alley. How much does Big Y building cost? I think 28, 28,000. 
So we, we can afford it. Uh, we got money. And we got more ways to make money if we want. We need to find a, a good way to consistently make money, though. By the way, Jade Snake, uh, thank you for your sub. I think you subbed while I was fighting. So I missed it. But thanks a bunch, and welcome back for 11 months in a row. This is very nice of you. Oh, I know what I was going to do. I was going to take uh, some of my people. Corduroy and Donnie. People who are healed more. Gorka. Kang. You guys come on out. I'm going to let them get into it. Get him. Where is this guy going? We need some training, and these 29 defense grass pirates going to give us just that. Nice. I love the combos. Ooh, the combos are good. Hooper? <laughs> Hooper, go. What? what are you doing, Hooper? You're so hungry. He's so hungry, he shouldn't be fighting. <laughs> He's just a little pup. How old is this pup? I don't know. He's just a little pup. Okay, so if these guys are gonna get back up, yeah? Make sure they don't. Hold on. Put that on the ground, please. Because I think I picked the wrong person. Otherwise, I'm going to get real confused. Alright, so you cannot kill anyone who's on the ground, for those of you that don't know. Wow. Give me that. Yeah, you can't kill people who are on the ground. Sometimes they just get snapped, and we're not really sure why. But they do. Actually, that's not very rare. I just could use it. Because I think a lot of my people don't have shirts. And by a lot, I mean... Everyone has a shirt. Okay. Well, they have... This is still better than white vest, right? Who just picked that up? Donnie? Because this actually has attack damage bonuses. Which is better than default threads. No armor coverage whatsoever. Alright, so these guys... I'm using my team as, like, interior guards, basically. Making sure these sneaky bandits don't jump up here. Okay. Uh, what were we doing? <laughs> we were making sure that Hooper was fed. And that, uh, Ebrof was fed. And then we were gonna... We were gonna let these dudes rest. And we were gonna buy the new house, so why waste any more time? Let's just do it. Rip the band-aid off. Grab the fidget spinner. Let's do it. 28,000 bucks. That's an investment. Building purchased. Private. Not open to the public. We could turn this into a little shop if we wanted to. And have this be the base of operations. That's not a bad idea. Okay, team children of the stick. Let's go see our new home. Oh, yeah. Look at this space. Look how much room we've got. And we've got a roof, too. Like, you can actually get to the roof. <laughs> what? No yard? Look, it's a city property, okay? Right in the middle of the city. Pretty cool house. Obviously, we got to snap a pick. All you got could... Where are my dudes? Oh, my dudes are in. I thought they were out here fighting for a second. I'm kind of scared to fight out here, if only because the, uh... <laughs> the heat-seeking harpoon... Who would see... What? That guy got up. He's trying to make a getaway. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. All right, we're on our new roof. Let's 
Some of us are not turned the right way, but that'll do. Check it out! My new digs! Okay, that's pretty good. Looking good. Looking sharp. We got some real property here. This is a good city, though. It's got a ton here. Uh, we're probably gonna need a bunch of new materials. So we're gonna leave the people who were fighting out here? Was Ridley the other person, or no? Gorka. And the rest of you can kind of just chill. Ebrulf, you want to go in here instead? That'll work, if you can squeeze through. I don't know if you can. Hey, you, there you go. Alright, so we have much to build, and uh, not much with which to build. I'm gonna go ahead and lock this door up, just in case there's any more people sneaking through. Chatty's come so far. It was only yesterday he locked himself in a slave cage. <laughs> can we enslave ourselves? You can You can do lockpick training. I think this is, um, I don't know if there's any other properties for sale here. It might only be those two. As far as I can tell, it's only those two. Alright. Let's see what we've got, uh, to choose from so far. Because this is where the, the part I have been much looking forward to has finally come to pass. Uh, I do want to get a little decorative. I want a training area. I want a k kitchen area. I want a sleeping area. And I want a research area. Research bench number two is the most important part. So, like, let's deal with that first. Can we squeeze this in under the stairs? No. Okay, that's fine. Uh, in certain spots, it does exist until you get too far back, I guess. On the roof. Uh, I don't think I want research on the roof, but it might work up there. I don't know. Okay, this this will this will do. I don't know if I want to take up a full wing, but you got to do what you got to do. You could put it smack in the middle of everything, but like, is that, isn't that that space better reserved for like a nice living area? Like, I could just try and put it up against this wall. Does that look dumb? It kind of separates the room in a weird way. So option A is just right in the middle, centerpiece, research console. Option B is in this corner, and it's going to take up basically the whole area. And what do we do like this? Is this viable? No, not at all. Um, might be able to go on the roof? Probably not. Too close. Yeah, you actually can, but not very well. It would be so good under the stairs, I know. That was my first thought. I will try one more time. Look at it this way. I'm trying to line it up where... No green at all. Until you get to, like, here. I think it just gets... I think it's because the way the y shape houses, it gets a little too narrow. Okay. Chat, middle of the floor, or back in this corner. Roof looks big enough for fancy tents. Yeah. So everyone pick corner, which is why I should do the middle of the floor. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> okay. No, for real, though. Let me look. Um, if I put it in the middle of the floor, I could, like, cordon off... 
I could cordon off this area. Right, we could do um, interior wall. Metal. Cost one iron plate. We don't have that. We got building materials for now. Yeah, this house kind of sucks because it's inverted. So it, Or not inverted, but it's like... Goes like that, so the way that the hitbox detection goes, you don't get a lot of leeway with clipping. And I think more games... You know, that's what No Man's Sky does so well. They're like, clip whatever you want. What if you put it against the back of the middle, then do like two hallways branching off into either wing? Well, I looked at it... Um, I looked at it there first... And since it's so much bigger than that knuckle. Kind of just lining it up with the floor. Side note, why would you not attach this to the mouse wheel? Sorry, if the, if the developers are here, I love your game, I love you. <laughs> Don't listen to me. Rotation, uh, like hold alt with mouse wheel would be pretty sick. So, like, this is one option. That is one option. All the way up against the back. I like it. Do you guys like it? Right there? That's cool. Okay. We'll go with that. Um... So research right in the middle. Now, the only problem with that is it makes it harder to do the separate room thing that we were going to do. So let's see how that would look. Start with just interior walls. Does it matter what side? Are they the same? I think they're the same. I wish there was something that I could do to move this further to the edge. I mean, it doesn't have to be crazy. It just needs to be like a door. Hmm. You can pick them up and move them, too. The question, though, is how much can I get away with? About this much. Hold on. Hold on, chat. Is that too narrow? I feel like that's too narrow. <laughs> Please just let me build it. <laughs> That leaves some room for activities in the front. Looks good. Fits well. Can we fit there? I assume so. One would hope. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that looks like a proper door. I don't know. It's a little, it's a little squeeze. Hmm. There's no, I could put, like, some other little furniture here. Like, for example, like a barrel. Is there just, like, a decorative barrel I could put? By the way, we're gonna... This is the whole point of the stream, so we're gonna be doing this for a little while. Um, because there's a lot to do. If Gorka can get through, anyone can. Well, I'm not gonna know until I build it, I guess. I can always delete it later. Read the description of interior wall. Divides up a space and helps burglars sneak through your house easier. <laughs> That's true for the player. It lets me sneak through. Um, okay, so we can, we can always, like, delete and remove these later. So one of these is going to be, uh, like, training area. That's probably going to be the training area. This is going to be the kitchen now. So we're going to go out just a little bit. 
Is that even? That, uh... That looks pretty good. Bingo. Okay. Uh, then we just create a little gap. Let's go all the way to this wall. Or just do this. Figure out where this one goes first, maybe. Oop, perfect. A little closer. You've definitely got it. Okay. There we go. So we got uh, two little dividers. There's the stairs. This is going to be the kitchen. We're just trying to make this into some neat different quadrants. Um, we might also do a little front room here. And then we'll just work within. So for example... Like, let's try and line this up. There's like a little texture in the floor. I don't know if it's the texture is even. But I can only work with what I can see. Okay, well, there's not... <laughs> there's not a lot I'm going to be able to do unless I want to make a little tunnel. Which I don't know if I want to make a tunnel or not. Okay, maybe a little... some storage boxes back in there or something like that. Then we got a little room... we got a little arrowhead basically pointing through the base. Trying for the beauty of your RimWorld basis. Well, the difference is I have like 500 hours of RimWorld. This is my, this is baby's first Kinshi base. So it's not going to be the best it can be. But, uh, I'm going to try and like do some stuff. I'm, I'm going to work within what buildings I have. Because I don't even know what all is in the game. You know what I mean? Beds? Uh, I think they'll sleep on the roof. They can either sleep on the roof or we can put beds in this like front area. Either one works. Okay, so training-wise, here's the dojo. It's starting to look like something. It is. We got Training Dummy Mark 1. Train beginners in melee attack skill up to level 5. How cute. So we're going to do these lined up on the wall. Like 1, 2, and 3. Then we're going to go directly opposite. One. Two. And three. Okay, looking pretty good. So some training dummies off to the side. Locksmith training boxes. Uh, I'll put these in like the corners. Not the corner corner, but like, you know. It's okay if they're a little off. They don't have to be perfectly symmetrical. That's kind of the whole point. Two at a time is probably plenty. They cost two iron plates a piece. We don't need to get crazy. We'll go for through storage in a minute. Uh, stone mines. Can't do that right now. Lights. Exterior. You can put these inside. Is it okay to put these inside? We'll, we'll do lights as a decoration at the end. Is the front supposed to be a guard station? Well, they've got guards outside. We, 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 this is a pretty safe path for now. Needs recreation. They <laughs> need some horseshoes. Uh, bread oven, cooking stove, and a grain silo. Well, definitely cooking. Bread oven's pretty large. Could totally squeeze under the stairs, though. Chad, what do you say right there? Pipe goes all the way to the wall. Bread oven under the stairs. Cooking stove either against the back wall. So option A is back wall. 
or sidewall. I kind of like it being near the bread oven, but it has to be far enough towards this wall where they can squeeze between for whatever we end up putting in the corner. Can you fit two under there? Eh, be pushing it a little. So I'll try to line this up a little bit better. Needs a little tilt. That looks pretty good. Okay, this is roughly the middle. Just kind of eyeballing it. Has to be pulled away from the um, back a little bit because of the pipe, I guess, going up. Um, so, cooking stove, bread oven. We can't build a grain silo. We can't build... We could build water tank, but I don't know what I need this for yet. So, let's hold off on that. Crafting! Oh, yes, crafting. How could I forget? I think this is going to be kitchen and crafting, probably. So, we can make a clothing bench. Fabric loom. And weaponsmith. Oh, my God, this is huge. Hey, I heard you like this right in the middle, because it's clipping everything. Uh, I can't really build anything outside because I don't own this property. I only own the house. I don't own anything outside the house. Power consumption minus eight. That's true, too. The city does provide some power. I don't know how much. But I'm not going to build anything that consumes power yet. Because I don't even know, I don't have any iron plates for one, and for two, we need to be able to grow cotton, or trade for cotton, to use it. Tents, don't need these yet. Buildings, small shack, storm house, outhouse, okay. So, none of those. Let's go back to interior decor, and maybe spruce the place up a bit, and figure out, we don't have beds researched. Because I think you have to have tier two to research beds. So we could just build some furniture uh, in places that I know we're going to use it. Like, for example, a bench like here would make sense. And possibly here. So these guys can, like, hang out. little hangout spot off to the corner. Okay, we got all green. Good to go. All green. Um, display stands. I think display stands should go probably in the training dojo area. Um, maybe like next to some of the training dummies, like right... Could do this corner. Kind of difficult to align. Because it tends to move towards the entrance to get everybody squeezed in there. Maybe two display stands? Read the description. Some kind of annoying display for you to fall over when you are drunk. <laughs> the bench. A long bench for people, for multiple people, so that you end up having to share your seat with some weirdo. A uh, round bar table. I'd say until we know what else is going to go in here, we can always move this later. Are you done? Thank you. Uh, so let's do the round table. Ooh, rusty sink. You know what it is? It's a rusty sink. Simple enough. Just put it next to our stove. A shelf where you might put some kind of cooking utensils. I think that would definitely go in one of these corners. Maybe even more than one. Sitting boxes, sitting pillows. Oh, dojo. Actual dojo. Which way do they sit, though? <laughs> Which way's forward on a sitting pillow? Where will our uh, Grand Master teach from? 
We might have to, like, alter this somewhat. Just use the front of the pillow. It's a great idea. Okay, we're not a huge dojo yet. We're just like a small dojo. There we go. That looks good. All the rooms are starting to come together a little bit at a time. We got small table. No. Stools? Yes. Okay, four little stools. Perfect. Some of them seem a little far away. Beautiful. Looking cozy so far. Yeah, anything else that we need, like, out of this? Support beams? That can definitely add a lot, but it doesn't touch anything, does it? Unless it was, like, facing this way. Alright, is that basically even? Someone is in the way. I think the first one was a little off, actually. So I can't. I can't see where the wall is. There we go. Does that look dumb? I think this one's a little too far down. Like that one's perfect. The one on the left is beautiful. This is the one that's messed up. There we go. I need to move it up. This is what you came here for, chat. There we go. That's good enough, right? No. <laughs> Alright, I gotta look at it like this. There we go. Alright, that, that's, that's pretty good. Holding up the walls to make sure they don't close in. Support beam two. Oh, we got little door frames. Oh, that's so cute. They don't really support anything, and this really just reveals how small <laughs> this one is. Hold on. Try and move this one over. I messed it all up, but I had to. Okay, so... Yeah, this is so tiny. This should be at least as wide as the support beam, right? What if we just move this for a sec? Rotate this over. Okay, get out of here. You guys are in the way. Get this guy. Okay, looking good. Almost. I need green! I wish I could be afforded just a little bit of clip. Just a little bit. <laughs> just like I'd be able to clip those would be beautiful. You really have to go, like, all the way to here. Which looks kind of silly. I saw it. I saw hope. For just a... Is that too, too much open space back here in this little... I guess we could put something back there to try to bring it together. I don't know. I liked it better before. I did like it better before. Now if I could just get these two to line up. I can't. Okay, cool. Um, glad I'm like kind of wasting everyone's time. Let's try moving that out of the way. 
One last go. Alright, don't look at me. Don't look at me. I need complete concentration here. This is it. Three, two, one. I'm satisfied. I am sat. Okay, well that this one's better. Whatever. I am satisfied. Uh, table. I don't know. That that does look pretty good. Now we just gotta move these guys back. Two by two. Can two people work at the same time? Maybe. Everything else does not need to be moved, as far as I know. I think we're good. This is all I can afford right now. I mean, I can't build all this stuff anyways, right? But, it's a start. Uh, the only things we want to work on in the future is possibly a clothing bench, if we get more power. Uh, cotton loom can be used with no power. Manufactures raw fabric from cotton. We would have to get cotton from somewhere. And I don't know how or where to do that, so I'll figure that out later. Once I do, let's confirm what we got for now. There it is! Here's the skeleton! This is gonna be our future base. I don't know why Kang's running outside all of a sudden, but you go, man. You go. Get him. So we got some building materials somewhere. Let's do two things. Let's let uh, Tawina cook the rest of his meat. Bracklin's got some meat, too. I'm pretty excited. I'm excited to see this come together. There we go. Alright, cooking five more. Now, Tawina, please observe one of these chests that has uh, six building materials. It's not the most, but it's a good start. And uh, let's try and pick some things for you to... What are you going to try to build first? I would vote for... We need, like, a bunch of iron plates. I would vote for... The functional... We're just going to go buy a bunch anyways. This needs ten iron plates. This needs fabrics. So actually, go back and get the fabrics. No room. That's fine. Here we go! It is time. And the other engineers will soon be helping us work. I don't know if we have any priorities for these building mats. Okay, while we're here and we got everybody together, do we have anybody else we want to make an engineer? Are there decorations to put on the wall? Uh, I don't know. Good question, actually. Maybe. Finger Basket says, Loving the horde of minions. Keep up the fun run. Hey, Finger Baskets. Thanks for sharing that six-month sub. And uh, for hanging out this evening. Hope you're having fun. As we're finally moving into the HQ building section of the stream. I'm glad that I aligned that pretty well. But thanks again for half a year of being subscribed. What happened to the swamp sitters? Oh, you mean Miu? I think that should answer your question. Okay, so, what I want to do is look through the crew and figure out if anybody wants to be good at engineering. My vote is make Frapp an engineer because she doesn't have any other skills. Okay, shift click did not work. Thank you, Steam. There you go. Engineer, no need to hold. Um, possibly also Ud Quambo, who doesn't really do anything else. So set Ud Quambo to passive, and set Ud Quambo to engineer. Now we're just going to have Tawina basically just walk through and add some, um, 
materials for us for the engineers to kind of build. She can plant the materials and the engineers can do the rest. Sounds of construction in the background. I don't know if I'm even clicking on the right things, to be honest, but I think I am. Okay, she should have only... She should have no more building materials. So now let's build some pillows. Was that really the best way to go through there? Did I accidentally get stuck? Did I build myself into <laughs> a point of no return? I don't think she can go through there. It's, it's that thing. Which, I feel like the whole point of it is to be gone through. But apparently not. We'll just make do with this, I guess. It still almost lines up. We could just cancel this one if I wanted and bump it back one notch. But it looks alright. Bracklin lives in the wall now. <laughs> Kinda does, yeah. All right, let's just add materials to all these pillows, and then the building crew will be in close behind. <laughs> I really thought she died. Not yet! Maybe soon, who knows? It's possible. All right, and we still got a bunch of fabrics left. Each one of these takes how much? One? All right, team. I'm really proud of all of you, including the new builders who are very slowly becoming qualified. Very slowly. But every person counts. So we got some walls. This place needs some shaping up, that's for sure. We're going to have some pillows. You can sit on the pillows if you want. And that's all we got so far. What happened to my crew? Uh, wasn't it like Cordu Oh, Corduroy's in here built. Never mind. Why is there an arrow in my wall? I don't know. Just things you think about when you buy a new house. You know, somebody's shooting up the neighborhood. That is, that's definitely going to lower the property value. Hooper is dying. Uh, nope, Hooper is not dying. Hooper is actually getting better. We're just waiting on that hunger meter to go this way. Why are you looking... Why are you looking longingly <laughs> into my home while Yarpo, like, <laughs> watches you? I guess this could be slightly better. Hello, my son. Have you come to join the Children of the Stick? There is much you can learn here at our new establishment. Please, for an easy payment of $19.99 per week, uh, we could furnish this new dojo and teach you valuable life skills and lessons. Stixon had much to teach, but unfortunately, his life was too short-lived. And with your payments, we'll be able to furnish things like training dummies and pillows. And a kitchen and a, a research benchmark, too. So please, give us your money, and we will make this the best that this entire city of... What was it called? Yarpo? Do you remember the name of... Black Scratch is going to be so much better because we inhabit it. You can join us now, if you'd like. Don't be like that guy. Limping up the hill. Be like us. And lock the door at night. Well, the pillows have been made. Now I'm curious. Why have you done this? Why would all the pillows be backwards? 
Every single one. Oh, Devs couldn't get he couldn't put a green arrow on that one. I'm sorry, sorry to bit. Sorry, shh. I just made like six of them. Uh, let's try this first. Well, it should... Hang on. Yo, I don't know which way to try it first, okay? I don't even know. <laughs> One pillow. How many people does it take? <laughs> this is gonna be, like, the most comfortable pillow. I'm working a sweatshop now. We're just making, like, cheap $5.99 pillows for Walmart. This is how many people it takes to make each one of your dumb pillows. Look how long that took. All right, now please sit. I see that we have made a mistake again. So now whatever way the pillow is facing, we're just gonna flip it around. Advanced pillow making. Okay, that I mean that looks pretty good. How many people does it take to add the materials, I wonder? Just fast forward until it's done. What? <laughs> Why? Why would you do this? It doesn't matter which way it faces. What? How come? Explain this. Alright, how about this? You didn't think about... What if I turn it sideways? What then? They all face the direction where sticks and fell. <laughs> Rip sticks and. All right, now Hooper's dying. That's because the food storage uh, doesn't exist. So, Tawina, you come over here, please. Put the food in there. They're all so hungry. Uh-oh, that's not a good sign. Put two on the ground so that Hooper could feed. Keeping my whole squad fed is going to be quite the challenge, I think. Despite the turtle hunting that we just did. Surely, okay, listen, just leave it alone, sit on the pillow. I guess I'll just accept that they're always going to face this direction in particular. Okay, you know what? Fine. If that's just how it's gonna be, then that's just how it's gonna be. Now I'm kinda pissed because this pillow is not aligned with that pillow. And that is gonna bother me. So that's why there's no arrow on this one, because no arrow is even allowed. I mean, what honestly, what were you thinking trying to make them all face a podium in the front? Like, up against this wall. At least I figured that out now. What if it's on the other side of the house? I assume they'll still face that same direction, I don't know.
All right, I need Tawina to come back. <laughs> we need to continue making what little food we have left and figuring out how to procure more. Tawina, get in here. All right, you're almost done. There you go. Now you can go. Do whatever you want. Uh, remember when we were exploring all the time and we kept finding a whole slew of new rations every single time we want we went to a new area? Yeah, that ain't gonna happen anymore, so. P.S. If you have cloth, please come deposit it. Uh, we do need to remember to take some cloth with us before we leave. Preferably two fabrics would be beautiful. Probably going to put those in the wooden backpack. Okay, two claws should be enough. And I think everyone else is good to go. We got some pillows, we got some walls. We need to acquire metal plates, or iron plates, uh, a lot of them. So, let's gr get the squad together. Bracklin, Volugop, Tawina, who's holding weapons that we need to sell? Uh, Ruka can stay for now. Ruka can actually deposit some of this stuff until we get the better research bench. Okay, so Ayodani, come with us. You guys need to be on hold, passive, and not taunt. All right, we going to a local building. I don't know which one, though. We got the library, of course. Robotics workshop, the bar, camp, bed. No. <laughs> ranger shop. Oh, we need to go to the ranger shop. <laughs> yes, we do. We need some more bolts. For your boy, Volugop. Long live the Reavers, like right outside. Oh, they got them all. Three eighty-nine dollars apiece, by the way. One, two, three. These are only ten bolts apiece. There you go. Four whole bolts for you. Of the long variety, which is required for our super shot eagle. Okay, what uh, what is this building again? The fix-it shop? This might be the one. Alright, um, first of all, Iodani, you have some things to sell, I believe. Some garbage. Thank you. We'll take what little money we got from that. We only have 28,000 bucks left, so let's see how much iron plates are going to cost. 117 per. And... I'll take all of them. <laughs> oh, wait. Wrong guy. Um, Ayodhani, do you want to do a trade? Yes, isn't that so much easier? If you just choose the right person to do the trading? Where are you... I hate that this does that. Halloween is like on a tear because she just got metal plates and she's got a job. Don't leave. You didn't even buy all the ones I wanted yet. Okay, we're buying all those. Uh, then we're going to buy all building materials with Bracklin. I think that's it for now. These are 100 apiece too. And away they go. <laughs> And away they go. Then they build. You guys are on hold, I respect that. You actually know what hold means! How many people do we have in total again? Uh, too many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Plus four, eight, 11, 12, 13, 14. 21. Mouths to feed. I'm not gonna... There, someone's gotta go. <laughs> it's too many. I mean, I got food for now, but that ain't gonna last very long. We need to send out, like, some hunting parties to go kill beak things or something. 
Are there crop plots? Uh, well, I can... If I was not in a city, I could make my own farms, but this is their territory. So unfortunately, there's only so much that can be done. I love that the first thing we're doing is building our tier two research bench. But yeah, there's 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 research you can do. Uh, for example, check out all this stuff. Food that can be produced in desert environments. Cactus farming for dry environments, swamp environments. Ah, different stuff that goes in different places. Rice weed is in the swamps. Ah, that's really cool. Uh, we can craft dried meat from raw meat via the stove without having to use a fireplace anymore. Ah, that's amazing. Pretty basic food takes uh, green fruit and rice weed. So we could probably go buy that. Um, who wants to do the honors? The people with the, the good backpacks are the ones crafting right now. Tawina, what are you building? Building interior wall complete. Research bench two is done. Look at that. All right, how many do you have? You still have like 16 plates. All right, I'm gonna send Tawina, uh, who's not gonna be an engineer for just a minute. I wanna go find food. I think the farming station is gonna have options for us. Ranger, mechanical, farm shop, there we go. See if we can like get some raw ingredients and then cook them. What are you needing, Drifter? I got the finest bulls and the juiciest dried meats this side of the desert. Take a look. There's green fruit right there. It is 27 per. There's 50 of them. Whoops. Give me those back. <laughs> but just move them a little. What was the other one? Rice weed? Oh. Yeah, that's... How much was that? 14 per. 111% markup. Can you start building the stove? All the sounds of building, chat. This place is going up real quick. I guess we could pick somebody else to be an engineer if we wanted to. There's quite a few things to build, but only for now. If we let them do it, though, they'll get stronger. It might be these two. Yeah, it's those two. They were just sitting there because they told them to. Oh, they found the body. And they're incinerating it. As long as we don't piss the guards off, they won't burn us. Locksmith training box construction complete. What are you guys doing over here? You building the sink? Didn't I tell you to build the other thing? Maybe I clicked sink. <laughs> I see he upgraded houses. Oh, I did indeed. Hey, Valatora. Yeah, we've been we've been busy. T Jake, what's up? How's Ayoma doing? Ayoma's just kind of chilling. We're not researching anything yet because we literally just built tier two. So Ayoma's about to come in here to the new station. I would say it probably makes a lot of sense to get a little stool here. Maybe even more than one. Well, can't really fit more than one. One will do. I don't have any building materials. Why is Ebrulf dying again? Oh, feeding these animals is rough! Come on, Ebrulf! 
Let me see if you'll eat dried meat. Yep, you'll eat dried meat. Good for you. Luckily, I caught them before they died. Okay, so then um, they just kind of finish up in here. We can begin seeing what new research options are available for us. The stove is done. The sink is done. Everything's looking good. Basic, but good. The two weapon display stands are up. And I think this is the last little lockpick thing. So, we need some storage, right? Yes! Storage. Such as. Not food. What's the one for ingredients? Green fruit storage? There is just a green fruit storage. Okay. How about I put that, like, in the corner? Is that cool? Should something else go in that corner? What was the other one? I guess I'll just put food in food store. Um, I guess rice weed was the other one, yeah. Food under the stairs. <laughs> we'll put something else under there. Uh, we got the table going in. We could put food out in this corner. I don't know, it's a little far away. For their auto jobs. I want ingredient, ingredient, final product. You could put the final product at the foot of the stairs. That's not like in the way. You don't have any green fruit. Then what is that? Somebody was alt tabbed. All the books are in the other table? Yeah, we're gonna move them over. This place is going up. These take four iron plates per. Okay, well maybe we were a little overzealous. We'll build what we can build, you know? We'll get more iron plates later. We've still got 23,000 in cash. That is no small, small amount. So here's the plan. Tawina. Can you use the inventory storage? Maybe. Q. Um... Cooked veggies, right? That's just green fruit and water. And then rice bowl is just rice weed and water. Repeat. So, I don't... Maybe she... Until we get storage... Oh, we don't have... We, we, we bought building materials, but who bought them? Bracklin's got one. Is that enough for this? I believe so. The team is, like, seriously, the engineers are, are probably getting crazy. Uh, we're almost to level 10 on everybody. Pretty big jump. 14 on engineering for Hamid. Bracklin's almost a 10, too. So, Tawina, do me a favor. I think you know what I'm going to ask you. There we go. Who do we want to cook? Is cooking like a separate skill? Or... Yeah, it is. <laughs> I have no idea. Is anyone a natural-born cook? This is the first time we've ever had that opportunity. I'm going to say someone from the scratching post. The farmers aren't going to be good cooks forever. I'd say maybe Ukwambo. Quambo could be. What's your uh, medic skill? Four. You know what? Forget medic. Cooking is your true passion. <laughs> Operating machine cook stove. So we don't have a possible storage for rice wheat, right? Not yet, I mean. 
because it would be storage rice weed right here like the green fruit, fruit one, I think. Handy storage point for building mats. Oof, it's a bit big. Well, there's three training dummies. Boom. They will get gar- Did you guys forget one iron plate? Yes. You forgot one iron plate. So Udquambo's like, that's fine. I'm gonna go over here and cook. Except I'm out of resources because... It takes eight green fruit per bowl. <laughs> Uh, okay. Yeah, that's fair. Is there an outhouse back here? There is. Look at that. Two. It's room for two. You can do... You can double up. I think Udquambo would like some privacy in this time. Anyway, we don't have a, we can't buy enough in bulk for this to matter anyways. Um, we need water, which we have none. Are we allowed to take from the water tower of the tech hunters? It's currently empty. So I'm assuming not. Max capacity 100. Yeah, I can't make a well out here. So is there a way to buy water? Probably from the farmer. Hmm, what kind of citizen would I be if I broke into the farmer's shop late at night? Just wondering. Yeah, this is the travel shop, but whatever. Get some practice lockpicking. Will Volugot finally train thievery? Uh, who knows? Who's to say, really? I'll think about it. I just want to see what they do. I want to see what they're what they're hiding for us. <laughs> We're like bad neighbors now. Ooh, we got two thieves' backpacks, a handful of skeleton repair kits. Uh, four research artifacts. Bare minimum, this is some good pick training. We're almost at 50. Now, if I wanted to make a great escape... Oh, there's people up here. Oh, I see. <laughs> the tech hunter guards are literally upstairs. So you would have to be ready to run if you got caught. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why is a medic skill triggering right now? Somebody in danger. Three more thieves backpacks. A uh, chain hive shirt, standard grade, worth about 11,000, bought fresh, medium armor. We got ninja rag blueprint with about 74 hundo. Uh, nothing worth risking your entire life over. Only a 30% chance to steal each one. Oh, there's also someone in here. Whoops. Luckily, picking locks makes no noise except to the player. He's gonna find every single, uh, chest open, but nothing was taken. 30% <laughs> steel chance is so bad. I just wanted to see what you got, that's all. I believe there is one more potential point of interest. Dust coats, ration packs, nothing I feel like dying over. 30% means 30% chance to die and become a criminal that is thrown in the incinerator. Nothing worth dying over. You have to do that check for 30% on every single item you want to steal. Where are you going? You're going to eat, aren't you? Yep. Saw that coming. Anyway, where is the farmer? Farmer is... Right here. Alright, Volugop, come on back. 
you know, there's only a little bit till uh, till dawn. You don't have long. You've also been spotted by a very curious guard. Who has lost sight of you. <laughs> this is some good practice, though. Vol, you got doesn't get that kind of practice very often. I hope that the animals don't rat me out, you know? Door? Does someone live here, by the way? Because it doesn't look like anybody's here. I don't see any guards in... Oh, yes, there is someone here. Hi. It me, the shop guard. <laughs> you could just... Uh, you can't pick that guy up, strangely. Two cactus in that chest. Wowee. Uh, I was thinking maybe the farmer would have water. Mostly just curious, because I don't feel like being patient until they wake up. Well, we'll get some lockpick train. This is not really good lockpick training, to be fair. Well, uh, excuse me. Ball you got. Thank you. Do they have anything harder than 90%? I guess the farmer just doesn't really care much for their stuff. You're going to discover a terrible secret eventually. Uh, probably. I think the secret is grapefruit, green fruit, or more valuable than I thought at first. P.S. with 300 bits. C.J.L.A. Forte, thank you for 300 bits, who says, Just turn around. And finger baskets... Oh, I got you earlier, finger baskets, but I don't know if you were here. So, either way, thanks again. C.J., thanks for sub. Or thanks for bits. <laughs> Thanks, this thanks, you know, for existing. I appreciate it. We're just testing everyone's locks to make sure they work. I'm like the guy on YouTube that um, breaks all the master locks and is just like, this is why you don't use these. Look how easy it is to get through these locks. You guys need to make better locks. I'm just trying to do a public service and let them know there's some holes in their security. That's all. Okay, um, here's the deal. If you suck, and I know a lot of you do, it is now training time. Rap, what weapon would you like to train with that is not this terrible katana? Let's go find out. We finally have our first young Padawans. Yeah, we got some choices. I got some spare weapons in here just to train with some interesting things. We could we could try a club. We don't have anybody who trains. We have one person who's training in blunt weapons. We have another pole arm. We have a lot of katanas and sabers. And I think that's basically it. There's separate target dummies you can use for ranged, but not these ones. Uh we have so many katana users. Then I'm going to say, let's go for the heavy. Because if you train with something that's so heavy, right? In theory, you're going to get stronger while your skills go up. So let's have Frap train with that. 20 kilogram club. <laughs> at one strength. Rabby is training with sticks. I don't know, maybe it doesn't train strength. I'm not sure. You would think it would, but maybe not. It does train melee attack, like it says. Maybe that's the only thing it trains. It doesn't matter what you train with. Does it train uh, the weapon you're using? No. It just trains basic melee attack. Okay, good to know. I learned. Udquambo? <laughs> How you doing out there, bud? You good? Okay. Uh, I think it's time you come back in now if you're feeling okay. 
Tummy ache? I know. It's a problem. I suck. Are you good? Lol, don't look at me. Are you okay? Because if you're not okay, uh... There's literally nothing we can do for you. So, Molotov Bartender says, Hey, Tal, just 151 days left until Christmas Lego Racer stream. What is your opinion on Christmas Advent calendars? Specifically, Lego Christmas Advent calendars. Uh, I can't say I've ever formed an opinion on Advent calendars in particular. But I don't think that they're bad, so I don't think that they're good either. I'm pretty neutral on the whole thing. Was Ayoma waiting her turn? Yes. Ayoma, well, you know what, Ayoma? Go research. We're going to have somebody haul <laughs> the books for you. We need to put this rice wheat somewhere. I'm just going to put it in our general storage box for now. And then we need to double check that our animals are not dying. There we go. Okay, rice weed is here for whenever. You know, just whenever. We don't know how to acquire water yet. Uh, we're dwindling on food very quickly. <laughs> uh, we need to dump... Luckily, while everyone's standing around, it's no big deal. Like, if they're all standing around, they use less food. So, like, a Yoma standing hunger rate 80%, because idle. There's your research supplies. Now, show me what I can research. Bed seems like a good one. That takes two books. Let's pause. Sleeping bags, useful things for a traveler, basic first aid, we got enough of that. Hemp-based fabric. Much more efficient, maybe illegal. Mounted crossbows that could defend walls to keep bandits off gates. Corpse disposal. <laughs> uh, fuel generator and biofuel. Special types of cooking for different environments. Better food can be made if more ingredients are available. They're kind of not. Uh, iron plates, too. Not really ready for these. Storage boxes, crafting. Organize your materials. Storage for plates, fabric, skins, and meat. We don't really have that much space. Upgrade our wells to reach deeper. Hats and headgear, leather, melt weapons into raw iron. That's pretty cool. And then, lots of training. Better training dummies. Would let rookies train their attack skills up to about level 10. But they're probably more expensive too. And they take four books. I think we're good with what we got on that. Assassin training and stuff. This would be cool. Train like a ninja and learn to knock people out from behind. I don't want to know what things cost. I'll just find out. Um... Right now, I think beds probably make the most sense. And followed by the ability to learn some more recipes. Chew sticks and dust witch. We're pretty close to the desert. But I can't really use any of these other things at the moment. Except maybe training. Thief training boxes. Would be nice. Uh, to be able to assassinate people, too. Two books. Can I afford... No, I've only got three books. Use it sparingly. Let's just use it on cooking. Okay. So we need to find more books. Ayoma? You are the scientist, after all. So we're going to have you use that as a job. Those guys can keep training. We're going to take everybody else, and we kind of need to go. Because we need to procure supplies, food, and all that. Miu, welcome to your new home. Uh, I don't know what to do with you, really. You're a laborer and a farmer. Laboring is mining and simple machinery. That'll be useful, but not yet. Miu is now going to be transferred over. 
as maybe Limcar might be. Limcar does have some basic skills. You just need some training. Uh, okay. So a few people... First of all, Children of the Stick, come on out. We're gonna have to take some of you back in. Make sure you're all on hold, all on passive. No one's on taunt, no one's blocking. Make sure Hooper's fed. There you go, Hooper. We'll leave a little bit of food for you guys, but like... <laughs> The majority of us need it more. You can always buy more food here, even though it's really expensive. Um, I'll leave them, like... <laughs> I can't really afford to leave them anything. I think I'm just gonna have to buy food, and it really sucks. Because I really need 18 of those meats, so we can go find some more rations. I don't know how to keep these people fed. We just need to find food. Do Children of the Stick have any very special or rare weapons? Um, nothing unique as far as I know. I have a cool ninja blade, I guess. Uh, we also have a cool KLR series arm. You know what? Leave that here, Ruka. It's a good idea. Put that in the chest. We might be able to sell some of these things if we need more cash money. And put the research artifacts up in here. There you go. Okay, safe and sound at home. Uh, do we have anything else cool? I guess we're looking for yellow quality and above, right? I got model number edge type 1 jeté, which is not named. But it is high quality. I don't think so. No, I don't think... I have some, um... Nothing that's, like, super unique. Savant's Nadachi was found in this playthrough. Did I take that, or did it get burned? I mean, I found a lot of Savant stuff. <laughs> yeah, I got burned. <laughs> How did I get an Edgewalker blade? Um... I think I got it from... Black Desert? Somewhere in here, right? Black Desert. Went through a while ago. Palaquin, what's up? How's it going? Welcome, everybody. Good evening. I'm really hungry. I don't have any snacks. I need to go back to the grocery store. This is very random, I know, but I'm out of streamer food. I have, have you noticed I haven't eaten a Pop-Tart in a long time? Or, like, crackers? Or anything, really? I got nothing. I'm out. Zero. So, here's the plan. Number one. Udquambo is going to lock the door. Yarpo can lock this door. Actually, just shut it. I don't think we need to lock it because these guys need to go to the food bin to eat. So we'll just close it. We'll come check on it later. They need, they need to have access to... Well, they don't have any food. <laughs> Uh, Udquambo, you want to go get some food for us, buddy? Uh, it is morning. If I was going to get food, I'd probably get it from the bar. So let's send the Children of the Stick on their next mission. And you guys know where I'm going, right? All the way up there. We're going to go on a little adventure. Okay, team, heading out. Um, some of you are going the wrong way, so I'm just gonna let you all meet outside, that's fine. Now, Udquambo. Head on over to the bar and say hi. Sorry to leave you here, bud. Eat dried meat. What, like get some beef jerky for the kinchi streams? Beef jerky is pretty solid. But also, I ain't got that kind of money. What do you think I'm made of? Think I can just buy beef jerky for every single stream? Probably worth it just to buy food cubes, because that's the equivalent of buying... One food cube is like buying five jerkies. But if that's the case, then just... The dried meat seems like the best deal, because... That's like 400 cats. 
versus 975. Meat wraps are even worse. Bread is even worse. So I think just buy all jerky. And buy at least one food cube. Two food cubes. I'm going to end up forgetting about these guys. <laughs> my problem is I can't auto-feed my animals, so I don't really know what to do with that. Alright, are you guys ready to go? Let's get on with it. Okay, I thought these were bad guys, and I was going to say that was the fastest I've ever reached hostile enemies out of a city in the entire game. There you go. Already ate that much of one food cube by yourself? Who ate all that? Ooh, ooh, ooh. We do have hostiles here. Looks like a couple Reavers. Where's the rest of the gang, though? They look lost. Maybe we should help. This is going to be still a tough fight. 34-38 attack defense is never easy. But we are getting stronger. Ruka's attack is plus 6. This minus 2 is from equipment. Probably the sword. Kang is getting stronger too. We're going to put uh, Kang... Let's just get down here. I only see three. Animals eat food out of backpacks? Oh, but they won't eat out of the food container? Okay, well then I'll just put... Um, then I'll just put... The two food cubes in his backpack then. Okay, I'll, I'll organize these people in a minute, yeah? Hi guys, what's up? Can't help but notice that uh, one of you seems like you've seen better days. Maybe even both of you. So let's get the babies. I need to get Limcar a better weapon. Why didn't I heal before I left, PS? <laughs> that would have been pretty smart. I like how even the slave is on his way to fight me. All you got, back it up. Rain the giant, get in there. Kang, get in there. We don't want anyone to die. And yes, we're wearing backpacks, but it should be fine. Are we really about to beat up this slave guy? Apparently, as they limp away. <laughs> well, he doesn't even have any ammo. You know what? You fought for the wrong team. You... That's not my problem. You could have fought for me. Where, Where is this noise coming from? And why do you have a sleeveless dust coat right now? Uh, that limb car is absolutely going to take. Who's picking a lock? It's, it must be the slave. Worn out shorts. These both suck. Hachigane. Sure. Here's a nice acid protection hat for you, buddy. I'm going to take both your weapons. This is a hacker class? You're going to be awful with that. Whatever. Hey, research on bet. Where are you going? <laughs> are you really going all the way back to town to eat food? Leave him for dead. Sorry, guys. It had to be that way. Well, I am probably going to regret not getting everyone back to full health before before leaving. But also, why are all these grass pirates dead? No one knows. No one knows. Oh. Ooh. 
Yeah, don't mind if I do upgrade the uh, shoddy for the standard. Which is literally twice as good at blunt resistance and almost twice as good in cut resistance. Why am I not nabbing all this fine loot? Because I don't feel like carrying stuff that's worth 50 cats. <laughs> it is not exactly fine. We've got the best we could. That's like the equivalent of you're walking down the street, okay, and you see 50 pennies, okay? They're scattered, they're spread out. They're, it, you can't just pick them all up as a group of 50. You have to pick each one up individually. Do you stop and pick up all 50 pennies? Except the pennies are, like, huge. Uh, each penny takes up, like, one pocket. And there's, there's 12 of you, so you're gonna have to use at least, like, five of you together to get each huge penny. That's the equivalent of what that stuff on the ground is. Scrap value? These pennies have no copper in them. You can make some cool crafts with these huge pennies. Okay, but then pretend that every penny in the world is that big. So it's not novel. I need all the pennies I can get. Very sad. This sounds like a poorly designed world. Do you like poorly designed worlds, Miss Turner? Because you're in one. Where am I? A farming village? Have we been to this farming village before? Purify our sands! Moon Guardian of the Preachers. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna be illegal for killing this guy. But that's what I have to do, because here he comes. So, Chad, if you would be so kind. Corduroy. Donnie. My robots can just keep going back for more. That should... Oh. No, we've angered everyone. Yeah, we've ang... <laughs> okay, we've angered literally all of them. Uh, my goal was not to fight all the hivers in this village. You know what, it's been a... I didn't take a picture of the scratching post. And it's non... it's not quite complete form. Why is he doing this now, you might be asking. Well... Anxiety, I guess? It just feels like this is easier to do right now. What's it like a better picture? The wall or like this partially complete one? That's pretty good. Gets the point across that we got like a little training area, a little dojo. Ayoma is doing some sick sciences. Nice, like, framing on this pick. Or it was a second ago. There we go. We're doing the level 2 science. And then we got uh, the building as a whole, which is still yet to be built, obviously, but... Okay, animals. You guys good? Hooper is getting better. Ebrulf, you getting better? <laughs> now, children of the stick! Uh, what do we do here? Because Hive usually is pretty fast. And we're probably not the fastest we could be. I think in a vacuum, we could handle the people that are outside right now. It's the people who are inside who I am not convinced. Because they have not yet been alerted. So, 
perhaps our best bet is run for now. Okay, because there's like even more. There's scavengers this way. There's scavengers this way. And, um, hmm. Hmm. Wow, that's a lot of people there. <laughs> that's quite a few. Ah, uh, five, ten, you know, thirteen, fourteen, more than we've got for sure. Guarding this village, which I didn't know, of course. That this, I guess it is called the Preacher Cult, so. Best or worst case scenario is try and run through the Preacher, or the, uh, the Scavengers, and make them all fight. But, it's very possible that they might just aggro to me, and then catch me, and then what do you do? So I think best case scenario is turn Tawina on taunt, peel, and then run. You only got one person in all that? Really? That is impressive. Alright, you're not actually that slow. You run 26 miles an hour, so stop pretending. Woo, that guy's fast. The taunt only goes so far, and we need to keep going, so... <laughs> we're heading this way. I mean, you're going the right way so far. Just keep going all the way up the hill, that's fine. You guys are probably well-versed with this tactic by now. They seem to lose interest in us real quick. I wonder if any of these guys are taunting. Because look how many more people we just got. Come on. Come on. That dude is having none of it. Oh, they all stopped. <laughs> That's the top of the hill, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, uh, down the other... How about down the other side? I like down the other side. Alright, get in front of this chump. They are not phased at all. We're getting, like, stuck on terrain. Keep running, everybody. Eventually, we will either escape or we can fight those who are left. Let's see. How many are left? One, two, three, four. Where are the rest? This might just be something we can fight. These might be the ones who didn't turn around. Let's do this. We about to turn on these dudes and hope that the rest of their gang does not show up over the mountainside. One of them is right there in the thick of things. Okay. Step one. Chad, you're in. Ruka, stomach is a little hurt. Rain's head is a little hurt. Okay, we're gonna get Kang in there. Then we're gonna get Ridley and Corduroy. Double team you. Volugop is gonna be off passive, but on hold, and then go up here by the rock. Hamet and Donnie here in the back. Now, everybody needs to be off passive, off hold. Except for Volugop, who should be holding. Oh, look at that snipe! Right in the leg. Okay, now we surround them and conquer those who were so unwise. Has to chase us all the way out here. Uh, Rain, did you just get... Did anyone get sniped? No, we got a hundred damage. Stomach shot. I think Volugop can now be turned back to passive. We got the situation under control. As we crack down on the last two unfortunate hive cultists. 
yes, we're wearing backpacks for even more. Just a scratch, no big deal. Who's this? Kind of hard to see. Looks like scavengers versus farmers. <laughs> Dumb farmers. Sometimes I'm glad people can't just look at me and view my top speed. I mean, that's fair. Woo! Moon cleavers, baby. Moon cleavers! No room for that item, you're telling me. Alright, put that in one of the medium backpacks, I guess. Those are big. Also, we got sandals. Ooh. So, Chad. Uh, goodbye. Boots. Hello. Sandals for more athletics effect and better combat speed. It's pretty good for a martial artist anyway, right? Well, I guess we just we just take sandals <laughs> stolen from farmers. Uh, it gets the job done. It's got nice bonuses. Where are the other bodies? I can't really see anything. There's one, two, here's one. Got caught stealing. Okay, do something about it then. Uh, Karuda Zukin! Is that a Street Fighter ability? Dust Storm Protection, Acid Protection. Four kilogram chain medium. Eh, it's not bad. We can give that to somebody. There, weren't there like five people though? Is there more blood on the ground anywhere? Or did they all die bloodless deaths? One, two, three. No one really knows. <laughs> I seem to have lost the other three people. Okay, anyways. Anyone need a helmet? Chad does not. This Hachigani probably sucks, so take that off. Trade with your boy. It has... how much coverage? 80% head coverage is better than the Hachigani, that's 45%. 5% blunt, 15 cut, so less, less... more coverage, less resistance, but the coverage is what matters right now. Plus, you look a little bit more mysterious now, Limcar, than you did before, especially with that beard. All right, we're free to go. Alt shows you stuff on the ground, but not corpses. FYI. Fight the whole cult one group at a time. Actually, not the worst idea. If I was at full strength on everybody, maybe. But I have a couple people who are... Already wounded. The point is we know that's like a cult village now. It's a, it just said farm before. Now we know it's a cult village and it's close. So we actually could make a concerted effort to go just eradicate it from the face of the earth. That's possible. That's a goal you could just do in Kenshi if you wanted to. Just do it. Discovered another village. You know what? I gotta know. I just gotta know. Ridley? You having fun up there? So this is like east and north. Good. Nice little shot. Nice little scenic shot. How's research going? Uh, probably done for now. Because I don't- I think we're out of books. We have ancient books, but we don't have book books. And we could buy more, but I'd rather not if I can help it. So last things we did were beds. And what was the other thing, chat? Cooking. A different type of cooking. So we can now make dust witches out of one bread, eight cactus, and rice... Well, we can make rice bowls before cooked veggies. Chew sticks is water and cactus. Those are the two desert dishes that we just learned. But... I can make beds now. One building material, four fabric. It's very doable. Uh, someone was suggesting do these on the roof, and I kind of like that idea. But I don't know how to cover them. How do you do that? Like, what um, material would I use? You could just build a- just build a tent up here, forehead. 
Out of scrap. Mercenary tent's a little too big. This is a little too big. Almost worked, though. I saw some green a second ago. Blue is not the color we're looking for. Maybe it's the stairs that are in the way? It likes diagonal. Yeah, like, why does it like this? Doesn't even make any sense. Oop. Yeah. Okay. Technically, I guess, as long as it touches part of the house on all sides, then that's fine. It's just not very much coverage there, is it? <laughs> Looks whack, and that's cool. Yeah, but the whole point is for it to cover beds. It doesn't look like they're getting any shade whatsoever from the sun that way. Plus, this thing is like super patchwork. This is animal skin. Nonetheless, um, I will persist, I guess, for now. Like, here we go. <laughs> sometimes you do. Sometimes you don't. Alright, if anybody has fabric, you can, like, go up there. Um, who does... Engineering. I know what Quambo does. You can like, go up there if you want to, right? He just don't want to. Is it just fabric? No, it's animal skin. My bad. Who had animal skin? Guess what? Did you guess Tawina or Bracklin? Because <laughs> it's Bracklin who's very far away right now. Okay, well, never mind. Scratch that plan that we just had. Let's uh, get in and close these doors for now. There we go. Okay, doors closed. Back to the main event. Cactus, rice, and bread. The breakfast of champions. What are you talking about? Just combine them all, and what do you get? Someone's just here. Hi, Rocka Woggle. What's up? Thanks for your six months of sub, by the way. Good evening, and welcome to Kenji Stream 2, back to back. Where we are now moving northeast. We're going to do both objectives today by the looks of things. Number one was rescue Miu from the swamp. We did. We got all of her stuff and we brought it back and she is now safe and sound. And we've discovered this to be a closed village. Inhabited by dead cats. Who is a faction I do not recognize. Be wary of getting too close. Because there could be, yes, and there are lots of harpoons. <laughs> this is a cool base design, actually. Look at this. I would be proud of this. You've got, like, a gate being overlooked by multiple harpoon emplacements. So if anyone tries to come break down your gate, you just shoot them. In this little, uh, you could, you could like, dump boiling oil on them if you wanted to. That's a really neat idea. And I guess you can shoot arrows down there, too. So you could have archers up there. And then you've got the water to your back. With another gate leading out to the water for, like, an emergency escape around this little side. That's just... This is just a lovely base design. I would be happy to, if this were mine. They got shacks, a bar. Doesn't look like it's open, though. 
So it's probably better if we just don't go over here. Which usually is a sign that we should let Volugop go over here. And, like, pick a lock for fun. I mean, they kind of see him. <laughs> they kind of see him, but do they? He can't steal anything. That's his biggest weakness. He gets caught almost every time. Did they open it? <laughs> No. Okay, so there's probably somebody in here. Anybody else in the field? Like in the middle here? This one dude? 50% chance that this guy sucks. Green finger of the drifters. Are the drifters... Oh, I'm not going to ask. I'll just look. Do we, have a, do we have a relationship with them? No. He's just a drift... He's green finger of the drifters. If I stop stealthing... You can talk to this guy. You know, it's been a long time since I saved. Let's go talk to him then. You have any idea how hard it is to run a farm when there's a bloody horde of cannibals licking their lips and waiting to devour you from just over the hill? Guess how many farmers have died in the last week thanks to those barbaric animals? Just take a guess. Um... Three? Well, no one damn well knows. They gave up keeping count. We found about seven chewed up remains in the hills this week alone. Whether those body parts were from the same person or whether they were from seven different bodies, I'll be damned. A farmer can't work in a place like this. It's suicide. I need to leave, but I can't set up a base alone. I need fellow settlers to start over with. <laughs> uh, there's Greenfinger. You're welcome to join us. We could use the skills of a farmer. That's great news. I hear there are greener pastures down south in the Holy Lands. We should find fertile soil there. I'll need an advance of 2,000 cats first, but I'll be more than worth that cost and skill, Traveler. You can take my word for it. I've been tending crops since I was 11 years old. Some folks even nicknamed me Greenfinger. 2,000 cats, huh? You're hired. Welcome aboard! Greenfinger! The Scorch Lander, Greenfinger. Training, by the way. Weird that he's not unique. Yeah, it is kind of weird that he's not unique, actually. Well, Greenfinger, we have someone who looks almost exactly like this beard and hair structure you've got going on here. Um, so that's the first thing we're going to do is change that. Because we can't have Greenfinger get mistaken for somebody else. So... Greenfinger's out here all by his lonesome. I'm gonna give him kind of the hobo. Pretty good hobo. Uh, beard for a hobo? I mean, that's just the hobo right there. Easy. Hair color? Greenfinger. I mean, I, I want to remember who is Greenfinger at a glance. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> this is how I'll know. This is Greenfinger. I need to know at a glance. You can join our team for $2,000 and a lack of a haircut. Alright, body. Tiny feet. Very light-footed. All in the calves. <laughs> okay, but like... Or all in the thighs. Could go either way. You're a farmer. So you got to be pretty stout. But also, like, very, very narrow. 
Okay. Chest. Sure. Why are you why you got like an hourglass figure? I don't understand. <laughs> leg length? We already had somebody who was pretty tall. I didn't really mess with their leg length. We're gonna go down, but we're gonna go height up. Decrease the frame a little bit. Change the shoulder set. Move the neck a little further down, but not by much. How is his stat minus 20% to farming? That's a great question. I guess because he's a Scorchlander. And that's just part of their deal. Alright, face-wise... We're gonna go tiny. Like a blossoming flower. I can't really see past your beard. So this is gonna have to do... Nose width also look kind of tiny. Nose protruding a little bit. Also hourglass nose. Nose tilt. We're going to tilt that way down. Angry. Kind of like an angry farmer who's tired of living alone. Eyes forward some, somewhat. Some would say a little too much. Certain rage in those eyes now. <laughs> and very, very tall Gandalf face. Okay. That's our guy. Greenfinger. The angry farmer. I, I feel like I gotta leave this Greenfinger. Guy's got a very specific name. So... Hand off the green. There he is! His hair gets a lot shorter with this hat on. Okay, is uh, does that mean I can go through the rest of this with no problem? Who am I stealing at this point from? Fish. Oh, you, I guess. Gills the dead cat is here. Best fish in the village. I thought he was calling me a fish for just a second there. 300, what a ripoff. Okay. Uh, this house is for sale. <laughs> you can actually, like, live here and buy this. Okay. So is this one. So is this one. So is this one. And that one. And that one. Not that one. Not that one. And that one. So, like, the whole town is for sale. This is just, like, a ready-to-move-in village. <laughs> hey there, traveler. Don't have enough time in your day to build your own city? Well, let me tell you, this one's got it all. We got a front gate, a back gate, a secret escape. We've got a kill box lined with harpoons so you can easily defend yourself. Uh, no guards have been provided here, by the way, but plenty of room to expand. Come in, have a browse. By the way, Greenfinger... You look a little scary. Does that... Okay, if I just zoom in, does that not look like a creeper to you? You might be thinking, Atox, what are you talking about? Hold on. Enhance. Do you see it now? Is that big enough? That's a creeper face, right? Now, I'm a little worried. He comes to us, wow, 40 laboring. 25 engineer, look at this dude. 18 strength, nothing else to speak of. <laughs> I wonder if I should send a detachment back to uh, keep him safe. 
no stealth whatsoever. Max speed of 20, though. He can stay alive. Who else is in here? I'm looking to band up and get out of town. You interested? Um, nothing. I don't have a job or any money. Yesterday I was so hungry I ate a moldy rice ball off the floor. But bloody when you're that hungry, even a moldy rice ball tastes good. Uh, okay. So how much are you charging? 3,000 cats. Look, I can't take more people right now. 7,500 cats and you've got yourself a killing machine! How can I say no to these offers? There's another guy. Swift. I'm on a roll, hardly killing any of my patients this year. Looking for a medic. Sounds good. How much you charging? Only 6,000 cats and I'm yours. Take it or leave it, but I get grumpy when I'm hungry. You hire in a drifter. Why are you so secretive? Because if my brother finds out I'm leaving, he'll throw me to the cannibals. We took over father's fishing business when he died last year, but there aren't enough fish to make a living these days. The business is dead, along with my sense of smell. So what skills you got? Always been good with my hands. Was practically piecing together blueprints before I learned to walk. 3,500 cats to tie up some loose ends, and I'm ready to go. Horse. I'm a treasure hunter. I got a real juicy tip on a valuable looting spot. Thing is, my squad got killed off by blasted cannibals, so here I am recuperating this dusty old snore fest of a village. This place is like... There's so many people here. Now, you look like the adventuring type. Correct me if I'm wrong. So how about you pay off my bill at the Flophouse? We join up and finish what we started. We'll be rich, Outlander. You and me. How about you just tell me what you know? No can do, Outlander. You can't let you beat me to my own loot now, can I? How much is the bill? I need 4,500 cats. Hmm. I can't. I can't. I'll come back here. I don't know if they'll still be here when I... Look, there's another person! Wait, is... Yes, there's another patch! Never been one for sweaty labor, and I cook. That's what I do. They got one of everybody here. And they sell fish and a wanted poster. Everybody wants tin fist. Get in line. I would love to recruit these characters, but they're going to have to just wait. I'm going to have to make a mental note that there's tons of people that come here. I don't know if they even stay, but we'll find out later. All right, Greenfinger, come with me. You're the only one. Greenfinger was free, right? Or was it like 2,000 cats? I took... You, you, you ever just like... Realize that if you had just been patient and waited, you might have gotten a better offer? <laughs> Uh, I went to Shark Tank and just took the first offer that they made. Well, time to start training that athletic skill, I guess. I only have 18,000 cats left, so we gotta find some stuff. That dude who was 7,500 would've taken me for all I was worth. 22 members in the party, by the way. Listen. Not this party. Oh, we got multiple parties where we're going. Hi, it's Beak Things. Hey, you know what I need? Meat! And you know what? Beak Things have, like, 10 meat, which is better than nothing. So that's what we're gonna do. Uh, I think we can actually fight Beak Things with gear on now, which is kind of cool. So we're gonna have... Volugop soften him up for us, maybe. He always has to reload, though, and that's what sucks. And then we're gonna box him in. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna send... Uh, Kang... Rain... Ruka... Tawina... Ridley... Donnie... Corduroy... Hamet. Trying to make, like, little boxes for these guys. So here we go. Ridley over here. Rain up here. And then Gorka, come on in. They still haven't seen me yet. Maybe there's more and I'm going to get surprised. I don't know. Am I going to get flanked from the side? All right, Volugop, do your thing. Oh, 
now they see me. Nice shot, 131 in the stomach. Good angle, good aim. All right, Corduroy. Hey, I forgot to turn everyone back to passive, but I guess that works. So we're gonna have Kang Taunt. And we're gonna have Rain the Giant Taunt. Hamet's gonna run around this side. Ruka's gonna run around this side. Quarka in the back. Donnie off to the right. Ridley off to the left. All you got is gonna keep sniping. Nice, 139. Looking good. Everyone else is just gonna go in. Chad <laughs> just got beaked in the head. Uh, you better move. Green finger, probably less than ideal, given your situation. Nice block. Are you guys like all blocking? You're taking your sweet time. Right in the stomach. All right, team, come on. Get in there. Or get out of there, depending on the situation. <laughs> All that work for one beak thing. Okay, now, uh, Taween is gonna be the one that kills them. They're on the ground, but they're not dead. So give me that. I guess we can use animal skins eventually, so we're gonna start picking those up, if possible. You can only hold nine at a time, though, so be wary. Did everyone get healed? Oh, we could take foul meat for animals. That's true. Maybe we should take foul meat. Hopefully they don't eat it automatically, though, right? Uh, the people, I mean. I assume they won't. Look at all that blood. I know, right? Who took the worst of that? Ruka got hit in the stomach. Kang got hit in the head, but is all right. Chad got hit in the head real hard. Chad doesn't have a helmet, though, so that's probably why. So our strongest fighters are still doing fine. No big deal. Let's keep going. We got extra food, and that's what counts right now. They're so freaky when they run at you like that. They really are. Well, I'm really happy that we finally have a squad that can handle beak things. I imagine they eat highest to lowest quality. One would certainly hope. Now, why are we going out here? There's some ruins on the map, and we're gonna go scope them out. Maybe we'll find some more stuff along the way, but we're going all the way up there. May not be worth it. <laughs> we may find something else of note. Who knows? Oh. Maybe there's gonna be something very dangerous here. Maybe got to be forbidden for a reason, right? Who's up ahead? Who goes there? Oh, boy! Woo! It is forbidden for a reason. Uh, they did not waste any time in showing off the Iron Spider Army. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay, uh, interesting. Now, the only good news about Iron Spiders is they are very slow. So as long as we veer left and just avoid them, we can always outrun them. I ain't fighting that anytime soon. Those Iron Spiders would mess me up. I think, um... Two or three of... Like, I, th I think we could take two of them. Reasonably. That's it. Just two. Run. Oh, no. We're going even deeper. Here's what we can do. This is real. Um, since I know what we're up against here, this is going to be us against the clock. We're going to send in Volugop. We're going to send in... Someone else. What is this minus seven? Minus 16 from injuries. Okay. Okay. Ridley should be good. 83 plus 15. 
dust coat and ninja pants. Nice. Okay, so Ridley's going in. My two lock pickers. Small backpack may not be good enough. Um, I'll probably just trade the splint to somebody else. Okay, that way we have more room. Don't need toothpicks. Who cares? Meds can go in your regular inventory. They're not that heavy anyways. Alright, so Ridley, you're coming with me. Anyone else that is worth taking? I feel like just Ridley and Volugop is enough. Ridley's not as fast as Volugop. That's the only thing that's a little scary. But I would like a third possible pack mule. Besides just these two. I was going to take Ruka. Hmm. Anyone else that has, like, high effective stealth if I gave them a different pack? Gorka's stealth is 65. Minus 5 miles per hour from what? Stealth mode? The boots? The boots? I can just give those to somebody else. Rain the Giant is, in fact, the giant and probably could use the extra armor anyways. Alright, so, Gorka, how'd that affect you? You can go 18 miles an hour. Your stealth is 72 plus 7 now. You're just slow because you're in stealth mode. Has Gorka earned, like, pack mule responsibilities? Is she fast enough? Her stealth is really high. That's the main reason. We have an 83, we have an 89, and we have a 72. That's pretty good. Those are those are three really strong sneaky contenders. So, okay, here's the deal. Wait, are they got are they in acid rain right now? I don't know, it just says getting my skin burn off here. Who said that? <clears throat> Greenfinger said that. <laughs> okay. Here's what I'm going to do over here. We're going to send the rest of the squad out. They're going home. Because this is the Forbidden Island, apparently. So we're not going to be able to rely on your boy Volugop to snipe everybody. So keep that in mind. Who's the slowest runner right now? That's not 20 miles an hour. Gorka is 18. But that's because she's in stealth. Seven Bracklin has 17. Must be the weight. Yeah, must be. We could probably just trade some of these skins. There we go. Trade some of the skins over. There we go. 60. Yeah, much better. Now they should have, like, equalized a little bit. So you guys should probably be in your own squad, but... It's gonna be easier for me to know if you're under attack like this. Storm Gap Coast. Did it even tell me the name before? Welcome to Fantasy, uh, Forbidden Island. <laughs> Not quite the fantasy. I'm sure they're just playing it up for effect. Forbidden means permissible for the ninjas. All right, daytime. Nothing like some good daytime stealth. Let's keep these guys nice and tight, grouped up. Uh, well, we're gonna have to like really micromanage. What I'd pro would probably be easier to do is just send the stealthers. By themselves. There's beak things here. That's what I'm kind of concerned about. So I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to bounce these back and forth. Because it doesn't tell me they're under attack until it's like too late when the screen flashes. But yeah, I guess we'll just sneak up the coast. And unless we find something more interesting like at the top of one of these mountains. I don't see anything yet though. I feel like I'm going to accidentally sneak right up into where I'm not supposed to be.
Nothing is true. Everything is forbidden. So maybe focus on these dudes. Trust trust the stealth. It's off the screen now. That's what's terrifying. <laughs> Uh, this f fishing village is pretty peaceful and chill. I'm gonna say, you guys run that way. And let's check on the stealth friends. I wonder how it simulates. If it's not even loaded in, do they load in, like, creatures? How do they know who's getting attacked over there? I don't know. Building a base on Forbidden Island seems like a terrible idea, though. That much I know. Also, is there really not anything else here? Maybe there is. Let's keep our eyes peeled. I gotta remember not to hit tilt. To select everybody, or else we're gonna accidentally backtrack quite a ways. Alright, those guys are on their trail. Let's keep bouncing back. Apparently, we only sent Volugop. <laughs> Whoops. Where's the rest? Where's everybody else? So, are they actually getting hurt by the acid rain right now? I didn't really stop to consider that we may not have good acid rain protection, but it looks fine. Gork got 70% protection. That's not bad. Uh, luckily, the Sleeveless Dust Coat Gang is who we accidentally sent on this. So we get some acid protection from Drifter Pants, too. It's just the helmet. We need the hat instead of the visor. But I think she'll make it. Maybe that's why it's forbidden. Okay, well, let's keep going, I guess. I don't know. I'm not sure where the rest of the baddies are. I see a crab? Yeah. Yes, I do see an 11 mile per hour crab. Which we're going to need to pay attention to eventually. Meanwhile, the squad that's going home to deliver off our good friend Greenfinger and Limcarp are well on their way back. I think Forbidden Island is definitely a stealth mission. And also, we do have more food, anyways. We also have more pooch food. Uh, we have been seen by <laughs> people that I don't think were there before, but the tech hunters are chill. The tech hunters are cool. They're good. I'm definitely going to get surprised somewhere. Wow! <laughs> Look at this base. I don't know what this is. How's the stream going? What's up, Demon Hunter? Oh, it's going. We're sending squads in two different directions right now. I am really stressing my computer out because I'm like swapping back and forth between these two wildly different areas. And it is struggling to keep up, but it's doing its best. This is not even on my map yet, is it? it might not be anything, but it looks like something. There are And there are tech hunters nearby, so that would be really strange if that was not the case. This is another scenario... Where it would be real cool to have eyeballs on your... You Oops, I did it again! I tilted. Luckily, I caught it. There we go. I tried to grab everybody. But yeah, having little eyeballs down there would be awesome. Because then I would know who is being spotted. Because I had no... Zero idea the tech hunters were right there. Load. Computer. Struggling. Too much terrain. <laughs> we need help. Additional CPU required. So, is this a big nothing? This look, looks like a big... Oh, Kinshi has crashed. <laughs> yeah, true story. I crashed Kinshi. Uh, maybe it was time for a restart anyways. That was the perfectly timed save that I just did there. So that's pretty cool. 
Kenshi has crashed. Very sad. Let's open that back up. Anyways, how are you guys doing tonight? Anybody do anything fun for the weekend? Any Saturday adventures? Wait, did it not save? I don't think it's... That was not the last save, right? I clicked on the wrong one. I don't go outside. No, I did nothing and it was fun. Oh. Yeah, this is the best one we've got, chat. So unfortunately, we only lost like five minutes. But at least I saved here. Because if I hadn't saved here, the last save was, an, was two hours ago. So, you're welcome. <laughs> we we were this close to losing two hours of the stream. Uh, wowie. So while it is slightly unfortunate, it could have been a lot worse. That would have uh, That would have definitely killed my enthusiasm. So instead what we'll do is we'll just fast forward for those dudes. And we'll get right back to where we were. Apparently there was just some kind of saving bug. Because I did try to make a save just before it crashed. I think we just tried to load in too much stuff all at the same time. We were bouncing back and forth maybe a little too much. Okay, these guys were definitely not here before. So why don't we just sit there for a minute? How did these guys get here so fast? I guess three times is the answer to every question. I mean, we're kind of back literally where we were. If I told them just to go to back scratch, I, I, I could... Maybe it's time to make a marching order. How do I even do that? How do I do, like... I'm just clicking on buttons, don't mind me. Follow formation, military caravan, random. Formation used when squad members are following a leader. How do I make someone... a leader? Do I just have them all follow? Like this? And then I only have to pick Tawina? And say, hey, Tawina, run all the way back here. And then they all will. But they're all going at the wrong speed. So, they're all going at independent speeds, is the issue. So, I'm not really sure how to do that. There was an option to preload the views of both squads, so loading when switching isn't as bad. Well, it's, I guess it's not a second squad, necessarily. Watched a documentary. There you go. My wife graduated today. Congratulations. Grading lab exams. Wowee. I played Minecraft. <laughs> I saw Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. How was it? I want to see that pretty bad, actually. I forgot it was out already. These streams. There you go. Good enough. It'll do. Where did those robots go? I wonder. We see crab. We did not see the robot patrol at all last time. My skin is burning. Oh, there they are. They're to the right. Let's go up there and chill. Because we need to watch uh, the main squad over here. Maybe they're going a little too fast. <laughs> We're getting pretty close, though. We're in the outlands over here. Let's pause so I don't accidentally crash the game. And uh, we discovered the factory, which is... Careful. One time speed is good for now. That's what I thought this was. I'm enjoying Kenshi randomly crashing at my outpost. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, is your outpost too big? Too many, like, individual pieces? Works for switching between characters in different areas, not just squads. Interesting, how do you turn that on? Does it cause any more crashes than usual? Hmm. 
Dismemberment rare. How often limbs are lost? A limb is lost if on frequent, whenever HP drops below 100. <laughs> So in the factory, I wonder if we're going to find even more spider drones. Let's just sit here for a sec. I have a feeling that they're going to patrol into that area, though. All right, Outlanders. You're basically where I want you to go. Now, you got to figure out the best way to get back into the city. Good luck. <laughs> Don't run into any trouble. I'll be praying for you. Okay, we're in the factory. No, we're not. This ain't it. <laughs> this is like the ancient factory. This is what came before. The actual factory is... Oh, it's a spider factory. 16 of 16 residents inhabit this spider factory. And they roam. I think this is the factory though, right? It was pretty good, but it felt a bit different compared to Tarantino's other films. I still want to see it, for sure. I'm playing Kenshi Hammered and making okay decisions. Sober, you might disagree. Uh, as to whether they are okay or not. EDF5? I haven't played that yet. I probably will, eventually. Went to a jazz festival. There you go. Traveled across Canada. Canada's pretty big. So... That must have been quite the journey. The setting is under general fast zone hopping. I, I don't know if that will uh, change the stream quality at all. Allows you to jump between characters. Warning will use more RAM and reduce frame rate. We do have 32 gigs of RAM. And I don't believe that it's probably using all the RAM. That would be very interesting. We'll see if the quality drops at all. We haven't really done that much. Uh, we'll go the other way. <laughs> we'll go that way instead. I haven't really done that much um, swapping between squads up until now. Maybe you have to restart. You might have to restart for it to be really noticeable. Wow, I sure hope I don't get sniped out here. It's pretty fast. It's still faster, I think. Okay, so Spider Factory ain't it. I, unless there's chests in there that I literally walked by. Because uh, I didn't see anything that was interactable. It's just the Spider Factory. You can kill it. Almost like a hive. Almost like where a bunch of monsters might spawn. Alright, we'll go two times speed. I'm, I'm keeping a careful eye on my... Um, Squad to see if anybody comes under attack. Ooh, careful. But these are the guys that are most likely to find trouble. <laughs> this is why we sent the stealth squad. Team Ninja. The trees hide them well as well. Alright, we'll go back to one times just so I can look. Ooh we yep, going this way. Go that way, please. Hopefully it's nighttime soon. Compressed texture mod is nice. Does that uh lower the file sizes, I guess, somewhat? Do you think if I just told all of them to just go into the city that they'd be able to do it successfully? Maybe. Is it worth the risk of leaving them alone? <laughs> Maybe. But yeah, next time I start a new game uh, of Kenshi, I'll definitely play with some quality of life mods for sure. Possibly more, depending on what we want to do. We might start like a cannibal colony. We might become cannibal slavers. That sounds like fun for a second playthrough. Right now, we're kind of the good guys. We're the children of stick. And, uh, we've got a chip on our shoulder. 
I think they don't really run that much faster while not in stealth, so they may as well just be stealth. All right, let's check on the squad that I just haphazardly told. Did they make it? They kind of did. I'm impressed, frankly. Uh, you guys can all just come in here and chill. We need to cook some food, though. Oh, whoopsie! Looks like you accidentally were almost seen by spiders, but the game felt merciful for spawning them in right next to you, and nobody noticed. Cool. That works for me, I guess. Yeah, I, I don't... It doesn't really matter to me if you need a new save or not. I just don't really feel like... I want to get the full vanilla experience before I do any enhancements, even if it's just technical stuff. Unless the game was unplayable. I just don't feel like messing with it. Now, if I started having some kind of crazy crash bug, uh, like some of you said you might have, I might look for something that could smooth that out. How's Doggo's food? I think I left some food for him in the backpack. It's on the way down right now. Maybe they ate all the food cubes? Because I left, um... Oh, look who's back. I left dude Quambo with... Oh, they ate all the food cubes. <laughs> okay, well, here's the thing. I know someone here is carrying gross, disgusting meats. So if Bracklin would be so kind as to just run on down here and just drop some of those on the ground. Like, all of them. Did they just eat all nine? I mean, I got six more. Okay, those are also gone. Um, really thought that that would last a little longer. Can he train on the dummies? What, the dog? <laughs> And the dog train on the dummies? Maybe. Wait, did I just give that to Bracklin? No, we put it right there on the floor. Okay, so Tawina, do me a favor. Put... Oh, this is for cooked food, not raw food. Um, in that case... Oh, I know what to do! Yes, yes, we have a stove. And this stove... Can produce dried meat without having to use a stupid campfire. And I think you can build storage for that too, right? I think you have to research. Because we got regular food storage. I don't think we have raw food storage. Um, so I might just make a general storage for now. Whoops. Wrong button. Uh, general storage chest would probably be good under the stairs. Okay, as long as a few people can reach it, that's fine. Bring it a little closer. There we go. Okay. Uh, so we need building mats, obviously, but uh, Tawina can... We need to check on our people. You guys cool? You guys good? I mean, you're almost there. No room for that item. Forget about these. Just do that one for now. Can only do five at a time. Okay, well... <laughs> we'll have to figure out how to auto-haul stuff later, because I don't feel like messing with it at this exact moment. Who's this? <gasps> Hello. Who, wait a second. Who's this? That's the more important question. Uh, Plank. Haven't we met Plank? Or am I crazy? Chat? 
Say goodbye to Plank. Got a couple blocks in. He is now surrounded on all sides by angry and loud spiders. Who have ceased attacking him for just a moment. Well, Plank, you did your best. And the spiders are now currently standing on your corpse. <laughs> we don't... Oh, there's another spider gang over here. I would love to come heal you. I don't know how viable that's going to be. Where'd he go? We do have, like, Stealth Medic Squad. I don't know if that counts for anything. We have a level 15 Medic here. What's Gorka's? Six? Okay, Ridley? Patch him up. Everyone can patch him up. Actually, Volugop can help. Because here comes the rest! Hurry! Hurry! Okay, who wants to carry? Who wants the honors? Uh, definitely not Ridley. Maybe Ridley. What's your strength? 22 versus Gorka's... 23 versus Volugop's 23. They're all the same, but Volugop goes the fastest. So what if I pick you up... ...and we go this way? Out of the line of fire. Narrowly done. Okay, I didn't... I saw this group coming through the trees. I didn't see this group coming around the trees. <laughs> At the exact same time. That's a lot of spiders, man. Forbidden Island, I understand why. You're gonna hurt Volugop's bow arm. Alright, and before he wakes up, of course, I have to take um, a small fee for the heals that we just administered, possibly even as much as saving your life. <laughs> Let's take a small peek here. Ring Saber, Trader's Leathers, eh, Trader's Leathers are still, like, decently valuable. One, you know what, you got two first aid kits, I don't think you need both of them. So I'll just take one. You can have the other one. This dude's not gonna join me, right? Like, he that's not how this works in RimWorld either way. We did a good thing. He's unconscious for 30 seconds. Let's go. I can't keep carrying him. I gotta go... Woo! Look at this! Team Ninja. I don't know. You can't really see the building, but you know where they're going. You know where they're going. And at night. I guarantee you we're not going to get anything from here because I bet there's spiders up here. Bet there are spiders inside and our thieving chance is so terrible that I don't know what we're going to do. This is practice though, I guess. Maybe Forbidden Island is not the best practice spot. I saw an opportunity, and I had to take it. I don't know. I just like the dichotomy. I like it. Okay, who wants to practice on the gates? Ridley even has a 90% chance. Even Gorka, who has zero skill, has a 25% chance. Just let you practice. Gorka needs to learn. I think everyone else should be safe inside the walls. The trick is if anybody's still hungry. Ah, Hooper, uh, Ebrolf's hunger is going up. Hooper's is going up. We kind of just need to check on, um, 
the food situation for humans. Because is that all the meat? Chat, we're going to have a real issue soon called this is now a robot colony. <laughs> this is now a robot colony. Um what should I do to feed all these people? Best case scenario, I guess there's like a ton of food in this room. All right, we might need to go a little faster, Gorka. I am trying to train your ability, but this is there's no way this is a 30% chance of success losing every single time. Never go to Vegas. Gorka's lock picking is now 3. Did we even bring any food in this squad? I don't think this squad has any food. Hilariously. Let me in. Okay, all you got goes first. What do we got? You guys see any attack bots? Yep, there's one. There's one. Maybe the only one? Uh, options. Not many. <laughs> A lot of empty barrels. Cool. Wonder what's this even being guarded here? Because so far it seems like a lot of nothing. We got some research bench tier 4s. Uh, this spider seems to be protecting some electrical benches. Storage for steel bars old and electricals. Nothing that sounds super valuable. I'm wondering if Volugop has enough, yep, <laughs> to just walk on by. There's another spider hiding in the in the works. This is probably where all this good stuff is. These generators are on. Okay, nothing in the fuel, though. Now, this is where it gets a little tricky. <laughs> uh, and this is where we could, like, die. I'm curious if these two can get up here. I wonder if they can get up here without being seen. Wow, they're, they're, yeah, I shouldn't have underestimated them, to be honest. Alright, all the thieves are in. Now, Ridley, would you, okay, 0%, ball you got, you're up. Ridley can work on this one. Actually, Gorka can work on that one. Ridley can work on that one. There we go, everyone's got a job to do. Uh, I think with my last 18,000 bucks, we're just gonna buy food at an insane price. What else is there to do with all these people? I mean, okay, there, there's some, there's some. We got 4, 8, 12. And they're still, they, these guys are still eating the foul raw meat on the ground. Okay, they're not dead. They're just not in a great spot. We haven't saved in a while. Boy, oh boy, you're still streaming. Hi, Lemon Strips. Welcome. Good morning. And thank you for your five months of being subscribed. Glad I could catch you. Thanks for sharing. Uh, Rogglebogle. 
Did I miss you earlier? I thought I might have caught you, but either way, thank you for the Etel Auk. Back for six months. Toxic Veil has redeemed name a character. Unfortunately, Toxic Veil, it does not work like that in this stream, but uh, Lightly Salted might be your name now. I will give you your nerds back. I haven't named any characters after chat to date. Uh, sorry for not addressing that. Muff Diver Dave also. Okay, that didn't come out this way I expected, but that works. So right now what we're doing is just picking locks only. Which does not make any noise. But if you want to steal... We'll take a peek. Ooh. Oh, this is not stealing. This is just you get it. There's no steal chance. This is just free, right? But yeah, Muff Diver Dave, thank you for the big 400 bits who said beef jerky can clog you up. Thanks, thanks. Good to know, you know? Not like we didn't know that, but... Muff Diver Dave might be asleep right now. I don't know. Uh, thank you for the ancient science books. This is just for context. 35,000 cats in science books. 30,000 cats in CPU units. I think this is just a trade good. Uh, motors that we'll probably be able to use at some point, but I don't have them the opportunity to use them now. We've already got tools... don't really see... Oh, I thought there was a battery for some reason. It is, in fact, a press. Alright, does one of you want to come over here? 6%. That'll be good training. 90% for Ridley. Gears. We do need uh, iron plates, but we can also kind of just buy those. But not that much. I'd like to be able to make my own eventually. All right, am I missing anything else up here of note? Damaged books. I'm just double checking my work. Splint kit, no thanks. Maybe like a regular medical kit, not like we don't have a ton of those already. <laughs> Why are these even locked? I'll just have both of them work at the same time. I want beef jerky now. Yeah, I wouldn't mind some. Okay. All right, here we go. No steel chance. This is all just for the taking. So, Gorka, you're the slowest. So let's give this instead to Ridley. Good luck carrying all this, though. Definitely going to weigh us down somewhat. There's another little jackpot. <laughs> At least another 25,000 cats. Just in books. I'm so glad I brought more than one person. We got, um... 4, 8, 12, 16, 20,000 cats in skeleton repair kits. <laughs> and we know there's power cores that I don't... I, these aren't that heavy, actually. They're just big. I can fit three more. And a stack of four armor plating, which... I, uh, copper alloy plating would be nice too. This robotic component ain't ain't bad. That's all you got? You wanna you wanna take some? G four generator cores. These are twenty kilograms each. That's actual weight training. He's now carrying a hundred and thirty-four total over thirty-eight. Um. I mean, I know it's I know it's greedy to go all in on that, but like you kind of have to, don't you? I like that they put the spider in the corner so your stealth people can actually do this. Okay, let's try and sneak on out of here. We got a 53 minus 16. Encumbrance is holding back our stealth. 25. 
This is the least stealthy person currently because of how much he's carrying. Ridley's got a 53, which is respectable. Gorka's is great. Volugop, hilariously, because of the weight. It's just so much weight. Let's see if that makes it any better. Who's that, Gorka? Let's try Ridley, too. Because we do have room in the backpack. Oh, too much. Alright, someone's got to carry the load. You guys are about even. So we've kind of evened out the stealth modifier a little bit. I don't know if we're going to be able to make it out of here without setting off an alarm. <laughs> like, if anybody saw us, it'd be this guy. He's asleep. He's asleep at the wheel. Um, also... It's gonna be daytime soon. So, there's that. And, uh, the ancient labs has been looted! There are five spider residents. I only counted three on the way up. I don't know where the other two even are. They might be on patrol. I hope that was all the good loot. Because it sure looked like the mother load when we got there. Now we gotta go. And if we get out with this, this is actually a mother load. <laughs> Even if we don't find any other labs up here, this was still probably worth it. We're gonna try sticking to the southern side, though. Okay, what's our bottom speed? 10 miles an hour? 9... 12 miles an hour? <laughs> and 9 miles an hour. If we don't sneak, though, are we a little faster? 14, or 15, 17, and 14, yeah. Significantly faster. And we're actually faster than the spider bots, even without sneaking, I think. So we're just gonna run along the coast. And keep your eyes peeled for movement, I guess. How are we only getting 10% strength XP with like double our carrying capacity? You'd think that'd be a little higher. I wonder what happened to that dude that we saved, too. You know? What happened to him? I'm kind of scared that I'm just going to run headlong into the spiders. The sun is just now coming up. I want to stick to the southern side with the intention of watching to see if... We see any more points of interest, maybe we can come back to later. Okay, are my other guys dying? Do we still have food here? We built some cool shelters up top. That's kind of neat. Our house is getting a little bit more character now. Um, what about beds? Beds just cost four fabrics, which I'm pretty sure we've got. So the original plan was to sleep under these tents. <laughs> Right? How do you want to do that? Head this way? I don't know. It, wh which way is the head? I guess it doesn't matter. Alright, that's pretty lined up. There's one. And we'll do like two per side. We don't want it to be crazy. Right, you got some shelter under there. Sleeping outside, man. In the humidity. Alright, line these ones up. One and two. That one doesn't really have quite as much shade. <laughs> Still, it's protected somewhat. It's probably humid inside, too. That's true. Real beds at last. At least, also at last. Not sure how much fabric we're using. tawina has got two. We definitely have more. In here, I think. We'll have Corduroy go fetch it. I'm trusting in my other friends sneaking out to not get caught. I think that's all the fabric we had. So, 
you do you. You guys have fun, build those beds, and we'll see you in a sec. Oh, you guys are just standing here. <laughs> Waiting instruction! So all that was here was an empty spider factory and one super high value loot target on the edge. I mean, I can't complain about what we picked up. Each one of these is worth 3,200. 2,000, right? 2,000 is probably the low side. It's mostly the books. Books and the 4,000 per um, skeleton repair kits are pretty hot too. We're playing Payday now? Kinda. Is it weird that I've never played Payday? Is that odd? Also, isn't it odd to anyone else that these islands are so big? Like, what else? There's something else here, for sure. Well, they're not... That's well, kind of... It's like a peninsula, but... Payday VR win. Yeah, I've never played Payday. Not once. Who's this? Two people. Tech hunters. Cool. Go hang out with those guys. At least until they get caught. I guess tech hunters are always out here just looking to try and kill spiders. That's kind of their job. Excuse me, coming through. <laughs> right through the middle. Plank probably suicided on spiders again. Well, at least he had a chance. You know, at least he had the opportunity to make that decision himself. That's what's important. They out there hunting tech? You gotta do it. If your name is a tech hunter, it's kind of your job. Whoops. Well, I'm real proud of Gorka and Ridley. Uh, even though we brought, what, small backpacks? Small thieves packs? Still. Kind of the difference in being able to come back with just a little bit of what we saw, or everything of value. Hi. It's spiders. <laughs> Directly to my left. <laughs> a small squadron of them. But yeah, they're probably getting ripped from athletics and thievery. Or not thievery, stealth, I mean. Well, you got an 81, a 69, and a 66. So yeah, this is definitely the stealth squad. For sure. Run away, run very far away. <laughs> Stop screaming about acid rain. <laughs> they just won't shut up about it. All right, we're almost to the edge of the Forbidden Island. Thankfully. I think we can just break out into a nice run now. Very clutch. Yo, very clutch, guys. Good job. Is Naruto running a mod? No, it's actually base game. Base game sneaking when they're good enough. There's another little group. Who's this? People. Uh, those are scavengers, and we actually are probably more likely to die to them than the spider bots, believe it or not. Because they're probably faster than us. So we're going to stay right here on the water. And hope that they just turn right. And they're kind of still walking the same direction. We're, we're almost to the fishing village, though. Uh, that'll offer some protection if we just ran into the bar. Okay, no more sneaking. Let's just go. <gasps> you spoke too soon. It's a crap load of bone dogs. I think they might be passive right now. Maybe? They are... They're thinking about it. They're thinking about it. Attacking others, it says. <laughs> uh. 
We only run 15 miles an hour. Ooh. Those guys got into a fight over there. The Bone Dogs, I'm pretty sure, are coming for us. They're thinking about it. They kind of got sidetracked, though. Are we still training on training dummies over there? That's impressive. Okay, now we have to just make it through the last leg of the journey. We're here. We need to be there. So close, and yet so far. They are also very hungry, so here's the deal. We're going to run inside and buy some fish or something here. Because I think hunger is going to detrimentally affect some of the stats if it gets too bad. So we can do the bartender. Patch of the dead cats, huh? Have we already talked to Patch? Yo, how do you like your rum, Drifter? I love it! Well, ain't you in luck. Used to brew my own rum back when we had the distillery. Beast rum, I called it. One glass of that stuff and all hell breaks loose. One guy gouges his own eyeballs out after three glasses of it. It's great stuff. But all good things come to an end. I got busted by the guards, so take this rare chance to hire yourself an expert brewer, Outlander. I'll make sure you never have to face a bandit or gutter or crazy priest sober ever again. Yo, how much? 6,000 cats? Expert brewer? What, like cook? What would brewing mean in this context? Skillet cooking food and brewing drinks. 6,000 cats? No thanks. I don't- I can't even feed my own troops right now, to be honest. So we're just gonna buy some fish. These are definitely the better value. One, two for you. <laughs> There's another one we can sneak in there. Okay. Gorka, come get your fill. We got room for th probably like three or four more. Okay, and last but not least, Ridley. Mm. And last but not least, Ridley. Okay, I will buy another like five. Let's make it six. Just buy them all. Okay. I don't care if it costs all my money. We're coming back with a haul. You understand? We're going to be able to make that money back in no time. I want my thieves to be rewarded for their work so they eat raw fish. That's how this works. I tell you they're spreading out. It ain't what it used to be. Look what happened over there in the hidden forest. How do you get out of this place again? It's like me in the casino. They purposefully designed casinos to make it hard to find the exit. Did you know that? You just walk around in circles looking for the exit signs. By the way, Fallon Mog, thank you for the sub. Hit me with the new Prime. Thanks for sharing. Glad to have you. And Honey Chain, thanks for the 200 bits. Appreciate both of you. Volugop is booking it. Volugop, slow down, buddy. All right, let's go. Hopefully we don't run into any baddies out here. I don't feel like stealthing the whole way home. Hilariously, we cannot handle beak things either now. Are those things? No. Oh, I see movement. Do you see those two pixels up here? Those are reavers, and they are very hungry. <laughs> so our best bet is probably hold passive, sneak, make sure taunt is off, and head up the hill. 
away from the Reavers, who seem to be just patrolling across this direction. We might be able to stay off the hill and just go behind them. Seems like they're walking away from us. But we definitely need to stealth here. And there they go. Shh, be quiet, like. It's like how the grocery stores put all the essentials at the back, so you gotta walk through the entire store. That's true. There's another group of... People? Belonging also to the Reavers. Interesting. Those Reavers turned around at an interesting time as well. Just at the right... If they had turned around while I was here, we'd be dead now. Um, or we'd be dropping backpacks, I guess, technically. These guys we're going to intersect with here in a second. I'm a little hesitant about going much further. If they, if they turn, they'll also see me. Also keep in mind, our effective stealth is not great. What's 49? And 46. They're kind of just walking parallel to us right now. <laughs> They're right there. One wrong move, and we're dead. Just be very calm. Collected. Stay low to the ground. And just try and stay ahead of the game. I can. The end goal is in sight here. We've almost made it back, team. That's home now. That's Stick HQ, baby! Where do I buy seeds? What, for crops? I don't know, I haven't done my own farming. I would assume a farming shop. I think you, I think you research, right? Hold on. Hooper, dude! Did you guys already eat all of the stuff? Is everyone here starving now? <laughs> not, I mean, not starving as such, but technically there's no food. <laughs> uh, how should I handle this? But yeah, you can do research farming. And this says... Wheat farm, you can make. So if you want to make a farm... One of the easiest crops to grow, green fruit. So you just need to put 10 green fruit in this thing and then it becomes a green fruit farm. So you don't actually need seeds, you just need enough of the materials to match. Alright, real real talk though, what are we going to eat? What are all these people going to eat? We need to let go back to Turtleville. Or just become beak thing hunters now, I don't know. Uh, we kind of got cocky because way down here... Where was it? Way down here, these supply outposts had so much Nutra rations that I kind of got greedy with it. So, I don't know. Um, I guess I could send out different parties, but I can't, I don't feel like I can't micromanage them very well. Best case scenario is we just mass purchase crops in town and then try to cook them there is one piece of meat left i'll put that on the floor for your boy where is she oh she's up on the roof you guys like come down from there i love how they spread their materials out so they couldn't even build one bed cool oh wait what building material is it that we don't have uh, beds also cost one... Oh, building material. Yeah, it's just the building material, by the way. Okay. Anyway. As I was saying. Bracklin. Do me a favor. Let's go talk to the farmer. And, uh, see what we can find. Alright, do I trust these guys to just go where they're supposed to go? 
for now? I think so. Greetings, Rum. Got ample supplies, livestock, water. What you got? 44 cactus for 12 cents each. Gimme. We're going to the grocery store. Uh, 44 grapefruit for 27 each. Give me some of those, too. Okay, well, I can only hold four of them. Uh, times are hard. Tawina, you got space? Come talk to this person. And we're gonna come back. We Did we build that? I need a chest. So, two things. Ruka, do me a favor. Isn't there a building guy here? It's like this shop, I think. Ruka's gonna go buy some stuff here. Tawina's gonna go buy some stuff here. And then Bracklin is gonna go wait for us in the kitchen. We're gonna have some nice recipes coming at you soon. Alright, I can only hold like 18. No? 9, 18, 27 plus what we got in there. Okay, so now uh, Tawain is gonna head back. Also in the kitchen. Hopefully they don't eat these raw foods. Ruka got stuck. Wait, no, she's in there. She anything you like? Yeah, I'm here to buy building materials, actually. And probably also fabric. I can only fit three. Oh. How about now? Four. They're only a hundred apiece. Fabric is not available for purchase at this time. Okay. So Ruka is going to go plant building materials inside the storage chest, and then Bracklin and Tawin are going to move that their stuff in there. And that's what we're going to try. We're going to see if that works. Give it a go. Here comes the gang. Meanwhile, I mean, they're on their way. It ain't the fastest, but it is. <laughs> they're gonna get there eventually. I do kind of trust them better like this. So question, how's it gonna work? When we start putting all this in. I wonder how many stacks. Oh, beautiful. That's a thing of beauty right there. Okay, so now we want even more resources before it's night time. Might be too late. Tawin and Bracklin are going to go back. We're going to add uh, to the queue. We did just make... We did just get a bunch of um, green fruits. We don't have any water. Chat, where can I buy water from in this town? How'd you make money when you first started out? Good question. Uh, I made money when I first started out. I, in my start, it's gonna be different depending on what, what you pick, I guess. I started up here in the Northeast and I just kind of like enslaved myself immediately <laughs> and then learned how to lock pick on accident. I didn't mean to enslave myself, it was an accident. Um, I put myself in a cage and I got enslaved. So I got good at lock picking, then I made my escape then I got killed, almost. Uh, so I got tougher, because I was beaten within an inch of my life. Then I would kind of find roving bands and lead them into monsters, and let the monster kill them, then run away, then scavenge the loot off their body. And then I would acquire maps and try and follow the maps to different ruins, and then take stuff and sell it. That's how I made money. But I think you can make money, I don't know, in a bunch of different ways. You got options, that's for sure. Water jug. Does that actually have water in it? Or is this just a joke? Is there water in here? Seems like a trick. <laughs> uh, obviously, I'm going to buy the rest of that. 
probably buy the rest of the rice weed. It's a junk item. So can I not get water without a well? Kenshi, how to get water in a town? In town, can we use wells for water? No. Why have a useless well? Someone else said, you can actually use them. They don't care. I had a character that survived a couple days off purely selling their own well water to the residents of the town. <laughs> well, there you go. So you don't buy the water. You just have to get it, forehead. Um, how much is raw meat? Probably way too expensive. At this point, though, I'll take it. Um, let's also get the rice weed. As much as we can. It's only 14 per. Okay, you two are doing some great grocery shopping for us, trying to make sure that you feed everybody. I know that's the most challenging bit right now. Let's find somebody else who might be able to get water. We have a water tower. But do we have a well? That's a wind generator. Chat, what does a well look like? <sighs> Stupid question, I know. But also, is it... Want to buy your water for five bucks? What's up, Charkov? How's it going? Speaking of water, is everyone hydrating? I'm actually pretty thirsty right now. Um, don't you have a well blueprint? Yeah, but you can't build inside cities. I would have to build out there and then raiders would come attack it. It's a small mechanical square outside. Well... Know what I'm looking for, but I don't see it. It looks like this. It's under one of these. Not. It's under food, maybe? No. Farming? Yeah. Looks like this. A vital source of water. You won't last long without it. Can't build inside the city. You would have to go this far away to be allowed to build it or further, and that's if you can find water, because there's only 20% water here. It's terrible. There's no water in the whole town. <laughs> I wonder if one of these fishing villages or cult villages have a well. Because if we can get water, we solve all of our food problems. We just keep buying food resources. Cook. Like in RimWorld. There's Volugop and crew. Well, we're going to drop off the food resources we did get. Obviously. Fill this to the brim, if possible. This is now the food container. Okay. Looks good. That's, I mean, that, that should be at least like 10 meals, maybe 20. The base is coming together slowly. Rabbi is going to try... Oh, you just ate raw meat. Okay, I guess stick... You can do that. You're a stick. I don't think Black Scratch has a general store. I think it does. Uh, maybe you can buy water from the travel? You, your characters don't need water, and that's what makes this more complicated. But yeah, we got a uh, travel store here. I don't think it sells water, though. <laughs> One horse town. It's actually like a pretty big town. Just, there's no water that exists. 
I'm willing to exhaust all options, though. <sighs> Hold on. Can she water? It's sold in barrels. I just wanted to know what to look for. It looks like a barrel. So if you can buy it from a vendor, which is possible... What about the bar? Hmm. The bar is... here. Let us see what we can find. The bar is empty right now. There's your rum barrels. <laughs> Everyone's sound asleep. <laughs> Lots of locked chests out here. Is there a... Ooh, 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 ooh. Up on the walls? Okay, you guys should be good. You are citizens, after all. And you've got a great haul of stuff. Alright, Bracklin, where's the bartender? I think he's already out cold. I think I saw a water tank. Yeah, you did see a water tank. It's empty! Okay, well. Away we go. These guys are all getting kicked out. I think it's closing time. So, uh, I guess what we're gonna do is go look for water else. We're gonna get, try and get some from the bar. But we're gonna go to one of these villages and see if we can actually use one of the wells. Because I think they're all closing down at this hour. There's usually more than one bar. Yeah, I, there might be more than one. There is. There's one over here. May as well exhaust all options. And then come tomorrow, we've got, um... Well, really, the world is our oyster. <laughs> as far as what we want to sell and how much money we're going to make. Because we're down <laughs> kind of to the wire. There's so many more people in here. We got Maggie and Pin in here. Need something? Looking to hire some bodyguards. What can I do for you? Nothing right now. What do you want, nutto? Let's see who we're not gonna recruit today. Kuteshi. Isn't that the guy from, uh... The Netflix show? Or did I just make that up? Tons of mercs in here. At least four mercenary captains. Kateshi. What's that guy's name? Um, Altered Carbon? What's his name? <gasps> Hallelujah. It's happening. We found the water. The bar was hoarding all of it. Takashi. Yeah, Takashi. <laughs> Close enough. Um... You're always going to run out of long bolts. Just buy them all. Do I, ha I have uh, one of these, but not the other? Camp shelter. Sure. I'll take it from here. It's to cash. Yeah, what did I say? Okay. Um. Scavenger's basket. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. Bracklin, good job. Now we actually can do the thing, and it's going to be really cool. I'm really excited that I didn't have to go to, like, a second town to find this information. Uh, there is a secondary issue. The game is paused. <laughs> I honestly thought that it was unpaused. I was just trying to make him move for no reason. I was like, why isn't he moving? Here he comes. Man of the hour. 
All right, water. Now we have a cook, do we not? Frap? Who is, who is the cook? I believe someone here, Udquambo, is the cook. It's empty. Yeah, it, okay, maybe I... Uh. Yeah? <laughs> cook the other stuff. How, how does a queue work? Can I have multiple things on here, or do I have to, like, micromanage it? Like, if he finishes doing this, will he do the other thing? Or no? Okay, the water. It's empty! Yes. That's because... It has to... It can't come from a general storage container. For auto-assign. So there's the water. I just gave him some. So I think he's like put it in there himself. Okay, we're making a cooked veggies. This is for green fruit. So what I could do is have Bracklin take as much green fruit as you can hold and put it over here for easy delivery. We don't have a delivery method for the other ones yet, though. Because he's automatically just taking it out of the green fruit storage to cook more of these meals. So, unlocking more storage is probably best case scenario for us from a research perspective. So, let's take that opportunity uh, to look at the, at the research options here. Cooking. Far is it farming or cooking? Advanced cooking. Better food can be made if ingredients are available. Um, I need storage. So we got storage for wheat, grog, cactus. Okay, there's cactus storage. We need two books. And rice weed, we also need two books. So like, why don't we just go to the store, go to the library, and buy them. By the way, are we still live? Because the stream information is... The <laughs> It's kind of acting up. I assume we are. I would have seen F's in the chat by now, probably. Hello, librarian. I would like your finest research books, please. And you have exactly 10 of them. So that's 2,700. Totally worth it. I died long ago. We live. Antioch, do not point at me, please. Thank you. Unless you have something to say to back it up, you know. Requires wheat straw farming. Cost two rice wheat. I believe I can produce two rice wheat. Here's um, one, and here is two. <laughs> not that crazy. Okay, so, now, I do like that you have to have the resource to research it. That's kind of cool. Rice weed farming, do your thing. I would also love cactus farming, but we have to do wheat straw farming first, which takes two wheat straw, which I'm going to have to just go buy. Uh, but that, we're doing the most important one right now, and I have a Yoma set up to auto job. Can you do it from sitting? No. That'd be cool if you could, though. Okay, so we're going to be able to make a rice wheat storage. Udquambo's pretty satisfied with what he's produced. I don't know what you did with what you cooked. You might... You out of water? Did you make the chew sticks, or did you eat them immediately? Be, be honest. Oh, you're trying to do, um, you're trying to do cooked vegetables right now. Or you're trying to do chew sticks right now. And I want you to do cooked vegetables instead. Did you go put that in the food container over there? <laughs> and it's gone. Well, this really is like RimWorld then. Um, 
Can we decommission this? Did you pick that up? Okay, so. Do we have a food barrel in here? We do as of... Now. They all ran in there as fast as they possibly could. Now watch everyone fight to build this barrel. It's beautiful! Now this is the new fun eating place. Udquambo, what you up to, bud? You cooking? How long does it take to cook, like, one whole food? Twenty-five nutritional units. We might need more than one stove, chat. <laughs> it, it occurs to me maybe just one stove was a bit, mm, you know. This takes cost two iron plates and power. How do I tell how much power I'm using, by the way? Why do I have to build, like, here? The other stove could just go on this wall. Or across from the first stove. Would be pretty cool. But it'd also be kind of random. I think best case scenario, we just move the sink and the box and then put the other stove next to the first one. Powers the tooltip on the right. Hey, we got, we're using, what, 82 out of 240? Or is that like 240 might be the entire city? Maybe. All right, dude, Quambo, are you hoarding? You keep running out of water. Apparently we need a lot of water. Like, actually tons. That's all we got. Until the bar reopens and restocks. I don't know. <laughs> Rip those vegetables. <laughs> I have a sneaking suspicion we're not going to be able to cook faster than they're hungry. We only have three green fruit left. I'm really trying to make as many as I can. Maybe he'll get better at cooking? Maybe so. How else are we going to feed without just spending all of our money? I mean, you're doing an admiral job, Udquambo. One thing I could do is trade your backpack out for, like... Yeah, that's a good idea. Uh, you trade with Bracklin. He's going to give you this backpack. Which you are now... We're going to have to trade the stuff back over. Um... But the purpose of this is, for now, you can put way, way more rice weed or cactus in there. We're almost done with the rice weed research. If not, did we just finish it? We just finished it. Cool. Okay, so that unlocked, um... Farms, right? But more importantly, perhaps, it unlocked storage. Yes, we can make rice weed farms now. Okay. Not here, but it's still cool. Special rice weed storage. I kind of am not real fond of the oven under the stairs anymore. I'm kind of thinking storage bins under the stairs. So like... General storage ain't gonna last for long either. Let's just say rice weed. In this corner. As far as you can go would be nice. But I'd like to have room because we're probably gonna get a little crowded here. Uh, green fruit. Next to that. Uh, right next to that's also fine. Okay, so there's plenty of ways for people to access these. That's the important part. Um, we need how much stuff? One building material, right? Look who's been hoarding them all. Look who's been just sitting on those. There's like seven in here. 
Okay, then. Slow it down just a little. The sim sure does look different. Yeah, it does. I'm trying to keep everybody nice and full. Nice base. Hey, Shamimi. Thanks. Glad you like it. This is Stick HQ. We're working, we've been working on building up for at least half the stream now. All right, uh, I don't know what you're building next. I am almost tempted just to say, stop until, well, we can just buy more. We can just buy more. But yeah, Ukwambo, for sure, should use the rice wheat storage and probably prioritize cooking over engineering, in my opinion. Wow, we don't you when you put it all in one container, you really don't have as much rice wheat as you think you do. Okay, so chew sticks can go cooked vegetables. He ran out of green fruit. So will he start on the other one ever or no? You have to like cancel it. It's kind of annoying. I don't know. Does it lose the resources? It's empty. Yeah, it's kind of... Did I pick the wrong thing? Chew sticks cost... Cactus. Okay. So I need... Dust witches. No. I need rice bowls. Okay. Rice bowls and... Cooked veggies. We're gonna run out of water before we make enough food. <laughs> They're just all building this stupid table. Well, you did, you did it. We have furniture now. All that water for one single piece of food. So much work. I mean, water's not that expensive, but still, it takes a full barrel. What are your skills at, by the way? You guys are at five melee attacks, so does that, this doesn't do anything else. We could get somebody else to do this training instead, like Miu, for example. And Yarpo. <laughs> Alright, is it a uh, shop should be open now, right? Shops should be indeed open. Uh we sent Gorka, Ridley, and Volugop. Sleepless Dust Co. That's not terrible. Shoddy grade. Uh, still better than you have, Green Fingers. So I will give it to you. My gift. We picked it up off the ground. You're not wearing anything, so I hope you don't mind. Alright, it's time to make some money. We are at, what, 5,000 cats right now. So I have a question for you. Is it worth it? Is there anything in this inventory that I should keep for crafting purposes, possibly? Uh, power cores. I don't know which trash and what's craftable. I don't want to know what I could make. I just want to know if it can be used in crafting or not. Skeleton muscle, generator core, power core. Out of those three. Can anything be used in crafting? Or is this all trash material? Meant to be sold. I don't know. Just build a well in the middle of nowhere and ignore the raids. <laughs> I guess. Skeleton muscles? So just maybe hang on to the skeleton muscles and sell the power cores? Fair enough. Okay. So this is just free money. 3200 apiece. We're at 5142 and uh, Little the Vendor is pretty poor now. Gorka, that's rain. Gorka has got copper alloy, which is probably usable in crafting, I would assume. Are generator cores worth anything? The vital core of any electricity generating machine. I mean, it makes it sound like it is. Make skeleton arms and legs move. 
Because I got like a bunch of these. I have more skeleton repair kits than I know what to do with, but eventually we might need them. I'll sell at least one. Volugop has a bunch of CPU. I assume this is also valueless as is robotics components. You guys already said these are. He doesn't have enough money. Okay, let's go to the next vendor. Check it out. Yeah, the copper alloy is only worth 700, so you don't really get that much money for selling it. Even if it's not usable till later, I want to keep everything that is usable so that when the time comes, I'm like a little bit ahead of the game. Um, okay. So. Let's get your boy Volugop on here first. Sell those power cores. CPU useless? Robotics components useless? I don't know. All the Kinshi uh, knowledge drained away. There it is. With the EU squad. CPU useless robotics is useful. Okay. CPU equals money. There's no description. Except there is a description for this one. Must be worth something to a collector. So it specifically says that. Um, and then there was you. So we'll hang on to anything that's useful. Even if it's not useful to a long time from now. Did I just steal something? What did I just steal? I don't think I stole anything. <laughs> it just made a cha-ching noise. <laughs> right, only 5,000 bucks? I can't even sell one of these. I'll buy, um... Nothing, I guess. Farmers, you know? Come on, farmers. Maybe somebody just bought something? EU squad waking up in the morning. Watching the mother load in sales happen right now. Uh, yes, we're back up to 64,000 cats, and I haven't even sold any of these research books, which I don't plan on. I'll keep this and this because it could be useful. Generator core is useless, but someone said it's good for, for strength training. I'll just sell one. He's almost broke anyways. Now, what I would really like to do is buy maps. Tech Hunter's map, nice. We got um, both of these techs already. Already known. Needs research bench level 3. I think I bought that already. Ration packs are a thousand bucks each. We, I think we just have to buy these right now. Unfortunately. We gotta bring some food home so all these people can eat. No sleep, man. No sleep, baby. Alright. We back. And we got fish. Ration packs, which have already been partially eaten. I'm just gonna put them in here. Animals. Hooper's like dead. <laughs> what do you want? Look, you know how hard it is to keep a bone dog alive? God. Alright, while you got look, where's Hooper? Look, I got you, dog. Here's a ration pack just for you. Okay, that guy ate it. Uh that this is that was a thousand bucks. Here's another ration pack. He's probably gonna eat that one too. Hooper is unconscious for seven more seconds at the moment. These animals are too much, man. Are they all looking at the dog? Can the dog eat the ration pack? I think he is. Well, that's 2,000 credits just to partially feed them. So, cool. Um, Udquambo's sitting on two pieces of food he does not want to share. Everyone's real hungry. Well, there you go. Food storage. Don't say there's nothing there. There's almost nothing there. <laughs> We're out of food. We have zero. We have, we have money. 
We just made 60,000 bucks. Eat Hooper. Doesn't Hooper eat body parts? Aren't there like tons of dead people just out and about here all the time? Couldn't Hooper theoretically just eat out here? Why is this one person? This Reaver slave is just following Hooper. Isn't that a little weird? Goal following. Hooper is now a slaver. Hooper is now a slaver. Um... Show research. What's available? Um... Grog, rum, advanced cooking. Better food can be made if more ingredients are available. I doubt more ingredients are available, but also I'm open to trying anything at this point. Best case scenario is we just keep everybody standing still. And just don't move. Because if you don't move, you eat less, theoretically. <laughs> but we gotta send somebody out to get some food, right? But where? We can buy it for now. Um, so we also wanted to buy a backpack, if I'm not mistaken. So let's go get that before I forget, because I'm going to forget. So we'll get the uh, the farmer pack from here. Ridley still got fish. I thought I sent Tawina over here, but that's fine too. Show me your supplies, Drifter. Uh, maybe you're not the one that has it. It's the farmer. Farmer. This is the farmer. I thought the farmer had the cool backpacks. That can stack a whole bunch of stuff. Well, uh, another crew member is here to buy some more stuff. Rice wheat's pretty cheap. Um, green fruit, not enough space. We got all these stupid animal skins, too. Let's put those up. I'm gonna throw the animal skins over here. Eat Hooper! Everybody wants me to eat Hooper, the dog. Alright, animal skins have been placed. There's gotta be an easier way to do this. <laughs> I said no such thing. I hear fighting. I think it's trainers. So we're probably out of water. Okay. <laughs> like micromanaging for like two meals. There's a lot of micro for just two meals. This is where auto haul will save your life. What's going on here? You heard fighting? Yes, you did. Uh, we are fighting, I guess, because no one's on passive, and there's bad people from the Reavers here. Uh, is... who's Hooper attacking? No one, right? Woo! Woo! Careful there. Harpoon guy. <laughs> Kang, come on, my man. You're gonna get shot again. God. Kang is getting beat up, dude. Here comes the gang. Uh, anyone else want to fight? Gorka's really the only other person who could fight. All the fighters are out here. Except for, like, Volyagop. Check on our crew. Anyone close to death? I mean, Kang is probably the worst for wear. I don't think he's gonna die. He's kinda getting stuffed. I say just block for now. 
and try to hold the line until more people can sneak in here and help us out. Is anyone downed? Not yet. That'll learn you. That's right, Bracklin. Show them. Ruka's arm is messed up? Whose bolt is that? Left arm almost gone. <gasps> Chad! Chad is just friendly fired by Volhigop, I think! <laughs> okay, that's a field medic if I've ever seen one. That's like a get field medic right now if I've ever seen one. Save that man. Is Corduroy helping? Nope. Okay. Uh, <laughs> we need some medical assistance here, team. Who else is down here? Oh, they're healing Ruka from left arm critical wounds. Chad is unconscious for 700 seconds. That's impressive. Why is Volugop always trying to kill his teammates? Listen, if you don't practice, you won't get 23 precision shooting. <laughs> I think that's how it works. Because his, his precision shooting is higher than ever before. Alright, our robot friend is fixed. Everyone can go in. Why don't we just let the professionals handle that, yeah? And a couple of these friends in here. So it's not too claustrophobic. There's room for everybody in here now. That's pretty great. Alright, so seriously though. Children of the Stick, you are now hold. You are now passive. You are no longer sneak, taunt, or block. And we need to finish these beds. That takes building materials, which I thought we were hoarding. We might have just used... Tawina, you want to do the job? Make a little trip to the grocery store. Hooper? Why don't you go eat? Can you eat one of these bodies? Can Hooper just eat someone, or does it have to be like an appendage? Because that just overcomplicates things. It's cool to see how the gang can actually take on Reavers now. A few of them, yeah. I wouldn't be able to take on a full squad of Reavers, but they're getting there. I don't think Volugop can do that much. Probably not. You are probably right. He cannot eat this. Here comes even more. Dude got dropped. Arrow in the head, man. Thump. If you were wondering where where the thump comes from, it's there. I think they just ran inside. <laughs> Don't worry, the guards have got this under control. How to feed Hooper, by the way. Can you search the bodies for food? No, they none of them have food. Zero. They're all hungry in Kinchi. Kinchi's a rough place, man. What did I just finish research on? Advanced cooking? Ooh. Food cubes with one bread and eight green fruit. That's doable. Eight green fruit, ten rice weed makes Gohan. I don't know which one of these is best bang for the buck. I'll just have to experiment a little bit. I'm going to vote... Possibly the food with the highest unpleasantness to nutrition ratio in the world. So dry, probably a big contributor to desert suicide. I think bone dogs can only eat dead bodies. Oh. But the bodies here disappear before they can die. Because if I just leave him here... This dude is still following me, by the way. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, I was going to go buy water, right? Well, I was also going to go buy building mats. 
of which we've got 18 now. Those are 100 apiece. Still worth it. Still worth it. All right, Tawina, I want you to do two things. Three things. Build beds, please. Uh, someone else go by water. I was going to get another backpack, too, but I f wasn't able to. Um, Quambo's got the space now. So head back to the bar. He can't eat bodies while classified as a pup. Interesting. Man, this place is under constant attack. I'm starting to get a little concerned, actually. Whoa. Uh, Cot's got superpowers that they haven't been telling us about. Never mind, these guys are healthy as an ox. <laughs> no, well, most of them. Hey, first beds. Ever conceive real beds, proper beds. Like the kind Ruka's gonna sleep on. And like the kind Kang is going to sleep on. Duquambo ran all the way back here to build. You know what, Duquambo? You are now fired from your engineering job because of that. Now go back. Kang, take a nap. Everyone else is pretty good. Kang, take a nap. Have a nice sleep. They're sleeping in just opposite angles. Kang's in the shade. <laughs> Ruka's a little exposed. But I don't know what to do now. <laughs> They're just going to leave it like this. We did the best we could. I guess it depends on what time of day it is. They'll be fine sleeping out in the sun, you know? What are we missing here? Missing one fabric and four fabrics. Urquambo, say hello to the bartender, please. We would like... There's no more water. Cool. So they haven't restocked yet. <laughs> um, I guess I'm just going to buy a bunch of food for a bunch of money. Feels bad. But also, what you going to do? down to 56k. But don't say we didn't try to keep these people nice and healthy. Hooper, you get it your own meal. Here's one meat wrap for you. Just on the ground for whenever you get hungry. That food cube got demolished. <laughs> okay, so they're not going to starve, but they're not feeling too good about themselves either. Uh, that's not a sustainable practice that we're doing here. We're gonna have to just leave and go find food on the road. <laughs> we got level 4 melee attack here. So training is starting to work. How is my Flurby a 10 medic? It's a good question. Living in towns is expensive. Uh, no, I'd say having like 22 members is expensive. The town's not that tough. <laughs> like, we... We've made it, you know? We've made it this far. Staying alive is the next step. Maybe just research Wells too. Just so we have it. Seems like an okay idea. Wells 2, two books, upgrading our wells to reach deeper to access more water. I feel like we're going to need this. So go ahead, scope it out as we save the game. And call it a night. It is just after midnight. We, we're at about nine hours. We've done what we set out to do today, setting up Stick HQ. We've got Baby's First Beds researched. We got some scrap tents on top. It's starting to look like our own. We built some little decorative supports, some room dividers, a big tier two research bench. Uh, the kitchen is fully furnished now. That looks good. We got all the walls. We've got food barrels, a nice round table, a bar, a stove. 
some little storage units for everything. We got training dummies for the first time. We haven't even started locksmith training. Uh, that's gonna be cool. Like, I guess if Gorka's already level 7, well, we could have somebody else come in here and practice. Like Greenfingers. Or Limcar. Get to level 5, you know? That's what it's there for. There's so much to do. Uh, next time it's going to be all about food, though. So when we pick this back up, we're going to just go on an expedition. Try and hunt some animals, maybe. Come up with a more sustainable source of food. Uh, preferably take some more backpacks. That reminds me, that should be the last thing I do. Get Bracklin. A real backpack, and probably remove uh, these medium backpacks. So, like, give me all this. Sure. Give me that. You can have the stealth backpack now, so you can actually be useful. Um, I'm probably going to put the, the other backpack just in storage. Okay, and uh, we want to grab another travel bag. For your boy Bracklin. Um, and also give Volugop the bolts. And then stash the other stuff. You guys want to see where these maps go real quick? Let's see where they go. Tech Hunter Library. All the way northwest. There's a lot of stuff northwest. It looks pretty cool. There you go. There's your bolts. Enjoy. Okay. I don't know if you have the backpack I want. We're about to find out. You do! A wooden backpack. Wonderful. Um, I wonder when it's going to be a good time to take our friend the Garu. But yeah, wood backpacks. We can just stack stuff. The stacking is so good. Any maps we could use? No. Not yet. But yeah, we got a pack animal. I don't know at what point to use it, though, because it seems like a liability. Unless you can defend it. We'll probably take it with us on the next outing. I think Ebrolf is coming with us next time. I think that's it. We got, uh, Tawina has nine more building mats and doesn't know what to do with them. So we could really just queue some things up. What I'm probably going to do is just leave them in here for now. Until I figure it out. Probably leave. I say take like three repair kits, leave the rest. Oof. I'll organize that later. <laughs> I'm going to definitely forget Ruka. And all those building mats. Unless I do this now. There you go. We got to sell Kang stuff. Gorka is just kind of hanging out here with some extra... Skeleton repair kits. We took those from the, uh... Uh, that secret little spot. So we're just gonna hold on to all this for later. This is just the everything box. Alright, I'll organize this later. I don't want to waste your time. Good stuff, everybody. Good stuff. Only bad thing is no food. <laughs> uh, but besides that... We're getting there. Auto splinting also worked. That's awesome. You can actually see the splint right there. Go back to sleep until you're full healed. All right. Stick HQ, big success. We can actually hold our own in combat. We've defeated big things today. We have defeated um, Reavers at times. We've defeated scavengers, different types of bandits. Is Chad resting? <laughs> no. No, Chad is not resting. Uh, Chad is... So, actually, yes, Chad is resting. Uh, Chad's just taking a little nap for the next 120 seconds or so. It's not an issue. It's not really a problem. He, he is healed. I mean, like, he's been bandaged, if that makes you feel better. All right, last thing we'll do. I need to look for fabric. 
one. I think actually that's all we need. Uh, believe it or not. This one just needs one fabric. We just got him. Yeah, Chad's pretty cool. Dude's name is Chad, after all. I love that we have a permanent resting site that we can use to uh, tend to our wounded. We've also got, of course, some regular beds. Or, excuse me, some camp beds here, if we need them. Here comes the gang. They love to help build. I wonder what our best engineer is. I'll go through the stats, too. There you go, Vol, you got. Put him in bed. Excuse me, coming through. All right. There we go, Chad. Have a nice rest. You deserve it. Unconscious for 25 more seconds. <laughs> I don't know why this dude's here. I have no clue. Anyway, that's a good safe spot. We took care of all the important necessities right there, so I don't accidentally let Chad die. I don't want him to die. I don't want him to die! They incinerate the bodies before the bone dogs could eat them anyways. They're just gone. Waiting for Chad to get out of the hospital. Alright, good back-to-back -back Kenshi streams, everybody. I had fun. I enjoyed it quite a bit. Oh, I didn't show you the stuff. My bad. I'll, I'll open it again. I always do that. I didn't show you the stats for the log. Did you solve the starvation problem? No, but we have a house now in a headquarters, so that's pretty cool. It's gotta count for something. My one request for Kinshi 2 is I want more music. That's all I want. I want more songs. There is an eerie silence about everything, which is cool. I respect it, but the music that there is is so good that I just want more. I want, like, longer actual songs. Alright, here's your stats. Tawina Mongeta, 35 strength. I don't think that existed before. Almost 80 stealth. Uh, field medic skills going up. Sabers a approaching 30. Our main character, Bracklin, is over 30 strength now, 75 stealth, very respectable. Robotics and field medic skills. Athletics is also steadily climbing, almost 30 melee attack power. Loving the katanas. Volugop, still 25 strength, despite not really fighting very much. Precision shooting's going up through friendly fire incidents. <laughs> and crossbows approach 50 now. Obviously still king of stealth and athletics and lockpicking. Uh, Ruka. Though, despite being sleeping, despite healing through sleeping, uh, steadily building up, respectable 25s attack and defense there. Kang, mid-30s melee attack and defense, a stalwart of our group, 32 sabers, also really good. Gorka has come a long way from almost dying to a baby goat, mid-20s on strength, toughness, and melee and attack and defense. Ray the Giant. Counterpart to Kang. Also mid-30s melee. 36 strength. That's pretty huge. Um, athletics and swimming's going up on everybody. Swimming is going to be such a bloated statistic for this stream. Every single person's going to have just an insane uh, add-on to their swimming skills. Ridley is kind of just like a grunt, but one a grunt who is learning very quickly. Really good at stealth. Training that lock-picking. A uh, valuable member of the team now. Io Donny, likewise, is working hard to try to get into that 20 category on combat. Also building up some field medic skills. Hamet is in the mid-20s. Athletic stealth is going up across the board. Hacking weapons up to 30, looking good. Corduroy, likewise, with Io Donny, trying to be useful. 23 robotics is great. Field medic and engineer is going up. Stealth slow but steady. Polearm skills getting good for both these guys. 16 on both. The only polearm users in the whole gang. Uh, Limcar is brand new, but has still gone up a little bit. Chad, of course, brand new. I don't know what the martial arts and dodge skill was before, but there you go. Greenfinger, probably no change. <laughs> probably none. And scratching post. 
We've got our scientist, of course, at 36. Utquambo is slowly building cooking. Level 6. Probably not much else. Hooper and Ebrulf, at least, are not dead. <laughs> it's the best we can say for them. Frap, uh, trained melee attack up and on a dummy and got engineer skill. So the newbies are learning some melee. Farmers are kind of just being farmers who tried training melee attack. Good for you. And Miu, laborer and farmer, was rescued from the swamp. So probably just built athletics and that's it. Either way, good changes all around. I think that's everybody. Um, we just got to keep them from starving now. Oops, wrong one. Let's try that again. We're not, in fact, starting soon. Thank you for stat. I want kinshi. I want more kinshi now. It's good stuff. So, we're probably not going to play this game again until next weekend. We just did two in a row. I just had to get out of my system. I couldn't stop after yesterday because I needed that na neighboring base. And now I have it. So, we've got um, a turning point, a new chapter next time. Like, the last stream was like chapter one of this season, and then this was the, the second half of the season. We had like a mid-season finale yesterday. And then today was like the real building up of the base, as it were. So now people can stop asking me, hey, Docs, when are you going to settle down and build a base? Here you go. This is for you. This one's for you. We got it. It's a fun game. I like that we're finally getting into the base building. We got a Sons of Stick, the, the Children of Stick. I said Sons of Stick because of this, the alliteration. The Sons and Daughters of Stick. Um, it's just cool to go from like one dude to like 23 people. <laughs> and see them each developing in different ways. But once we feel comfortable in this base of operations and we can adequately feed them, I gotta, that's that's next goal, is find out how to deal with food next time. Whether that be through hunters, uh, traders. I think our my first attempt is going to be taking the Garu to the neighboring villages and see if we can buy mass quantities of farm stuff. Because there is another city to the west, and there's villages to the north. So take the Garu, load up on raw materials, take them back and cook them. Uh, and have a separate hunting party looking for meat. Those are probably the two best options we have right now. Go out and scavenge. If we can come up with a surefire way of making money, then we can just buy food. But it has to be a consistent way of making money. Um, so that's another option. Is instead of forget about food, just make money. And there's ways to do that, whether by trading or um, stealing. <laughs> you could do that. I don't really want to, not in this playthrough, unless it's from someone evil. Be a goody two-shoes for as long as I can. Um, or maybe resources, raw materials, iron. Probably would take forever, but also would build up strength training. You can trade drugs. I don't know how to really get good at trading mass other materials, though. Thanks for hanging out tonight. Hope you had a wonderful Saturday. I certainly did enjoy my time spent both with Kinshi and with you guys. It was a pleasure. So even though there was a lot of running this stream, <laughs> as there always is, we do a lot. Yesterday, we made it to our new home. Today, we fortified it. We united the, the disparate groups, and uh, we accomplished some big looting exploration as well as finding some new interesting cities and uh, learning that we now have the capacity to actually handle ourselves in a lot of different combats so big production be honest though how many of you doubted that I could make it all the way to the swamp and back in the same stream and still have time after that like four plus hours to build up the headquarters. <laughs> the first half of the stream was the swamp rescue. The second half was the HQ exploration. That's pretty good balance. 
I absolutely did. We, we got stuck in the pit so long because we couldn't fight anybody. We only had to run, we only had to run away two times today in comparison to yesterday. Right? All the training yesterday paid off. The, the build-up, the getting beat, the losing limbs to the Iron Spider and stuff, that definitely made everyone stronger. And we're almost to the point where we're going to be the top of the food chain for a lot of these people. We're like at the midway point. Just now getting people into the 30s. Once we start seeing people rise into the 40s and 50s, then we're going to have, like, some dominance. I, th I, I think we're at, like, the midpoint, because... Most of the strong warriors in this game that you fight on the road, barring any wandering assassins, tend to be in the high 30s. Low 40s. Once we can match them, then we won't have to be quite as scared. We could implement sticks and Zold Strat of scavenging the wild and looting the dead bodies. The problem is the people who die suck. And a long time ago, their loot used to be worth something when you had less than 10,000 cats. And now it's just like 50 to 150 cats of stuff and nowhere to put it. But yeah. But we did spend a long time in the pit yesterday just trying to get out. But if you can make it from point A to point B, that's all you really need to survive in Kinshi. I'm not talking about beating bosses in the game. I'm talking about general survival from A to B. The top of that food chain is about 40 attack and defense. Beak things will not scare you anymore at 40 attack and defense. Um, blood spiders will kind of scare you at 40 attack and defense, but not really. The things that I am running from right now, I will not run. They will run from me if I can get my squad into the, like, low 40s, high 30s. Iron spiders are around that as well. I think that I think iron spiders are in the 40s sometimes. So we'll, we'll at least be able to be even. If you can start blocking their crazy attacks and strike back, I don't know, it's going to be cool. It's 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 like you're just playing that fish game. Where you start as a little guppy and you just keep eating, keep eating, keep eating till eventually you're the big fish. That's what Kinshi is in a nutshell. What was the name of that game? It's just fishy game. It was just fishy. No, not Agario. This predates Agario by a long time. Um. Fishy is a game from 2003 that I played in school on the school computers. I think you could play it on Newgrounds, you could play it on the other Flash Games websites before they were blocked on the school um, network. Two thousand three, baby. Good old fishy. But yes, eventually we'll be the big fish. That's that's literally what Kinshi is in a nutshell. And that's why it's so addicting. So until next time, uh, we are going to be streaming again tomorrow. So come back for Sunday. Well, you know, later today for some of you. Uh, but about 13, 14, 15 hours. 14 and a half hours from now. I don't know what we're going to do tomorrow. I kind of didn't know I was going to do Kinshi today. So you'll just have to stay tuned. Because I'm not sure. It's not going to be Kinshi again. I can promise you that. We'll do Kenshi again, like, this coming weekend or later this week. So, uh, it might be a catch-up game, because I really still wanted to play... We haven't played Stellaris in a while. 
And we were in a really interesting situation in Stellaris. So that's a possibility. The situation being, um, my neighbor, a group of marauder pirates, unified into a singular faction with one voice and one purpose, uniting their unstoppable forces to conquer the galaxy, and, uh, we were the first target. So we bowed before them, said, you're the leader now? <laughs> we were trying to be evil, but you're, like, way more evil than me, so, like, you know, <laughs> go, go for it. And now we are their loyal servants. So, we were trying to live in the shadow of the Marauder Empire last time. That was pretty cool. And I want to see kind of how that storyline plays out. Um, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do. I would do Stellaris before I did Total War. I think I got one more Total War stream left. So that's kind of how much I want to do, whether I finish it or not. I want to get as close as I can to actually beating it, if possible. Last The last Total War stream was the one that was the Harbinger of Cox. It was the first one we got a Cox disconnect a couple times. Like, three or four times, actually. And it, it was unusable the next day. <laughs> that was the last one. I don't... I'm not quite ready to start Dark Souls yet. I think because I have all these other games that I'm kind of balancing, once I start Dark Souls, I kind of have to commit. Um, so I want to I want to make sure it's a day I can at least do it two days in a row. So if I, for some reason, streamed on Monday, I might think about it on Sunday. Could be a VR stream. That's always an option. If we do VR, we'll do Super Hot. And the only other game that I'm even interested in playing right now is Grifflins. From the makers of um, Oxygen Not Included. And all their other games. Is it Clay or Klee? K-L-E-I. Five hundred and twenty-three drop frames on nine and a half hour stream. Third party VPNs for the win, I guess. Rhymes with play. There you go. Clay, I guess. Either way, it's by Clay. I don't know if there's anything else even coming out. I need to look. It's been a while. Um I was interested in a few games that turned out to not be noteworthy. Godhood has bad reviews on Steam. Gloomhaven has got um looks cool. I have the full physical game, but apparently it's just adventure mode. It's not like an actual campaign yet, because it's an early access. It's got mostly positive reviews. Apparently the gameplay is fun, but people just say that it's too much early access. Too early to release. So that turned out to be bust. July 30th is the Mutant Year Zero expansion. That's in two days. So we'll probably do that this week. Mutant Year Zero was fun. I don't remember how to play, but I'm all for an expansion. That's the only thing on the list. Return of Ducks. Mutant Year Zero and the Seed of Evil better not suck. That's all I'm saying. You better not suck. Because I want to play it and I want it to be good. It's 15 bucks, comes out in two days. So, sometime this week. Look for that. David Cage. Uh... I just heard Beyond Two Souls is just not as fun as Heavy Rain from everybody. But it is out. It does exist. Um, Beyond Two Souls is kind of more railroads your choices a little bit more, right? Is that the issue? Anything else on the Epic Store that I don't know about yet? No. Tetris Effect? <laughs> I don't think there will be a Tetris Effect stream. I think all the games have stopped releasing tentatively for like at least the next month. Does any game ever come out in August? Best August video game releases all time.
I don't know. I don't know. How, I don't know how to look for that. Let's see what was coming out as of 2017. 2017. Lawbreakers. Um, a lot of PS4 ports of PC games, like the Long Dark Arc Survival Evolved, technically released then. Absolver came out. Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle. People like that. Yeah, that's kind of it. <sighs> Not much. Not much in August. I'll keep my eyes peeled. Maybe I'll look for something else. We'll see what we can find. Yeah, Monster Hunter World's good. But I'm not going to stream it again. That was, a, that, that was the kind of game you stream once. For this channel. Anyways. Thanks for hanging out, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you again later. I'm looking over here like I'm looking at you, but now I'm looking at you. Back to back, Kenshi was a good time. So thanks for spending your time with me, and I hope that I was able to meet your expectations. If you could please stick around after the stream concludes for a short survey uh, where you're going to be prompted to respond from a 0 to 5 scale as far as your satisfaction with this stream and the streamer thereof. Anything less than a 5 will hurt the average and possibly result in the firing of this streamer. So to help with that, we've eliminated numbers 1, 2, 3, and 4. There are only two options. It is a binary choice, 0 or 5, to measure your satisfaction. All right, well, I have, to, I have to speak up just to prove one person wrong. Because you know when I see one person who's wrong, I have to call him out. Even if it's the end of the stream. Warvoid said, binary is just zero and one, though. Uh, dictionary says, binary. Relating to, composed of, or involving two things. Booyah. <laughs>